All right, the stream should now be up on both Twitch and YouTube. Let me get the YouTube chat popped out. Hopefully it doesn't do the weird thing. Yesterday when I was streaming to YouTube, the YouTube chat would just randomly turn black. Just like black itself out and then disappear. And I would have to just go minimize and re load the, the chat. So anyway, we're live on both. Uh, better latency, lower latency on Twitch, better quality graphics, whatever. Uh, resolution, that's the word I'm looking for this morning on YouTube. So sorry for the little bit of late start. My daughter uh, woke up pretty sick. So she's home from school today. And then I kind of threw things off a little bit and I have a slight headache. But hopefully, hopefully it goes away. And anyway, on to what's on the agenda today. Element 80. Thank you for the resub. Thank you, Element 80. 31 months. Thing of low tier suffering here, here. <laughs> uh, very much appreciated. So what are we doing today? We are playing again, uh, Total War Warhammer 3 on the hardest difficulty, Legendary, Immortal Empires campaign. And what we've been doing is we've been trying to do a long campaign victory with every single faction, every single race. And we're going alphabetically. So we have finished the Beastman, which was very easy. And we probably could have finished it way shorter time. Very, very easy, very strong, very fun campaign. We finished Bretonia, which we actually owned probably half the world. If you also count our allies, we had an order tide going of our own. So the yeah, we it was actually way easier than I thought. And man, they were really rich, very strong. I was surprised that Bretonia was so so good. I had never used them before. And then speaking of good. You can tell that the Chaos Doors are a DLC race because they have everything, and everything they have is also good. So, another very cushy campaign. But today, we are on to what many consider the absolute worst campaign, the absolute worst lord in the game, the Demons of Chaos, that has an A thrown in because why not? Demons. Demons of Chaos. How's it going, Kristoff? Welcome back. Bad weather episode. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm kind of a bad cold, yeah. So, you know, the whole school, her whole school is going through a bad cold. So anyway, on to the Demons of Chaos. Prince the Build-A-Bear Demon, he's the Build-A-Bear. A lot of people consider these so bad that they don't put them on the tier list. They have their own, so. You know you're mean in business when you write Demon with an A. Yeah. <laughs> you saw a YouTube comment on a random video saying something. My trainer said to me that helped me a lot in hard times. Life is hard, but I'm fair. I hope this helps as much as it helped me. Least deranged YouTube comment you've ever seen. <laughs> Damons for Daniel. All right. So, yeah, this is widely considered the worst legendary lord and the worst faction, and it starts in one of the worst starting locations. So uh, we we might actually lose a campaign, you know? Maybe, maybe. At the very least. And he actually sucks. People aren't overselling it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so uh, we'll go over what's so bad about it. But to give you a little hint... All of the other Chaos Demon factions can make Demon Princes that are stronger than this legendary one. So, this is uh, the most difficult or annoying legendary difficulty campaign on World Empires. So, all right, let's uh, let's check it out. Ascribe glory when capturing settlements to the four Chaos Gods to be granted boons in the form of demonic gifts and units. These gifts allow for the Demon Prince to be customized in a multitude of unholy combinations. Demons of Chaos allow you to mix the forces of all the Chaos Gods. You mean like Bellacor can? Or, well, you know what, I'm not going to name off all of the Chaos Undivided Lords. Anyway, causing damage when your Lord generates glory, which rewards you with random army abilities in battle from the Reign of Chaos. So there's the Demon Prince Daniel, or Yuri. You can name him whatever. He just comes with a random name, so I'm going to name him after me. Because why not? Alrighty, and for difficulty, we are doing the hardest difficulties as always. So legendary and very hard are the hard ones. And we're going for the long campaign victory. And this might be a really long one. So he starts out with a very hodgepodge army of crap. Uh, some of these units are actually fairly decent, to be to be fair. Now, I feel like we have two ways to go. If you look at the demon armies, the best like low tier tier one ar units are generally Zinch and Nurgle. Zinch have the blue and pink horrors, which are actually pretty good. And Nurgle has a lot of staying power, a lot of HP, diseases, poison, stuff like that. So we'll probably try Nurgle. And if it sucks and we're having a bad time or we lose, we'll probably try again as Zinch. But anyway, 
I mean, for the starting. Obviously, we're going to get multiple eventually if we survive that long. So access to all demon units via demonic glory. That's a lie. Um, we don't have access to all demon units. Reign of Chaos. Inflicting damage with friendly lords in battle will unlock random army abilities. So we have to deal damage with the actual lord. Customize the lord via demonic gifts. Equipable gifts. Access to gifts of chaos undivided. Corn, Nurgle, Slanesh, and Zinch. All right. Let's go, Adam Daniel. Uh, oh, starting location for those that don't know. Has he an upside? No, that's the problem. There's no upside. He, you're literally better off playing with any other Chaos faction. Chaos Undivided faction. They can make better Demon Princes. I think... I think... He, he has a really bad starting area, too. I think if they gave him a separate also research tree, it would be good. One of his big problems is... Everything he gets is Lord's Army. Lord's Army. Lord's Army. He has nothing for his other armies. So his other armies are just... Terrible. Terrible. Let's go on. Just welcome in. So he starts up here right next to Malice. And then across here, we have Boris. Where's some minor factions. We got Boris. And then we have Archaeon. And those are going to be the big ones, I think. Right across the channel here, we've got Norska, including, uh, what's his name? Throg. Uh, all of them. So his long campaign victory means we have to take out all the other legendary lords from the Northern Chaos Ways. All the way over to Valkia over here. And then all the way down here to Kolek. So we need to own from Kolek, or at least destroy, from Kolek to Valkia. While everyone else hates us. So, All right, without further ado, this is the longest intro for one of these I've ever done. Uh, let's get in there and see how just terrible it is. Or maybe maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. I doubt it, but we'll see. Go on, King Richard. Found me on YouTube, the rumor content. Uh, that's awesome. Yeah, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate the kind words. More RimWorld tomorrow. Recommend me when you play RimWorld. That's awesome, yeah. More RimWorld. Uh, brand new run starts tomorrow, actually. He, yeah, isn't he the only Lord? Well, I mean, the only non-Horde type faction that doesn't start with a city either. <laughs> yeah, we're going from the DLC power of the Chaos Dwarves straight to day one Junkyard Pile faction. I'm going to rush any Chaos God. I'm going to try to rush Nurgle first. If that doesn't work and we lose or something, or it's just really bad, I'm going to try to work, run uh, Rush's Zinch. My idea is that if we rush Nurgle, Nurgle has so much growth that maybe we can get up to their decent tier units. But you know what? Before we do any of that, let's just get in and do a battle. What's going on, Squared? Welcome in. This is one of your first 100% game. That is awesome. The game took you three hours. Congrats, Antonio. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. All right. Let's go. Doom is a pot. So the very first, we start out with attrition and no settlement. And we start off with a siege battle immediately with a Pyrrhic victory. So we are going to play this one out. And if you're on Twitch, you have Twitch channel points. We're going to be doing predictions on battles today because I am going to be playing out almost every battle for this faction. The prediction is up now. If you want to wager on our very first battle, what will be the outcome of our very first battle? It is going now. All right. Here we go. Is the legendary lord at least powerful in battle? He is weaker than the other demon princes, basically. So. Like I said, most people, people that have tens of thousands of hours of the game, consider him the worst legendary lord out of every legendary lord. Not even just out of the demon faction, but like the least... Yeah, the, the worst. A lot of people keep him off the tier, their tier list or put him in his own bottom tier. And I'm not, I'm not just saying it. And I don't know. I've never played it as a maybe. Maybe we'll get in here and we'll be like, wow, what? Why do people do this? You know, I hope that's the, what happens, but I'm I'm a little afraid based on everything that I see. All right. So let's take a look. Uh, this is. OK. Looks like there's double towers pretty much everywhere. Let's go on Kai. Come in. Um, there's single tower there. And we could probably squeeze in here and get single tower as well. Sure he's playable. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> How do you micro an army like this? I'm thinking... I don't know. <laughs> uh, V-Day, thank you for the five gift subs. Get us started. Thank you, V-Day. Thank you, V-Day. Much appreciated. Uh, no, I haven't, um, I have so many things to do 
with non-modded stuff that's i don't have any plans to play modded warhammer at the moment um yeah my current thing right now is going through a vanilla with all of the with all oh, long campaign victory with all the the races so but maybe eventually but yeah i have no plans right now to do any any kind of uh modded playthroughs all right we got everything over here let's go Warhammer needs a uh, P music or W music. Yeah. When you get upside of this faction, you get to play dress up with your Lord. Yeah, but that takes it. That takes over his research tree. Apparently you like underpowered races or factions it feels better. Just playing OP races. Yeah, but this is a little bit different. This is broken in a bad way. There's a lot of factions that are hard, especially early on. But this one is supposedly just bad forever, so. We'll see though. We'll see. Like I said, maybe maybe people are being over dramatic. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna jump onto this wall. Go ahead and start breaking that down. And we want to get inside where that tower is able to hit us. So everyone squeeze in. Everyone squeeze in. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. That's just literally what everyone has said about this. Only one group on the wall, and they weren't even manning the tower. Sunponic. What do we have here, actually? Base weapon damage plus 35%, armor piercing weapon damage, charge bonus, base weapon damage, and armor piercing. Okay. So I should have used one of those on the run in. But... Okay, knocking them off the wall. Good. What do you do to make them avoid the wall? I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. They didn't man those towers at all. So. Interesting. Why is it P music? The creator of its name is Pepson. So it's Pepson's music or P music. All right, run all those in. Wow, we knocked them completely off the wall already. And get you guys back in the air. Actually, you get on the nerglings. I kind of wanted them on the walls because we could knock a lot of them off the wall, which would have been great. Those are just easy, easy kills when you knock things off the walls. But right off the bat, things are not really going as I would like. guys get up in the air and those plague toads are actually the more damage I've ever seen a plague toad do I kind of want to get you guys where we can hit the back side here. It sucks about that wall. I actually was kind of banking on them, putting a lot on the wall. We're using his moves on cooldown here. Got a big glob of stuff. Man, they have other plague bears over there too. Yeah, I don't know why they set up the way they did. That's weird. Weird. Not really good for us, honestly.
Okay, we're gonna keep dive bombing these nerglings here. Yeah, that sucks. Because usually they would have two units on the wall for the two towers, and I figured we could take out the two groups very easily. So this is already starting out. Not like I had envisioned. Unfortunately. Whoops. Whoops. Tower over there is not doing us any favors either. What is this gift over here? Cannot move. Okay, it doesn't help us too much. Dogs are breaking. Yeah, I already screwed up this game. <laughs> I mean, this is only the first battle, so it'll be fine, but... I'm thinking I should have put things closer to make the man the towers. But... It'll be fun. We're starting to crumble. Just first battle, all right? So. Got to be more careful of that because we are losing. Yeah, so we still got decisive. We're losing a lot of units like that. Uh, Malice will see that we're weak and he'll attack us. That's what I'm worried about. All right, so decisive it is, but yeah, I should have tried to force them up on the, on the towers. Uh, so one thing that the flyers are usually not great units. One thing that the flyers and these like demon prints or just flyers in general are good at are knocking people off walls and they insta die if they get knocked off a wall. Any reason I reduced Rimworld streams? Uh, there's a lot of reasons. First off, it's so that I don't get burned out because I only play Rimworld for, for a job, basically. So I don't want to get burned out on it. The second reason was because the edits hadn't catch or caught up. So I didn't want YouTube edits to get too far behind the live streams and the content again. Once upon a time, I would do a stream of Rimworld and the edit and YouTube version wouldn't hit YouTube for like three or four months, sometimes six months. And so the edits weren't caught up, so the edits didn't catch up till last Friday. So this is the first week the edits have been caught up to the live for RimWorld. So the two big reasons is don't want to burn myself out on it um, when it's not what I really enjoy streaming for the most part. And second uh, is I had to wait for, or I wanted to wait for the edits to catch up. So edits are caught up, so we're starting a new RimWorld run. Tomorrow, I've been, um, I've had tomorrow as the date we're doing the new run for a while now. So that's, that's what I've been telling people when they ask. That's what's been on like the calendar and, and, um, and Discord and all that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, so we are going to try out Nurgle first. Nurgle first. Fun Dipsy, welcome in. Bonnet Zebu, welcome back. We gained a follower that gives Slanesh corruption. Whoop de doo. All right. So let's take a look at their buildings here. So we start out with the ability to make Marauders and Chaos Furies only. We don't even have the ability to make Nurglings yet. Don't even have the ability to make Nurglings yet. Thank you, three bundles. Uh, yeah, this stream is this game is really bad for the stream, so unfortunately. But yeah, so we will be doing Rimworld, uh, most mostly Friday, Saturday, Sunday, coming up, and then the other days will be whatever. Who said I don't like RimWorld? I don't think I would have played RimWorld for 5,000 hours if I don't like it. Favorite streamer doesn't like your favorite game? I, yeah, I don't know where you get that I don't like RimWorld. Just because you've played a game for 5,000 hours and you want to play some other stuff doesn't mean you no longer like, like that game. Like if you were eating, you know, a hamburger. If you like... if. Cheeseburgers are your favorite food, and you eat it for dinner every dinner for five years. You might want to try pizza one night, you know? It doesn't mean that you no longer like burgers, you know? So fun, very sassy, if you will. Yeah, yeah, that's just the reality. And, and I'm not complaining, I'm just answering questions, right? Just answer questions. It's a it's a fun job, but it's still a job to play RimWorld. So it's a fun job, but there's lots of other things I would rather play. It doesn't mean I don't like RimWorld. It doesn't mean I'm not going to, but anyway. Uh, so they have a 
They can unlock Exalted Plague Bears as a tier three. Exalted Plague Bears are pretty good. Plague Bears of Nurgle are okay. Um, we also have access to Chaos Warhounds early, which kind of suck. Plague Toads are kind of sucky as well. Gun Abstra, welcome in. I, I said Abstra again. I don't know why I do that sometimes. Beast of Nurgle are really good, and they're tier two. They come with regeneration. Forsaken are actually a decent frontliner compared to Plague Bears. Chaos Warriors at tier three. Spawns of Nurgle kind of suck. More Shrines I'm not a big fan of. Pox Riders kind of suck. Uh, Exalted Plague Bears from this side are at the tier four level. Plague Drones kind of suck. Soul Grinders are very good, but they're tier five. And Great Unclean Ones are okay. Wait, we don't have access to Chosen? I was thinking to myself, I was like, at least we'll eventually get to the Chosen of Nurgle, which are very good as far as Chosen go. Nope. Nope. Why? Why would we not? I don't understand. Why don't we get access to the Chosen of Nurgle? We get the Chaos Warriors Nurgle. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. All right, well, you know. Yeah, the, the tooltip says you get access to all demons. Because you aren't chosen, that's why. All righty, so we have this here. Nurgle Glory Generated, Nurgle Corruption, Recruitment Cost Reduction for Nurgle. Um, we have Defensive Structures. What's our Infrastructure? Growth plus 20, Recruitment Cost Reduction, Income Generated, Nurgle Glory, Casualty Replenishment, and Nurgle Corruption. And if we have more than 200 growth, we get an additional income building. Okay. Care units suck. That's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty rough. <laughs> this is like... This is like Kugath if they neutered him. Crazy. Why does Twitch random? I don't know. I've had that happen before too. It's made for masochists. And we have a control builder. So we're going to start out with growth. Trying to get this leveled up as fast as we can. Go on juicer. Alrighty. So uh, we can't even access Nurgling. So we're going to recruit Marauders. Marauders are of Nurgle are not great, but they are shielded. And so if we end up having to fight Malice with all the arrows, maybe that'll help us a little bit. We got our first point. So let's check out this skill tree. So basically he has a undivided line and then a line for each of the gods. Let's see the undivided ones. So these are all glory related. Chaos undivided, corruption, growth in local province only, control in local province only. Diplomatic relations with Warriors of Chaos, Demons of Chaos, Beastmen, and Norska. Our best bet might actually be to get friendly with people like Archaon, and then when he's starting to get, you know, beat up by someone else, then we just swoop in and kill him. <laughs> that might literally be our strategy. The, the old Skaven strategy. Route Marcher... Route... What? Route Marcher, generally, you get at level 2. It's the first one-point thing you can get. We need to put five points in. Six points to get to Route Marcher. That makes sense. Uh, lightning Strike, okay. Upkeep Reduction for Corn, Nurgle, Zinch, and Slanesh, and that's it. All right. All right. Uh, empty Page, they were the 16 months. Maybe empty page. Uh, empty page. I don't know why I mispronounced that suddenly. All right. And we got uh, Corn Glory, Income from Raiding Increased in the Lord's Army only. Again, Income from Sacking Settlements. Um, armor increase for the basic corn units. Got Reign of Chaos. Uh, that's the the random spell that we saw. Upkeep reduction for corn. We'll look at the other tiers later. Attrition reduction. Casualty replenishment. Melee attack for Nurgle's base units. Uh, and then these are all, looks like, yeah, upkeep reduction. For Slanesh, we got recruitment cost reduction. Hero action success. Weapon strength for the base units. Reinforcement marker movement. Hey, that one's faction-wide. The only faction-wide one I've seen. Winds of magic increasing the local prominence. Melee defense. All right, so we're going Nurgle. We'll get to the regeneration, I suppose. Chaos rewards me once more. And that is all we can do on turn one. Oh, man, new campaign. Yeah, it's gonna be a rough one, I feel. But yeah, I don't, I don't mean that in a, any negative way, ways. I'm just answering the question, um, Tachi, as far as, as far as that stuff goes. 
The hero that they forgot, yeah. Yeah, this one definitely feels like it needs a rework. They they could just give him an, a, a research tree, a faction-wide research tree, and it would probably make a world of difference. All right, so the Lesser Nurgle faction has two additional places. So we're going to go after the Bilius Cliffs first, I suppose. It's game against AI, real people. It's, it's against AI, yep. Okay, so they have a march stance army here. We could have maybe hit that one, so maybe I moved a little First preemptively. Piece. This is not even in our zone. We can't recruit on this turn, so we're going to recruit another lord, literally just to recruit and hand off to this one. So let's see. We have four different uh, types, one, one for each of the lords here. Armor, perceptive, campaign movement range, Nurgle corruption, speed... Nash Corruption. I think we just get whichever one's the cheapest right now. So let's check this out. 13, 15, 16, 900. So we'll just grab one of these. And we're just going to use him to recruit. So now we can get Nurglings. So Nurglings are okay, but they're mainly good on like Kugath because he can buff them so well. We have no way to buff them. We might be fighting... Man, I think I'm going to go Marauders. I kind of hate Marauders as well. Marauders of Nurgle. But if we end up having to fight Mal... Uh, yeah, Mal's Darkblade, we're going to need those. The other kind of positive things about the Marauders is that they don't crumble when they break. And a leadership is a real problem right now. Yeah, I'm going to go Marauders even though I normally would not. Chaos. Okay. It's a good idea on paper. It takes so long to get his good stuff rolling. Yeah, it just feels... My big problem, it feels like, is all the other demons are just better at what he does. Like, he's supposed to be the Chaos Undivided guy, right? But Bellicor, Archaeon, like... I don't I don't know. It's just, it's just... Even just the Demon Princes. Like, our... Bellicor, and Ar Bellicor can do everything that the Demon Prince can do way, way better. Way, way better. Across any more movies that are uh, so bad? Don't. No, I haven't. Not recently. Old design strategy make his faction the worst at everything. Yeah, feels like a half baked faction. Faction. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did I have that on fast forward on accident? I meant to not do that. I wanted to see where they went. Oh well, I guess. Supreme Champion. All right, so we're going to hit the Bilious Cliffs here. In ruins no one else is around, decisive and low. But again, we need to try to take as little damage as possible, so we need to fight this. So, fight we will. Your students brought in a chocolate cake he'd made in his rice cooker. Delicious. Talking about half baked. <laughs> They're hideous. Yeah, yeah. Nurgle are, uh, but they're happy, you know? Nurgle are happy. Oh, they have an uphill battle to get to us so we're gonna put our ranged units back here Pestilent marauders. Seekers of Slanesh. they might actually not come to us right away so Yeah, they are on the... Nope. Oh, oh. You guys are actually coming to us? No. Yeah, have you seen these guys? I actually really like the Pink Horrors. They're really good. They're a tier 2 unit. And they have a missile attack. It's pretty strong. They have a shield. Barrier, I guess I should call it. And then they also uh, have an okay melee attack when they run out. 
Circle loves life. He's just fun in micro real life. It happens to be bad for people. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know what the mass is on this character. I gotta be a little bit careful. We might not be able to pull out, you know? Always gotta make sure you can... No, I'm gonna stop that right there. You can pull out. You can squigs. Yeah, well, those aren't in this faction, so... And are they really just not gonna... Not gonna fight? Gonna this game look crazy and cool though. Yeah, there's lots of really, really cool models. I, I also, something that I overlook these days and I was thinking about yesterday is the map is so detailed. Like when you see a city on the map and it has all these little, uh, not these, but like the overworld map, it has all these little paths and things and temples and shrines around it. Like you can look up that city name and it has probably books of lore out there about it, right? So it's, it's kind of a cool, Cool thing. Feels very real in that way. Love Norska. Are you a huge chaos demon? Ah, <laughs> uh, we are. We are. Yeah. You know, just... All right. Do we do enough damage to pull them? Hopefully. Wow, they're still not coming here. I mean, if they just want to let us sit here and pick off Nurglings, we can do that. Us to be the ones charging down the hill, you know. Apparently, they are hip to those plans. Like, look, they're starting to stopping right outside that. Oh, here they come. All right, cool. Let's get a good charge on these guys. Pull those ones back. Bring you guys around, get ready to flank. Okay, dogs get back out. So all you guys hitting the leader plague bears there. Okay, get those surrounded so they'll get a leadership hit. Okay, I don't want any friendly fire. You guys go ahead and come back here. What is that? Uh, power recharge? Yeah, whatever. All right, there we go. Keep cycle charging, but I mean, they're about to fall anyway. All right. Castor yeah, stream, it's great. You achieved another long game of a dream. Be cool to see those Tomb Kings in-game crisis though. 
Yeah, we, I guess we won't see any in-game crisis during these ones since we're just doing long, long campaign victory, but... Check towels look cool. Yeah, yeah. Pink the blue, yeah. Trench. Uh oh, the um the Fey Enchantress. Yeah, Fey Enchantress for Bretonia. Alright, uh Nurgle again. Gun Celine, welcome in. Campaign movement plus seven percent. Now that's good. That is good. So another thing is we can't equip items because his items are body parts that he dresses himself up in. So he also can't have ancillaries. I just realized. So not only can he not wear things, he can't have anyone to follow him. <laughs> wow, I didn't even think about that. All right, uh, we are going to get casualty replenishment for Nurgle units. And we're going to recruit two more Marauders, and we're already going to be poor. Nice. Excellent. All right, we need to go drop these ones off, so we'll march as far over here as we can. Fantastic. All right, here's Malice. So let's try to get Malice off our back. Malice is currently at war with a lesser faction, his starting one. He's going to take them out like this turn, and he's already a world superpower. So we are going to ask if we can join the war against the Broken Wheel. And we could pay for a non-aggression off the back of that. We have the money to do it. I think I'm just going to see if this alone will get us enough. We'll have him pay for it because we're kind of poor. For the All right, so Malice is going in the right direction, but yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I I'm hoping that Malice waits to attack us until we at least get rid of these minor factions. But. We also have Throg over here. Throg's at war with Kraken Drac. He takes them out really early. We can get a non-aggression with Throg as well, but I don't care about that. Let's just get money from him. So I have just joined two wars that I cannot deal with. So we're in three wars on turn three. In the hopes that these guys take them out like they normally do. <laughs> so we're playing a kind of risky game here of... Hey, you just deal with everything else and pay me and I'll just stay over here. Uh, and hoping that they don't come after me. Daniel sucks. I can't believe he can't even have ancillaries follow him around. That's unreal. All right, there's Throg. He's going to go, yeah, start taking out Crackajack. It's not Crackajack. Crackajack. His Lev and Norska are really cool looking for you. All right, so we're going to grab these Marauders. We're going to dismiss this army. We don't need him anymore. And now we need to get over here and take out the Tower of Flies. Which is going to be a multi-turn trip. Unreal. Annihilation. Man, I really don't like Marauders. I'm going to grab them anyway. Hey, we have our first body parts. What do we got here? We got a torso. Foreboding Ignition. Passive ability, one explosive. Enabled if hit points get less than 10%. He deals a bunch of damage around him. Affects only enemies. 25 armor, some fire resist, and some melee defense. Okay. And then we unlock some wings. Wings of Pestilence. Causes damage to combatants around him. If he is fighting in melee. Okay, so he has like kind of a mortis engine effect. Good. With these wings. Charge bonus and hit points 5%. Like this part is kind of cool, right? But it's like he needs more. He needs more. How's it going, Zeppelin? Dr. Shizbabob. Welcome back for 22 months. Thank you, Shizbabob. You know, literally zero about this game. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm trying to explain things as I go. But uh, if I, I just skip over something or you have a question, by all means, let me know. Supreme All right, so we want to keep an eye on Malice. Like, if he goes to war with someone else, we're going to ask to go to war with them as well. All right, well, there's nothing else we can do at the moment, so. 
One sec. Demon Prince is considered Warriors of Chaos? No. Warriors of Chaos are way better than Demon Prince. Can do it on the fly, but he still can't win a war by himself. Yeah, yeah. So for anyone that didn't hear, um, and I was homesick from school today, so I was checking. Checking how things are. So we do have a full army, but we just, we can't get over there in a single turn. So... We just have some turns here where you can't do anything. Unfortunately, go on to Fakru. Yeah, Warriors of Chaos. It would if he was in the Warriors of Chaos faction, he would have warband recruitment and upgrades, and that would make him immediately a ton better. I'm actually gonna march over here, hoping that they come attack him. All right, we can already get this to tier two, so we're gonna do that. Turn five, and we don't even have a starting province. I mean, even if they just move Tower of Flies to here, that would help him a ton. Hate to be homesick. <laughs> even when you faked it. Yeah, this is not faking for sure. Blister, blistro gal, blister gal. That's what I'm going with. Let's go ahead and fix the camera here. So for... Neutral factions. I'm going to turn off heroes. Right now, I'm going to leave it on normal because I do want to see if, like, beastmen spawn. What's going on with them near us? Uh, enemy factions. We're going to turn off heroes as well. We will put the neutral factions on fast, though. And then allied factions. Turn off heroes. And we'll put animation speed on fastest. That should be fine. I wish it would save those settings between between runs, between saves, whatever. Plus 60 Nurgle Glory. Okay. Alright, on to the next fight. Tower flies, close victory, and it says we're going to lose some units. They already have beasts of Nurgle somehow. The cheating AI. The so beasts of Nurgle have regeneration, poison attacks, armor piercing... Okay, they also have the Plague Toads. Uh, I guess we just have to fight it, right? So, I don't want to lose the Nurglings. Kind of sucks, but... Zalcaster, he doesn't have very much Winds of Magic. Yeah, all right. I'm actually starting to think that... I'll go ahead and put the prediction up. I'm actually starting to think that Zinch might be a good start. And we would have to play it kind of like we did the beginning of the Kairos campaign. Which was very frustrating. But pink and blue horrors are very strong. And they're very early units. And you just use them to attack and kite while you... Uh, while you cast spells. But anyway, we're going to keep going with Nurgle for now. Had an eye infection in your left eye. Had to stay in bed for days. Ugh. Blessed by Nurgle. Yes, unfortunately. She is blessed by Nurgle. Alright, so we can be uphill from them again. We mainly don't want to lose our Nurgle units. Like, I don't want to lose any units, but I do lose something. Play something other than Nurgle units. That's the only units that we're going to have bonuses for for quite a, quite a long time. Alright, so we'll get you guys in the flanks here. Break 
Father's Vanguard! Pestilent Marauders! And you guys on the flanks as well. Alrighty. Chaos Warhounds of Poison. He should be able to knock those out pretty quickly. See if we can go find where they're going. He might get held down by the Plague Toads, though, so you gotta be a little bit careful about that. You're always a believer. Makes one of us. Makes one of us. Okay, let's get our charge bonus there. Wow, the dogs are almost broken already. So we can take advantage of that. If we can get some units separated. Plague Toads are coming. They're anti-infantry. And I, hopefully we can break those. Uh, might want to bring... That's okay. Okay, dogs are broken. So we'll get the two air units back in the air. Hopefully our dogs and our riders can... Yeah, okay, the dogs are done. They have a skull over them, so they're not coming back. Got the anti infantry there. Let's bring the demonettes over. Right, bring you guys over here. Make sure the plague toads don't get on you. Okay, keep cutting them around, bring you guys up. And our ranged, um, I'm not sure why I want to get them on. Get them on these plague bears, I guess. I already have one of them breaking, that's crazy. Yeah, we can buff melee. Hold them there with the Nurglings. These are anti infantry which is not good. Back, right, let's move all of our range to hit there. Get a rear charge on these guys. What are we doing over here? Keep using his cooldowns. Bugs are okay. Uh, Beast of Nurgle. We don't want to waste our stuff on them. Okay, those hounds are done. Where's that beast of Nurgle? Could probably get some shots on it. What is this one? Causes damage patent strong versus 25 min, min or more. Okay. Pull those Nurglings out of there. The whole, one of the reasons why he fought this is because he didn't want to lose that group of Nurglings, so. Uh, let's see. 
Hopefully we can get these guys to break. Okay, hold those in place. Hold those in place. Yeah, those are crumbling. We gotta get these plague bears crumbling, but. We got some ammo left on the pinkies here. More melee and uh, it's kind of crazy trying to flank with Nurgle. Nurgle infantry, they are so slow. Uh, looks like we're good. We don't want to get any friendly fire, so no more, no more shooting. All right. Okay. Nice. Have you seen the patch for? Yeah, I read it last night. They're trying to do better in what they showed for Cathay. Yeah, there's some really cool stuff. Those celestial lions are gonna be a unit and a mount, but yeah, the 4.2 is way better than I thought they were gonna make it. Way bigger. All right. Prediction. Decisive. Okay, good. Didn't lose any units. Didn't lose any full units, I should say. Find you of old heroes and light magic. Uh, a little bit more intense, but yeah. All right, we're gonna occupy for Nurgle, and we got our first province on turn six. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, we got regiment of renown. Pink horror is always good. Action destroyed. Hooray. Equip any demonic gift for some free glory. Okay, this is a dock. We're going to get some growth off that as well. Tower of Flies. We're going to go ahead and get growth. We're going to get growth on all these. We're going to try to get this leveled up. Get this province leveled up. Demon Prince. Looks like we don't need to recruit Serve anything. Me. Like, we could combine a couple units and then recruit two more of these. We'd actually get some extra HP off that. So I guess we'll do that. We'll see what else you got first, though. I for point two, like I say before, but now they're going to be really good, you think? Yeah, and yeah, it's, it's I'm what I'm really looking forward to is the April release, the rework of the dwarves. I've been wanting that forever and Empire. Dwarves, Empire, and Nurgle. Watch this campaign even be better. Ah, he's not going to get any of the Nurgle updates. Don't be silly. He doesn't even have Nurgle chosen. All right, we're going to get more replenishment. And then we need one more point in here. I guess we'll just take this melee attack plus four. Doors rework? Yeah, Doors and Empire are getting reworked. Yep. yep. Doors, Empire, and Nurgle reworks are all coming. All right, we got some more body parts. We got some head options here. Let's see, we got two... Uh, call for power, splash attack power, base damage plus 50%, but it rampages us. 10 leadership, armor piercing 5, base weapon damage plus 8. Uh, broken horns. So we actually get purple sun of, I call it Xerxes. Purple sun is not great, but it's something. Right now we don't have anything to use our winds of magic on. He gets call of power either way. Life leeching, so get some reserve winds of magic power once he casts. Uh, extra hit points, extra weapon. All right, we'll put that on. Tail, a uh, slime trail, a passive, reduces melee attack and speed to enemies in within 15 meters of him. Okay, we'll take that as well. Let me look at some of this. So, as we get Nurgle Glory, we unlock certain things. And then, if you if you get a unit unlock, you still have to build have the building. So, you have to have the building and the amount of uh, glory or whatever. So we unlock a Nurgle hero at 550 and plus eight melee defense when fighting Zinchian factions. It might be a good idea to get to 550 glory with each of them, unlock their heroes. 
drip him out, yeah. <laughs> what to do for the Empire re rework? I don't know, but I, I yeah, I'm, I'm wondering who we're going to get as the Legendary Lords. Do you think they'll make the Todd Bringer as a Legendary Lord? Dune Spice Wars, closer to Dune 2, uh, I don't know, yeah. I doubt it, but maybe. And then what do we get up here? Unlock Switchable Plagues, okay. And then what do the other ones get? We get Bloodletting, okay. 770. Seduce Units at 770. Teleport Stance at 770. So it looks like 770 is the way, is the real way to go. Control plus one for every concurrent war with a neighboring faction. Income from raiding, construction time reduction. Income from raising, casualty replenishment rate plus 5% all armies. Construction time minus one on Nurgle. Casually is captured increase. Control plus two all provinces. Construction time reduction for ambush defense. Yeah, so there's some good stuff. It's just going to take us a long time to get to them. And because we can't run multiple armies because he's a poor faction, it's going to take a ton of time. A ton of time. Like, my lord, this takes 2200 before we even get to like melee defense for furies, which already suck. But uh, we'll look through more of this as we get there. But, oh, it's going to take so long to get to Soul Grinder. Crew rank plus six for Nurgle. Like, yeah, when we get to late game, if we can survive to a late game, we'll have some options. But we got to get there. And it's kind of a way to heal these up a little bit. So we are going to merge some of these. We're going to merge enough, hopefully, to get... Kick that one. Place those, kind of a way to heal them. And hopefully we have enough movement to reach Volcan uh, Volcano Heart. Unfortunately, like, we have a ancillary that actually allows us to move further, but he can't equip ancillary, so. All right, let's see what they have for their faction stuff. We have Zinchin Glory, Chance Spray, uh, Plague Spreading Reduction, Income from All Buildings. We have Control, Growth, Recruitment Cost Reduction, Local Recruitment Capacity. That's divided. We're going to need control, so let's go ahead and go with that to start with, so I don't have to bring anyone back. We also want to keep checking on this Malice. No as soon as Malice goes to war with someone else, we need to join him. A lot of options. Yeah, that is a lot of options. Oh, what was the Chaos Undivided? Like, if you go all out, Chaos Undivided, what was the... Upkeep, minus 15% all armies, recruitment cost reduction, recruit rank, recruitment duration, minus one. Global recruitment duration, minus two turns. Yeah, like... If we can get to these things, we good. All right. Uh, I think that's all we can really do this turn. They have to. It has to be Todd Bringer, hundred <laughs> percent. You know, only max out one of them. If I remember right, you can keep going as long as you don't dedicate yourself. This world will burn. I could be misremembering. I haven't played as him, but I remember looking into stuff. Or maybe you do have to at this point. Yeah, I, d I actually, yeah, I think you're right. I think it stops here and then you have to choose. So we can get all the way to this one with all of them. And then from there, we have to decide. So, I think that's probably what we should do Get to hear. I think that I've seen that on the front of a tool album, actually. <laughs> Get to hear with all of them and then decide from there. But that's way down the line. How much is it? 3080, 3080, okay. Uh, it looks like we can reach Volcano Heart. These guys are not at war with anyone, so we're just gonna go straight in against them. Chaos incarnate. They're basically the same strength as us. Volcano Heart, decisive low. I should probably still fight it. Yeah, we need we need to fight almost everything as uh, as much as it sucks. I don't know. We might actually take more damage fighting it because of the ranged. What's the map? 
because they could hit all the range on just our lord you know decisive low okay we'll take it we'll take it yeah we lost basically nothing it looks like we lost mainly a little bit of nurgling so it's okay okay second province we can go with zinch and get an army to come behind this one with some uh blue or pink horrors that might be a good idea and then have nurgle front line on this guy and zinch behind him um maybe so let's see if we go zinch we'll unlock teleport stance i guess it just depends on do we want to get to a hero faster or not and the answer is maybe um we'll do zinch as the third place let's just go nurgle here as well let's get to one of the heroes no idea if that's the right call but that's what we're doing all right, he's going to heal up. I'll keep minus 15% for Nurgle. Very good. And then we got some more body parts. A new weapon. So currently we have 15% armor piercing and 20% base damage. This is absolutely just a straight up upgrade. Okay. I grow ever more unstoppable. Now, do we want to recruit another army to help him? I feel like I would want to, but we just don't have any money. So we're not going to. We're going to keep trying to upgrade this place. Uh, we'll upgrade Tower of Flies. Actually, let's upgrade the Cliffs. That way, if Malice attacks there, we'll have a little bit more cushion. That'll get us closer to the port upgrade, too. Speaking of there Malice. Many possibilities in agreement. Man, I'm really worried that he's going to go to war with us. Maybe we should have taken that. Maybe we should have taken that deal. Um, okay, keep going with growth, I suppose. What do we have for Regiment Number Down? Right, we just have the pink horrors. Okay. He's still fighting Kraken Jack. Kraken Jack. Dark Elf look like Draco Malfoy's dad. <laughs> oh, come on, get out of here. Bellacore? No, I friggin' wish we were Bellacore. No, this is the Demon Prince Daniel. What the crap are you doing over here? Can you commit war crimes in this game? Yes, more than you can in Normworld. <laughs> so much power. I serve the Raven God. Walmart Bellacore, yeah. Chaos. The Demon Prince of Chaos. Hard. Jeff. So we're gonna go after the Port of Secrets. And I can just kill this guy. But I feel like I feel like just any garrison is going to kill him. Maybe not, actually. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to go kill him. That's going to take us an extra turn. That sucks. There are entire faction dedicated to war crimes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to kill him. I guess it's extra experience, right? Very little, but some. Uh, okay. Now, the thing is, next turn, we can't get to the ports. I'm going to have to march this turn and hope we can get there next turn. So, we got a new left arm. Fate of... Whatever, I don't remember. Armor and melee defense. Okay. I might have to recruit a second army. Yeah, hopefully we can get there next turn. I don't know. So they might have another army. They do have another army. Daniel gonna be Nurgle Boy, at least for now. 
And I hate that I might have to recruit another lord already. Uh, also kind of hate that, um, yeah, never mind. Uh, if we recruit someone, I guess I have to recruit a Nurgle Lord at this stage. Yeah, that hurts. So hopefully this at least has some semblance of defense. Maybe it will make them not send an army up that way. I will murder anyone to get what I must. Still at war of the broken wheel. How, how's he not taking out his starter? Starter enemy yet. Are you guys at war with anyone else? No. Wait, you're not even war with a minor corn faction? I think Malice looks like Drago's dad for sure. I don't like that Malice has two arcs parked at one of my forts. Alright, he wants peace. We're going to say no. And he does have an army up there. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. He's marching towards that town. Oh, we got a free hero. Come on, lore of metal, lore of metal, lore of metal. Freaking Zinch. Uh, Zinch has, I mean, Infernal Gateway is really good if we get there, but I really like the starter lore of metal. Weapon Master really is sucky too, but. All right, so Windex here. I don't think he's here to clean any windows though. Uh, we could take Port of Secrets, but if we do, he's just going to take Volcano Heart. We can't get back up there. You cannot manipulate me. And this suck. I can't believe we're going to lose a turn off this. And we probably won't be able to catch him next turn either. And we are losing money, huh? Uh, I might go ahead and recruit on him in case we do lose some units this turn and we can hand them over. I don't know. Guess I will. We are poor already, so if I take this, we actually will start going under. I am mad. Is there anyone else around that we can pull for some money from? Not really. Noska! Not really. All right, well, Dino, thank you for the 22 months. Today's the day of the 22s, apparently. Thank you, Dino. Uh, I should have just let that army go. Should have recruited this Lord down here. We could have probably de defeated it. It was just like four guys. But... So that's going to set us back at least a turn. Alice, I'm really not very happy with you building up armies over there, but what am I going to do about it? You have another army? No. What? Beyond. What? <laughs> you just move closer so now you can't run away? I'm not... You're actually minus 25% for Blood Reapers. Not sure why this has happened, but I'm all right with it. I have become as a god. 
Let's trade out... Hmm... Alright, now we're going to attack this guy. Can you move over there without... Yeah, okay. Gonna run. Yeah, he's playing 40 checkers. Yeah. That... That is one thing to call it. What is his army? Lots of ranged. Lots of air also. Now you can actually wear things, huh? Circus sword, heels, fireball. Yeah, you can wear all the things that our lord can't. Right. Yes. Close victory, medium casualties. He only has 20 wins of magic. We can kill him pretty quickly. He has a lot of missile attacks, which could be deadly but i think we still have to fight this all right wager coming up <laughs> by, by turn 10 we will have manually fought more battles than we did in the entire chaos dwarf campaign i think all right here comes the prediction he already ran from us so we wipe him either way let's go vegemite how's campaign going we're pretty early on but it already feels bad feels bad even though we're very early on I mean, when you don't have your first province until turn six, you know you're, you're in for a rough ride, I think. Still a believer? Okay, so this hero, we gotta make sure we don't lose them. And we are not in a great place. We're going to come over here. They definitely outrange us. Or have a lot more missile units, I guess I should say. But, you know what? I got a lot of shielded units. I'm glad I did. Usually I don't go for marauders, but... I'm uh, not regretting that decision at the moment. Okay, and then our reinforcements will be in in a minute 58. Okay. So we got pink fire and blue fire. Pink is the AoE one. Blue is the single target one. Alright. Worried they're gonna use a bunch of their stuff on me. My lord. Oh, right. He doesn't have his flying mount yet. Stay back here. How much wins? Oh, 17. What happens, Chaos? Stores? We won. Yeah, we finished it yesterday. We won that one. We have one Beastman, Bretonia, and Chaos Dwarves now. Looks like they've got their a lot of their air units separated. Let's see how we can take advantage of that. Bring you guys up just a little bit. Reinforcements are here. to hit those. Whoops. Hopefully we can knock a bit of those out. <laughs> Civil servants of Slanesh. It says supple. It's civil. Civil servants of Slanesh. Okay, stay on those. We're going to try to run some of these around here. 
How come my Furies never do this much damage, huh? Bring you guys back. I think you took out at least one group of the Furies. Charge there. Okay, here comes the fire. Puppy easy come this way. You guys go as well. Turn on these. What do you have? You have some spells. Get up there. Yeah, see, this is what I was worried about. Them using all their magic on... Or uh, all their ranged on him. Okay, those are done. Him killed. What else do we have here? Okay. okay, those ones are done. Let's see if we can get these other ones breaking. Uh, that one would be a good one to get a charge on. They pull you guys back. Let's see. These ones, no. Here we go. Sure, those ones don't recuperate. Bring you back up here for the leadership bonus. You guys move up too. Loop you around. It's gonna take you friggin' ever though. Ergle are many things, they're not fast. <laughs> He's almost dead. All right, we're about to win. Send the champion of chaos. All right. Uh, we want to get as many kills as we can. Gotta get that experience, gotta get that money, and I guess glory this time too, right? Full messy. The purple demon dinosaurs, yeah. The civil servants of Slanesh. These ones are never gonna catch up with them, but... These ones could. That's a lot of kills there.
Probably should have been more careful with the Lord. Let's not get any friendly fire right here at the end either. How you doing, puppies? Are you getting us some more experience? Yeah, good job. Way to go, way to go. Yeah, so this isn't a settlement battle, so we want to get as many as many kills as we possibly can. Because they changed it quite a long time ago, actually. Where you no longer get experience and money based on the victory type. You get it based on how many kills you get. So we want to... We want to get all the kills that we can. We really need it in this campaign. Yeah, it took too much damage on him, unfortunately. Listen, not being close because of that. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, it did end up being close. Yeah. Did. Right. Close it is. There you guys go. 90,000 channel points. Oof. Oof. <laughs> chaos doors speak chaos language but chaos demons speak English Play nothing but blue horrors well it's kind of funny that it tells you it tells you that you have access to all demon units and then you go in the roster and you don't have access to hardly any <laughs> like we don't even have chosen chosen aren't technically demons though I guess but Lots of glory there. Demon Prince. Okay, so we need to be able to reach one of these other places next turn. Blame me. I'm the only one to blame. Some um, winds of magic going. So what do we have up here? Casual replenishment rate plus 30% for the Lord. All right, we'll grab that. And then... The rest of this we're not going to need for a while, so I think we are going to go up here and try to get to Route Marcher. <laughs> so it's, it's so crazy that Route Marcher is six points deep. Everyone else gets it at level level two. But, you know. Chaos Got our hero. Uh, they have training. Now nah, we're going to upgrade their magic. Many infected. Clean magic. All uh, right. Right. And then we'll take Route Marcher. There you go. Level 1. Level 2, rather. Actually, I might want to just go ahead and try to get him to healing. I will still grab that. And I'm going to grab him sorry, Presence. Because he's going to be parked for a while. Okay. So... We are once again going to combine some of these and recruit a healthier, healthier unit. For the ruinous powers, hellish power, Kislev's fallen champion. Okay, and then I guess we might as well recruit one on this guy too. We'll just grab Nurglings on him. Building upgrades. So force of decay hit to level hit level two. We need, we need control over here. I don't want to have to come back and, and deal with an uprising. So we'll grab control. And then we'll upgrade Tower of Flies. And we'll go ahead and do this too. We'll just upgrade it all. If I have to disband some stuff, then oh well. All right, let's check what Malice is up to. There are many possibilities. In Malice is still... How have you not wiped out that minor Zinch faction? Seen heard anything since you mentioned noticing the new Rimworld files? No, still haven't heard anything yet. But still just speculation for now. Chaos we got some new body parts. Hardened. Steam of corruption. That's not a great move, but armor and melee attack will take that. Uh, what is this set bonus? Three piece set. Neural corruption and adjacent province plus two. Neural corruption plus three and local. Melee defense for plague bears of neural and exalted plague bears. And then we have access to a two-handed weapon. Bonus versus infantry. Okay. We'll take that. Going to grab us. My minions take a look at him here. So 90 armor. Does that have great leadership? Weapon strength is good. 
Alright. You played Age of Wonders 4? I have not played Age of Wonders 4. I'm nuts. Yes. Hmm. Range land, thank you for the lurk. All J, welcome in. Going to grab us. Cars predicted. We're still early, so it's hard to tell, but yeah, I mean, we're on at turn 10. We have got way less done than any of the other ones. Yeah, that one guy got away. <laughs> I'm back with my one experience. I'm not sure how much is good. Get boss you based on your wins a magic level as demons as well. Uh oh, on the meter? Yeah, let me double check that. I knew you did for Zinch. I didn't realize for this guy also. Oh, it's telling me how the demonic gifts work after I've already been using them. Thanks. Appreciate that. Did it give me a quest to use them? No, Winton battles the hero. Okay. Once I was but the mortal of this world. Uh, Cash replenishment rate minus 5%. Leadership minus 5. Physical resist minus 10%. Yeah, I thought that was a Zinch thing. Apparently, it's a demon thing. To play with the War Crimes expanded mod. <laughs> we cannot reach the Crystal Spire this turn either. That is pretty ridiculous. Another dark game. More lands to subjugate. Yeah, that is, uh, that's, that's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. I need to, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like some of these need to be a little bit closer in the northern waste, but I guess that would make it no problem. Tyrant of Malice, can you hurry up and get pulled into war with someone else so that I can tell you that we're going to help you and get you off my back? I should have paid for that non-aggression. We got offered an aggression for like 600 favor and I didn't take it. Welcome to the Northern Wraith. Or, uh, you know what? It really sucked on Southern Wraith too with Kairos, but at least he didn't have as many other things hitting him. Pikachu fans? It's awesome, yeah, thank you, Zach. Yeah, nothing new yet, man. I, I hope soon. I hope soon. I hope they announce it right as we finish the single phase run. That would be ideal, you know? <laughs> but... Yeah, I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll find out. Anus, I'm not even pronouncing the other. I'm gonna call him Ryan. Anus Ryan. Adam gains five percent campaign movements or the. Hey, I just realized we need to rename this Lord, and it's a good time because I can't pronounce his name, or else I'll be demonetized. So yeah, let's name let's name that Lord. <laughs> Alright, let's see who's in the queue. I ate his heart. To gain 5% movement speed. I'd do it again, too. Okay, Warhammer Lord. We got Ink Boy. Okay. And then we also have this hero. Much power. Um, some of the... I kind of like some of the hero names it gave when we played Kairos. Like, they would literally just be numbers. We would get a, one of these iridescent horrors just named Nine or something like that. And Aram has been in a lot. Although he was a lord the other times. Riggs. Yeah, I know it's Phage. Phage, but... For a second you thought I just... Uh, Yelled anus. I did. That's his name. Yeah, I'm sure that's how it's pronounced. Anus. Adam, are you a five-year-old? Some days, yeah. On good days, I'm a five-year-old. My must... Decisive low. Okay. Does the Q carry over between runs? Uh, yes. On this one, yes. Size of low, yeah, we'll just take it. Now is the time of conquest. Hey, not fun. That's like there's a there's a Greek yogurt brand that I get sometimes, and it's pronounced Faya, but it's you know F A G, and on the really large on the label, they show how to pronounce it. How to avoid things like that. Uh, we were going Nurgle at this place too, yeah? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like their Greek yogurt. It's my favorite one, actually. All right, Anus is dead. Lots of, lots of regiment of renown. Switchable plagues. Okay, let's check this out. So bowel steep. Leadership plus six. All of our units. That's good. Nerve corruption plus three in the local province. Okay. Day for the in our linguistics lessons. <laughs> Boy, I guess. Recruitment cost reduction, casualty replacement rate reduction for enemies. Vanguard deployment for the whole army. That's pretty good. Plagues for non Nurgle. Minus 10% speed, minus 6 defense. That one's actually pretty good. Having our entire slow army right in their face to begin with is pretty good. Adam, is it pretty good? It's pretty good. You said, what would happen sooner? It would have to happen within like a week or two for that. I doubt that's going to happen. Attrition from all charge bonus. Okay. Um, I guess right now we'll leave it on this one. Channel your inner child when we game. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. All of us. Supreme champion. Okay. So I think there is no way we are going to beat Archaeon this early. Archaeon kills a lot of things early on and he gets a huge power spike. I wouldn't doubt if when we meet Archaeon, he's already in the le like 20 plus levels. So I'm thinking we use this, we befriend him, and then we go kill everyone on the west side. And then we show back up and backstab him when he's weaker, you know, like when he's beaten down by, I don't know, Chaos Dwarves or someone over there. And then we we swing in while he's while he is dead and take out the rest of his stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, that seems like a good idea. Demon Very Prince. scaven of us. Very scaven of us. Minus leadership. Glory for Plague Father! Let's take this. And for you, we're gonna take... We're gonna get you to the heels, hopefully. Max I mean, that's unfair. Sounds like you're actually playing as a Zinch. Yeah, yeah, actually. All right, Boris is here. Father Orson wants an example made of you, swine. Maybe Archaeon isn't doing as well as normal. Archaeon is not at war with Boris yet. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. Forces starting army is pretty nasty. I can't believe he's not at war with these guys over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's to compensate for his god awful start. Where's our our compensation, huh? All right, we've got some new legs. Demonic onslaught still, and then some melee attack and melee defense. That's undivided. And we got a one-handed weapon, but we're using the two-hander right now, so. I'm gonna check something out here. Okay. Wow. It's always the same stuff. It isn't like a roll for something. Okay. Alright. Uh, we can't move any more this turn there. So I'm going to move him down. So hopefully we can at least spy on the port. And get an idea if he's going to try to move or anything. Uh, we can get extra control. We don't necessarily need it just yet. I think I'm going to grab an income building. It's only a hundred income, but we desperately need some more. And yeah. All right. We'll keep, we'll keep upgrading whatever we can. Hmm. Trying to get back into Total War Hammer 3. Keep getting owned on like turn 10 by strong neighbors. Declaring war and running, ruining your day. Who are you playing as? How do you manage strong starting neighbors that hate you? It depends on who you're playing as. But for instance, this one is a good example, I suppose. Dude, Malice doesn't like us right off the bat. And he could kill us. He could absolutely kill us. Oh, here's a, a perfect example, actually. I've been checking on him every turn. Diplomacy is really strong. Let me show you how perhaps we can make it so Malice isn't going to kill us. So Malice is um, in a relationship with Nagaron, you know, on the other side there. And he has been pulled into war against Grombrindle this turn, actually. So what I can do is like, hey, man, I will fight Grombrindle for you. See? 
I'll fight him. Man, I hate that dwarf. We'll never see Grumbrindle. He will never make it here. If he does, that's crazy. He'll never make it here. But you can go to war with factions that you don't care about, especially minor factions that you're never going to have any relations with, and use that as leverage to get people friendly with him. Like, even if I didn't do a non-aggression pact, let's say it, it wouldn't get us to a non-aggression pact. If I do this trade, I could get money out of it, and he will still get some relationship with us because it, we've made a good deal with him. So if you haven't already, depending on your faction, I would I definitely say it's worth every turn to go into the diplomacy thing, especially early on, and see if you can do things like this. I'm taking this because I don't want to deal with Malice right now. I'm pretty sure Malice would just kill us. Malice might be able to solo our, our army if the if the AI has put his points in correctly. So yeah, screw it. I'll take that one coin to fight the white dwarf who I, I will never see. So yeah, it and you can do this on things like let's say you're playing Cathay or someone who like you know or Chaos Dwarves and you're you can see factions that are really far away. Or Zinch, you can see factions really far away that you'll never come into contact to. Come into the diplomacy and tell someone over there you'll go to war with someone nearby, you know? Maybe they'll attack your caravans, maybe they won't. But you can get some free money out of it, you can get some relationship. It's one of the main things that I do when I have... Like, we could not do this campaign if I was fighting Archaeon in the east and Malice in the west at the beginning. It would just be... I don't, I don't think anyone could do that. Maybe like some really crazy exploits or something, right? But yeah. So check out the diplomacy one. Yeah. Uh, so who are you playing as? Out of curiosity, like who's the main one you've been trying that you've been having a problem with with Dark Paladin? If there's a specific one, because I might have a specific piece of advice with them if I've played them. Bagel! Bagel. You gotta be careful with everything bagel. Destroy the universe. Saw a video online about Appalachian Link. You know what bothers me about Appalachian stuff? Is every time someone says Appalachia, you get someone in the comments like, it's pronounced Appalachia. That's how we pronounce it here. Let me tell you, I grew up in a friggin' hillbilly middle of the wilderness Appalachia, and we all call it Appalachia where I was. So it depends on where you are in it, if it's Appalachia or Appalachia. But man, I get people that are telling me I'm not actually Appalachian because I got rid of my accent because we call it Appalachia where I'm from. Like, anyway. Some mountain folk about Goglin. It's messed up or something. Immediately come to fact check with me. I've never ha heard of Goglin. Goglin. You betrayed your people. <laughs> Gatekeepers. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. They've resurrected a new anus. Grumbrindle never holds a grudge. <laughs> I'm glad I moved this guy here. So what we can do. Go here. We're the chosen one. Uh, Imric. What are you on now? Mouse you were the last you tried. Uh, okay. Emmerich does have a more difficult start than he used to. You have a lot of enemies near there. But again, you can probably, with any order factions around, you can probably... Oh, another thing I would say about the diplomacy. give You can give away towns and people will like you for a long time. So let's say... I don't know if I would do this. But let's say that um, I'm Emmerich. And... You know, there's uh, there's a faction over here that could kill me. But this is controlled by a minor faction. I could take this from the minor faction. You know, claim it as my own. I could go away from it. And then I could go into diplomacy and give this to my neighbor that I plan to take, late, take back from them later. Just to get them off my back temporarily. And they'll like me for a long time by giving them the settlement. Most factions. And another bonus is they're going to develop it. They might get this all the way to tier four, tier five. And when you take it, it'll it'll level down once. But they actually developed it for you, right? You'll get some free buildings out of it. So yeah, I would say if you haven't looked into diplomacy and, and like maneuvering your way through that to get what you want, it's good with every faction that has that can do diplomacy. 
So I, I would do that. Give cities away. You don't even have to be friends with them. You can literally give them the city to make them friendly. Don't get any kind of agreement with them. And then when you feel strong enough, go attack them. Don't do not do like a defensive thing where you're going to betray, betray them and get your reliability tanked. You can just give it to them for some money. They'll love you. What game was it? Oh, I, I had the weirdest thing happen with that. I was playing the vampires. So I was playing Isabella and I gave Bella, uh, Belagar, a dwarf that hates me. I gave him a capital dwarf city and he immediately went into a defensive pact with me. <laughs> so our closest ally ended up being Belagar, who had like a minus 800 opinion of me just because I gave him a dwarf city. So yeah, definitely, definitely be looking through the... Okay, they're done. Definitely look through the diplomacy. All right, Forest of Decay. We want to keep upgrading that one. So you see how Malice is actually to get what I'm... getting friendly with us now? Getting friendly with us? Okay, Ink Boy leveled up. We're going to get Children of Nurgle. This is going to make it so that he is going to get some healing around him when he's casting. It's going, Valinar. Welcome in. Blood for the Blood God. Eventually. Right now, it's disease for the disease god, but... So I think we're going to go to war with Boris. British museums return everything to the original owners. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Boris has actually got some armies, man. I cannot believe he's not at war with anyone else. Kind of scary. How is Boris not at war? Hmm. Definitely number one favorite faction with two kings a second. Just love playing undead factions. They're really good too. And yeah, both of them are very fun. I agree with you there. Um. Hmm. and Jack Drac is still not. So like, here's a good example. We can go down here if. if if Throg is not going to take out Krakadrac, we could come over here to this port. We could kill the dwarves, no problem. And then we could give that to Throg, and he would probably go into a defensive alliance with us. Because he already kind of... He doesn't have an aversion towards us. I need to keep an eye out for treasures in this channel, too. Hmm. We have the sea lane that connects down to where the... where Emmerich is and where the chaos doors are. Yeah, I think we take out Boris. I mean, he's going to be a thorn in our side. I am told you want to talk. How disappointing. So Archaon was... is alive and well. Okay. Yeah, I guess we uh, we're going towards Boris. I guess so. Okay, we'll start upgrading the Crystal Spire area. And we need control there as well. So we got a shield, which is kind of interesting. So we can change that out if we're f depending on who we're fighting. Missile block chance, yeah. So if we're fighting people with a lot of range, we can just put the shield on. That's kind of kind of nice. Okay, we got a new Nurgle helmet. What's the difference in this one? So we get leadership instead of weapon damage, and it has a set bonus. Three piece bonus for plus two recruit rank for Nurgle. Actually, replenishment plus 20% for Nurgle units. Wow. We need the legs and the torso to get that, though. Um, This leadership is pretty low. I'll go ahead and, go ahead and use it. Okay. Ocean of healing. Take that. And let's combine these two. If we get something good. Slightly better weapon, okay. It serves chaos. Cool down my percent to all spells. Let's throw that on you. Reborn to triumph. Okay. 
All right. Remember on Total War, Warhammer 1, Manfred, you worked your way into an alliance with the doors and by attacking their enemies? Yeah. You know, it. out of the Order factions, doors are the easiest one to make friends, even if you are repulsive to them. If you don't get in the Book of Grudges, pretty much, and you just give them things. Watching the solo Mechanator run. What temperature you like to get your heat box in order to down the ponds without saving them? I like to down them around 350 temperature. And then I like to keep it in the high 100s, 200 while they're down. Okay, we got our flying mount on our hero, which is good. Crack a Drac awesome. is done. Howling Citadel is the capital, so I would like to take that one first. Chaos. And it's going to take us a while to get there. Even marching, it's going to take three turns. Chaos reigns. Ruinous power. <sighs> yeah, well. Prepare my oh, well. I guess we got to do it, right? So. Freaking chaos waste takes forever to get across. Hates Nurgle. Yeah, well, it doesn't help us that much anymore. Finish upgrading the pink fire. Yeah, just some turns we're not really going to be able to do very much up here. Twist, bend, mangle, experiment. Plan Molder is currently at war with Kislev. That's normal. They don't like us, but I'm not too worried about them. Northmen come. I must eat these Hasselt and Corn. Astrogoth has taken over the north of his area as well. We could get on Astrogoth's good side. How many Marauders settlements do you guys have left? Two settlements and they are getting, yeah, they're getting killed by him. I think he's going to wipe them out. So we might as well get something from him. So if we join war against Gora Madni tribe. Oh, he will not? Interesting. All right, well. Oh, listen, wave odds. Loving the idea of the waves. Loving the content as well. I think, yeah, I think wrong. those are, that was a lot of fun, yeah. It's a little bugged in the current patch. But once away is a lot of fun. I think Clan Muller is at war with alone would be enough. <laughs> yeah. My Callus and Warhammer 2 and 3 have come a long way. Oh yeah, it's really, it's really crazy. And it seems like they're gonna support the game for a long time moving forward. And it looks like the Can you Hey! I want those places. It seems like the upcoming DLCs are going to be in a good spot, even for the price, with this shadow change thing that they, they're doing here. How many turns would it take us to get there? Three turns, man. I think three turns no matter, unless we march. Oh, that sucks. Another dark game. It is what it is, I guess, though. My, my, come to the clan. What so do do for you? that minor Skaven is going to end up pulling Boris down here if he doesn't already have an army down there, which is interesting. Malice. Let us not allow hate. Yeah, malice already. is good. We don't have to worry about that. Who else over here might we have to worry about? Um, Throg likes us, so we don't have to worry about him. These Norse skins over here, or whatever. And yeah, we're pretty safe from the west, actually. It's interesting that I was originally going to ally people in the east and go west, but we we might be doing this the opposite of that. It only took them three years to realize. Yeah. 
Yeah, the whole, the hyena thing and Pharaoh kind of flopping a bit, and then the huge kickback on the initial shadows of change. But yeah, at least whether it's marketing or not, at least they are giving us more stuff now because of the, all those things, you know? We could attack that this turn. Uh, actually, it's a major settlement. He's not going to be able to siege it, so take that back. We won't be able to attack it this turn. We will be able to attack it next turn, though. And I'm really hoping this guy attacks here. All right, Tower of Flies. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna do that. Definitely need the income. I'm we should we sack this instead? I might sack and settle. I guess it depends on how much money it's gonna give us, but we definitely need money to upgrade our other provinces because we are poor and everything is very expensive. Also, we might want to start settling for other provinces. I think this province has a bonus for corn stuff, right? I don't remember. They added a way that you can see the... Through the trade menu, you can see the... Um, the trade goods of different areas. Where... What? What is that? I remember there being something. Right? I'm misremembering. Was that a mod in the second game? What made me choose Nurgle? Mainly because Nurgle has a lot of growth and so, and replenishment. So replenishment means that we can do fights. We don't have to sit around waiting for people to heal up. And then uh, gro growth should allow our first provinces to get built up a bit. I think Zinch would have also been good. I think this is a, actually a corn area as far as uh, I think there's a bonus here for corn but I think I might just settle Zinch anyway uh, yes the starting province also is a Nurgle province and has a building by default that gives you Nur Nurgle corruption uh, and Nurgle oh he is attacking that oh maybe hard to tell no. he's probably not going to that army there Anyway, it gives uh, Nurgle glory as well. I think it's like the herb, herbs or something. I think Zinch would be pretty good though because Zinch's tier one and tier two units are very strong and very microable. They're ranged units, so. Now, this could be a problem because Eugene here could come hit the Port of Secrets. If... Bok Bok, the chicken skaven. Did you say say Wapstone? Maybe we can sticks around. Maybe you won't leave it though. Archaon still a faction, or I remember Warhammer three. Uh, Archaon is yeah, he is a uh, warrior of chaos, so not a horde faction. He's more of a vassalizing, and he has um, warband recruitment, so not re not really a horde faction, but closer to a horde faction than, than we are. All right. So he is at war with Archaon now. He might be pulled in that direction. He's actually really strong right now. So we are going to tell Archaon that we'll go to war with him. 809. Let's see what the Skaven would give us instead. So 809 for that one. It's a little bit more, but it's not... Not a big deal. Who was the other one? I return. Bring death. The gods might compel me. To oh right, kill, he's a vassal. But I. Yeah, we're gonna go with Archaon here. Carried by his two units of bear calves. So if we get lucky, Archaon might have taken. His, yeah, he's. Boris is definitely not dead at the moment. He's got too much power. To be a dead. All right, this might be the turning point to where we lose this campaign and try Zinch, but. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for this anyway. 
Four. Factions. Was it sure if they kept him in? Yeah. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He's a warrior of chaos faction, so he's very strong. He's much better than what we are. Archaeon is also one of the best like single Prince. single unit armies in the game too. Okay, we got some more stuff here. Spell resist 40%. That's just wasted stat, honestly. Yeah, so I'm not going to change that one out. We got some new leg options. Sinful footing. Charge bonus speed and charge speed. Armor 10, speed 5%. So we gained 5 armor, lose some melee attack. Um. See, the thing is, we have these wings that deal AoE damage, like a mortise engine. So the longer we can just sit in the middle of stuff, the better. Yeah, let's grab that. Oh, how seductive. <laughs> All right. Why are we taking attrition? Oh, it's the motherland thing. Motherland has been invoked by this Kislevite. There he is right there. Yeah, there's Archeon. Oh, for anyone that didn't see, I forgot I didn't go over it. Uh, here is our victory condition this time. So the short one is just raise, sack, control, 35 settlements. That'll be no problem. But then here's the big one. We have to beat Archeon, Sigvald, Azazel, um, Valkia. Uh, and then... Yeah, that's going to be so far away. I think he... I think Kolak usually gets beat up quite a bit, though, so... Kolak we probably won't have trouble with. He gets beat up. Valkia gets beat up. Sigvald usually stays pretty small. I've seen... I've seen Azazel get decently sized. And with us picking on Kislev, that's possible. So our biggest hurdle is going to be Archaeon, I think. Why is your victory condition? Yeah, so he wants to control the, the northern chaos wastes, I guess. So he's he wants to take over and control all of the chaos area in the north. Doom is upon them. Incognito. Thank you for the 12 months. Almost a full calendar year. Thank you, Incognito. Teamwork makes the dream work. We have low casualties on this. We have a lot of regeneration, so maybe we just take it. I mean, we win this one either way. Pretty easy. You guys are always spawning against each other. Yeah, his is a little bit different, though. So he was a son of Kislev, right? So he was like a, uh, a, a named Kislev hero type person who ends up becoming this. Spoilers, I guess. That's the story campaign you play in the beginning of this game if you go through the Kislev prologue. And so maybe it's also a remnant of this, you know, trying to destroy all the, and take over all the things that were pushing in on Kislev. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we win this really easily, but yeah, it's given us low. So, you know, what? I'm going to have to fight a lot of battles anyway. I'm just going to take one. Yeah, I probably should have still fought it. That's not low casualties. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so what do we want here? If we go with corn, we end up getting bloodletting, which is going to help growth in our main capital as long as we're fighting. Our main it's going to help with growth if we're out fighting because they get bloodletting. With Slanesh, we'll be able to seduce, but we're poor, so we won't have money to seduce anyway. With Zinch, we'll get teleport sands, which can be very good. We can ambush people. Low. The ogres, or every time it said load it up, smack. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Scrag was getting like 70% casualties when it would say low. Trade them all the whole map campaign. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go Zinch. Zinch corruption. So they get access to the blue horrors right off the bat, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. All right, we're going to get some more relations with people in the north. I have ascended. 
systematic plurality. Decrease cooldowns, 10 seconds. Okay. Definitely want that. We want Infernal Gateway. Infernal Gateway is really strong. Man, that really sucks. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm going to have to fight all those from now on. That's really unfortunate. Look how much damage that was. Could have known better, but man, oh man. God, that sucks. We don't have reduced upkeep for them. But we do need... We do need fighters, so... Gotta take this area over. Alright, Tower of Flies. You get more growth over here. Or some more income. This is actually ready to go up to tier 3. We just don't have the money. So that's going to take 10 turns to pay for itself. And two to build. So 12 turns before we even see a profit. Uh, if we get growth to 200, we can make the other growth build or the other income building instead. All right. Or I can save you this to tier three. I don't know. Uh-oh, Eugene. Hopefully he goes after this guy. I don't know. See. I'm really curious where Boris is going to come out from. Boris could literally come out of the shadows and hit this and kill it. Lurking Boris. Slime Trail is minus a melee attack and minus speed. Serpentine Tail... A second Mortis Engine effect? Do those stack? Does then we would have the wings? When we're in melee, it costs 16 to 32 damage to combatants in the area. And then while in melee, it costs 10 to 20 damage. If those stack, that's kind of be kind of crazy. Sorry that by turn 50, you won't be nearly as powerful as the factions that you need to destroy. Yes. Yeah. Unless other people are beating up on them, but yeah, we'll see. I'm going to check this out and see if it doubles up. And I'm going to put the Chaos Shield on... In case we get hit. Man, we are poor, poor, poor. All right, Boris, you just you just keep fighting Archaeon, all right? He is definitely a bigger threat than I am. Okay, Eugene has marched somewhere. And Boris did not attack us on their turn. They're a low number on the turn meter. Hmm. Bach landed and marched somewhere also. Okay. Who knows where Eugene went, but... Oh, right. I was going to see how much we would have gotten for sacking that. Whoops. I feel like we need to take the Tower of Torment. How many turns is that? Jesus Christ. Or any monolith is just two turns. Hmm. Sack was only like a thousand. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Take you to reinforce. Or see if Eugene is coming this way. I really feel like Eugene is coming this way because that Skaven definitely marched out that way. But I think Eugene just kills the Port of Secrets even with this army there and we just lose Ink Boy, right? Yeah, probably so. Oh, 
Uh, all right. Let's go this way and over the best. Crystal Spires. We might be losing this. No, no, never mind. Crystal Spires are. Second one. Okay. Yeah, hopefully we're not losing that one. I don't, I don't think so. I kind of want to get this so we can get Beast of Nurgle here. We need a thousand, so if I sack somewhere, we can get those. Beast of Nurgle are pretty good. Having a couple of those in the army would be nice. Have regeneration, some armor piercing for some of this crap over here. Yeah, I'm not going to build anything in that slot right now. God, this sucks, man. I'm just so poor. Plan Molder would actually go to non-aggression. Bring death. A lot of these northern factions Speak. are starting to like us because of our research, but or not research, whatever you want to call it. Skill tree. Been by the way, humanoid and weird fish. It will be interesting to go back and look at where we were on like Bretonia and places on this turn. I think on our Bretonia playthrough, we by this time we had taken out Grom. We had taken out Morgur. And this is right around when we finished off Scryer, yep. Face your and or accusers. Plus four control, which is nice. Five hundred favor. We can do nothing. I don't know if this is one of those that leads to a negative later. There are a few of those. Screw it. We'll just take this. I don't want to have to worry about a rebellion behind us. New wings. Purge the weak. Yeah, we're not going to trade those up. So, yeah, we can't reach that. This turn. Oh. Archaeon's uh, vassals are actually taking some stuff here. To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. The gods. 16 military access I may spare your soul. hmm well now that I know that I wish I had gone down to the tower but ah he'll get over the trespassing right yeah it's fine don't don't worry about it here's Boris I Do we win no an ambush one. against him? I guess we might find out, huh? Chaos. I think the answer is no. <laughs> Only Us commands me. Too late now. Horus is known to be very forgiving. Or Archaeon is known to be very forgiving. Yeah, yeah. He's a stand up guy, that Archaeon. Here he comes. Oh my god, I thought he had enough movement. Ooh, that was a risk that I shouldn't have taken. <laughs> if he had enough movement to catch us, we were he, we were dead. And we lose our entire army, and we probably might as well just start over. Oof. I 100% thought we were caught. Prince. 
drone looks like a ton of fun. <laughs> That's one word for it. Uh, all right. Bow only to the bear. Let's see what happens, I guess. What fuck? Supreme champion. I serve Kislev. No other. That is a large number of arrows coming toward us. Chaos reigns. I cannot be stopped. I have ascended. All right. This world will burn. All right, uh, yeah, this could be really, really bad. And we know he has another army somewhere. So if this ends up going really poorly, even if we win, the other army might swoop in. But hopefully we have enough movement to get out of there, if so. Uh, all right, predictions coming up. I'll be right back while you guys wager your real fake channel points on this. This one could be a doozy. Do we have anything to take out the bears? I don't know. All right. I'll be right back. Sanitize my hands every time I touch a doorknob in the house right now. All right. So, good thing I have the shielded guys, I suppose. We can close the gap on a lot of these, but the bears are the big problem. They also both have leadership uh, banners, so they're, they're pretty much not ever going to break. We have to kill them. They're anti-large and armor-piercing. Um... We definitely have to make sure they don't get on the Lord. I mean, if we just have some nurglings or something hold them in place, that's not really going to be feasible. They have mass. They can get out of there. But we don't want to... We probably don't want to focus on trying to kill the bears. Boris is mainly in the yellow. Okay, he's also anti-large armor piercing. We don't want to duel him. Armor shielded, armor shielded. Okay. Lots of anti-large. So pretty much we want our Lord on their Pissars uh, or the, the Patriarch. Time for a good battle. I hope it's good. Ugh. We have a bit of Winds of Magic. We have Purple Sun. We have the Zinch Fire Magic. We also have the Steam thing from Nurgle, which is not very good. Um... One's a little bit too expensive. Yeah, Stream of Corruption is not great. It's cheap, though, so if they line up a lot... Oh, man, our reinforcements. We might want to move those. 
Probably gonna get crushed if I don't move him. Oh, uh, you know what? I should have taken the Vanguard deployment uh, disease. Be like now. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull the reinforcements back. Not gonna let us. Okay, there we go. How long is this gonna take? Friggin' ever, I'm sure. Five minutes. Ugh. Okay. Um. At least he has his disc now. He'd be pretty decent at taking out like Boris if Boris ends up being alone or the Patriarch or whatever. I'm really worried about all those archers against our Lord though. We are really slow too, so it's gonna be very little dodging if we're trying to do it that way. You know, the blood letters might be okay against the bears too. Out of the things that we have. Not ideal, but. Alright. See what happens. Oh, there's Boris. Alright. So they're on defense. So a lot of times they will not come to you if they're on defense unless you do some kind of damage to them. We are not going to do damage right now because we're going to wait on our reinforcements. And they want to give us that time. That is awesome. And we'll also build up Winds of Magic. So, yeah. Just hang out, guys. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. We'll just wait on these guys. This entire army we're not really too concerned with. Like, that's kind of just uh, we recruited whatever the crap we could just to give us a little bit more oomph. If we can get a Marauder on every one of their ranged, we can probably chew through them before the bears wipe us. He also didn't run, so if we beat him, we're going to have to beat him again. So we got to get a lot of kills on, on anything that we can. Boris Ursus. All right. Well, they just want to. <laughs> can they waste their ammo? Yeah, I, I usually don't do those things. I can waste their ammo, at least some of it, on either the Demon Prince or maybe even on Aram here, but I try not to. Try not to do those things. This might be one of those situations where I probably should, but I, I usually tend to not want to do it. We got two more groups of Nurglings. Civil servants of Slanesh. Yeah, man, they're just chilling. I'll build this up. Just got the hang time with the battle. Much on cereal. What kind of cereal are you eating? Dry cereal is an underrated snack. Underrated snack. Are you on YouTube? No, you were allowed to play anything other than RimWorld. Yeah, you would think I wasn't able to. Yeah, we're allowed to. Dry cereal is nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. All right, I think we're good. Miss the betting? Yes, you missed the betting. Dude, 
it work. <laughs> Now he's moving now that we try to cast on him. Off brand of gold gram grams. Nice. doing a ton of damage to him but we'll get what we can done if he wants to sit here and take damage yeah that's doing so little on him oh okay you got sick of that <laughs> damage from the bears gotta keep an eye on that oh that one got a good hit Spear, there's Kassar's no spear. Okay. okay, bears are being held. Okay, just, that guy wants to be there right there. Screw him. Let him be there. guys keep going that way get up out of that crap yeah, just hold him there i don't i don't care hey, brothers. how you doing in that group Let there be chaos. those uh those are not spears so you want to get on that Puppies, you stay there. You guys come this way. Yeah, just keep disrupting those. I don't care. Bears are getting taken over by the civil servants of Slanesh. That's always good. It's supple. It's supple. Okay, he is starting to come towards us, so we want to pull our lord out of there. And I need you guys to switch over. Chase those bears. Uh, those are armored Kassars. Okay, his bear is gone. Let's get him out of there. 
Something we probably shouldn't have him on. He needs to be on the normal Kassars. There. And close in on those. Bears are actually getting wrecked. Hold him there. It's fine. Uh, dogs, make sure those guys don't come back. And we just kind of need your leadership, Aura. Over here. Good. Bugs, uh, we don't want you on the Zara guard. Get out of here. News can't die. We don't really care about that one either. Yeah, that one's still being held there. You know what? If he wants to chase him, I'm good with that. They have anyone that's about to break? Actually, just make sure these guys don't recover. And we got the sword. Um. Hey. Nah, actually, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not sure we need the sword. Let's pull it away from this and drop it on these guys. Maybe? Ah, here we go. I really want to kill him. No, no, no. Don't let him run. Crap. The dog's still alive? Yeah, okay. Pin him down. Don't let him reach the edge. I don't have to beat him twice. Punch him and his bears. Yeah, luckily the bears did very little because we were able to get the counter units onto them and they never pulled away from them. It just kind of let us do it. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, come on. Come on. Why is this bear so fast? No. <laughs> we got some more damage on him, though. Okay, we need to get as many kills as we can. Because we have to beat this army again. Anything that survives, we have to... End up killing again. Or, well, I guess we didn't kill them in the first place, but you know what I mean. Fighting them again. Watch this battle is pleasing. Yeah, we lost, we lost some, but we definitely lost way more. <laughs> he had a nitro boost on his bear. <laughs> it was a DLC bear. He spent extra on that. Yeah, get as many of these dead as we can. Yeah, the Zar guard. Yeah, wipe those. That'd be great. All right. I think we killed most of the bears, too. Their high leadership came back to bite them because they just stood their ground and died. Works for me. And our lord took very little damage. That was a close victory. All right. All right. If you say so. Let's pay the people out. 75,000 channel points. So the only thing we lost a full group of are the that blue horrors, but they did a really important job. They held that strong unit over there the whole time. Even holding the bears down, they still got 70 kills. Yeah, the Patriot got 101 kills and they were all blue horrors. All right, so we are almost to the point of getting teleport stance. That would get us to teleport stance. Teleport stance. Oh, we also lost a group of Nurgle. I didn't notice that. Nurglings. 
Uh, yeah, let's grab that. Teleport stance very strong. All right, now we gotta beat him again. So we are going to put on the Vanguard deployment one. It was a masker. Not a close one. Yeah, I felt that way, but that works out sometimes. What does the bird head give us? Power recharge if we're out of melee. Okay. Fires change. Yeah, I think starting this out as Zinch would be pretty, pretty decent also. Transportation of lead, armor 15, melee defense 5. Hmm. Like Rust, yeah. L lots of spells, obviously, but... Okay, two more points. So we're going to get more relations with the north. And then we got one more point to spend up here. Chaos divided, undivided, just corruption in the area, growth, control. It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll just put it in. Yeah, like hopefully he's never sticking around places. I guess if he stick around, sticks around somewhere, though, 36 growth is better than three control. It's all just local. Hellish power. Okay. This guy did a great job. Aram did a great job against uh, Boris himself. Colonel Gateway, really good. We're going to grab that. Troll on that turn so you don't get rebelled on. Uh, you're not, yeah, you're not going to get rebelled on on that turn. Plus we have... So this faction has a plus four uh, control. Just uh, edict or whatever you call it. Um, and then we also have the plus control building. I think we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah. If he's sitting there, actually, we I would be fine with a like any, any settlement he's sitting in. I would be fine with a rebellion because then we just get free experience on him. I have control already. Yeah. So we have some other control options, but you know, like I said, if a rebellion army spawn at a place that he's sitting in, that's just going to be free glory anyway for him. So yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. On a lot of factions, though, control would definitely be the way to go. Not so sure on this one. Curse of the Leper can be okay. It's uh, reflects damage. Yeah, we'll grab that. We're really trying to get to his heal, though. Uh, we'll grab it. Corruption. But yeah, they're... Uh... I'll show you. Yeah, one of theirs is just plus four control, so. And some control building. So it, it seems like out of chaos factions, they don't have that big of a deal or problem with control, at least. So I have a small thing going for us. All right, we want to go wipe out Boris. This is low. Um, I'm not I'm not doing that just in case. Last time we had a low casualty one on this one, we ended up losing like 500 units or something. <laughs> it was like rebellion. Your low control bonuses are so high. Suddenly don't get rebelled on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Make old hell breast be a nice addition to the army. Run launch in the demon fashion. Couldn't recruit marauder units at all. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we don't want to lose anything. Put all this back here. Hopefully we don't lose anything. Uh, oh, we didn't get. I guess it takes a turn for that to. That makes sense. Went to effect, but. We don't need those. It's fine.
<laughs> what, is, what is he doing? <laughs> Ah, just taking a little joy ride, my lord. What is he he's doing it again? That's so weird. It's like he's trying to find Boris. Just can't. Just can't find him. Doing donuts. Oh god, I actually took some HP damage on him. Gotta be careful. Take very little losses on this one. What are you wearing? It's a weird thing to ask. <laughs> hey, what are you wearing? You can't just ask your heroes what they're wearing. Oh, I don't have enough to overcast it. Okay, that's what's going on. Overcast is tin. have there uh okay whatever that's a lot of leadership makes sense i suppose especially on this difficulty Goofy Zinch things. This special trait cause you beat this lord. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let me see what the defeat trait is on Boris. I actually don't know. Music's hype. Makes you want to start a war. <laughs> that little guy. Yeah, he was miscasting. I was just talking the other day about how miscasting usually is a big problem. You don't usually worry about it very much, but he was definitely taking some damage from miscasting. And then you got hit by some arrows, too. So almost there, almost there. Two Zinch glory. Yeah, let's double check what uh, what his defeat trait was. I don't know what Boris's is. Red dead leadership plus eight when fighting against wars of chaos, demon of chaos, chaos dwarves, and Norska. That's actually oddly good for us because our whole long victory thing is is fighting chaos oddly enough so so much power uh yeah i'm gonna take this we're gonna take earthing pretty soon too though Immortal glory. okay good now we are wanting to attack that the next turn we want some recovery though so we'll come across the border here 
another dark or I guess we don't want attrition nut. We don't get recovery either way in that stance. Alright. Always ready for a headbutting contest. Minus 18 for trespassing. Yeah, well. We're just gonna have to get over it. Just gotta get over it. And we have enough to actually upgrade the forest of decay. All right, uh, Malice, have you gotten yourself into any other Who wars that we can benefit audience. from? No? Okay. Any other quick yes, deals out there? Oh, you got beaten by someone. Oh, you're getting beat up by Kislev. You're trading with Azazel. Okay. I am Throt, the Unclean. Boulder and Wintertooth both getting beat up by Kislev. Great leader. Yeah. Good luck with that. Go, Kislev. <laughs> yeah, one of the reasons I don't remember the different Kislev Lords defeat traits are they're usually dead by the time I show up. Oh, did you see that? Archaeon just took out their city that we were about to go grab. Unfortunate. We're doing it. Uh, I mean, it's on turn 21, so it feels pretty rough anyway. We don't have enough to settle the burning monolith. So I guess we're going this way. There's Eugene. No higher power than I. I had wondered. This world Oof. will burn. I wondered why I had become of Eugene. There he is. And our our army is really beat up. Boyars bow to no one. Demon Prince. Mm. Yeah. It is treason to command me. Yeah, man, I wanted that Bernie Monolith. Uh well. Well, I'm actually thinking of sacking it myself for some money. That's kind of a sucky turn, huh? All right, Eugene. Eugene is running. Okay. Can't believe Mr. Krabs is fighting on the side of Kislev. <laughs> yeah, it's just really slow progress. Where's the chaos? Shadows change seem to help him out. I have a At least a little bit. Oh, I hate slow moving like this across here, but gotta do it. Slaughter the sheep. Okay, this is upgrading. Okay. Spire. We can afford the growth building there now. Hang on, actually. I really want to get this. Let's let's wait on that. Just getting some uh, Beast of Nurgle would be a huge improvement. More early game, more regiments. Uh, definitely more regiments, yeah. The only early game increase, I think, is the Marauders, right? There's Archaon. So now we'll be able to see if we had gone to war with Archaon, how strong he'd be at this stage of the game. I'm really curious. I told people earlier, I was like, it's not unusual to see Archaon power spike in the early game and be like in the level 20s when you first meet him. He's level 12. He hasn't been doing that well. The Eye of, of course. Has already told me your offer. But I will hear it from your oh man, he hates the trespassing. He might go to war though, still. Even with a plus 30 from our tree because of the trespassing. It's kind of ridiculous. 
do you have multiple armies there already? No higher power than I'm the AI. I get to cheat. I cannot oh, right. be stopped. Grab it. As you were. Lawyers bow to no one. Uh. Kislev's fallen champion. And I kind of hate to get this, but we can always disband it after we're done over here. He's just get over it. I can't believe he's only only level 12. I have absolutely seen him on level like 25 on turn 23. I wonder what's been going on with him. He's only been fighting Boris, so. And he wasn't even fighting actual Boris. Boris's army had never been defeated until we, we beat it, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe he didn't have enough armies to kill in order to get strong enough. All right, well, that worked out really well for us. What's Lurk work? So lurking just means having the stream running, whether you are watching it or not, being a viewer count number. Uh, it can be just watching quietly or it can just be letting it run. And Lurker Quirk is something from Darkest Dungeon. So initially, Darkest Dungeon was the main game on the channel. That's where we got partnered through and where, what I used to play all the time, thousands of hours. Melee attack plus 10 or speed. Oh, speed would be good on that one. And in Darkest Dungeon, Lurker Quirk is a quirk in the game that allows you to do more damage if you are in zero light, which was one of the challenge run things that I always used to do. So it matched up with the Twitch thing very well. Uh, yeah, I really don't like that he's so upset about that. That would really suck, man. I'll stop time. Uh, we have a couple options. So I think I'm going to separate this army from the other one first. And to do that, I'm going to attack the settlement. We're going to lock the settlement army in here. Of Darkest Dungeon. And then we could teleport on top of this, but then we won't be able to attack afterwards. So we're just going to attack this normally. We'll probably run. But since that army's locked in there, we can chase him down. Decisive and low. We know how that works, though. Although this one might give us a pretty good... I should fight it. Do not give in to the decisive low of this faction, as we have found out. All right, let's just do it. Uh, Mastel, thank you for the 500 bits. You picked up against Storm. Have been watching the VODs from it. Thanks for the recommendation. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. I really like against the Storm. Really like against Storm. It's, uh, it's not a great game to stream, because it... There's so much going on that if you don't know the game and you're watching it, it just looks like nothing happening, really. But it's a, it's a really good game. Really fun to play. I think. I think. Shut up, Daniel. You were just some guy. Kislev's fallen champion. All right, how much uh, wins of badge? We actually have a lot. Recharge is blocked, but... Bleh, 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 bleh. And they were vampires. Bleh, bleh, bleh. It's your fun, you chill evening game because the storm it is that is. Yeah, I really, really enjoy it. 95% plus positive with 20,000. Yeah, yeah, it's a very highly played game at the moment, still. It's just not great as a streaming experience, I don't think. Speeds up winning by like an entire year. Uh, it can depend on which kind of geyser, but yeah, geysers are extremely strong because you just get unlimited water of that type. You don't have to wait for the season to get that water. And you can also automate them so you don't even need workforce. Like, if you don't have foxes, you might as well just automate them. 
uh, and it's just freebie. You have a robot working there. But it, it can depend on which geyser it is. But for instance, if you get a green geyser, a lot of food production uses green water. And you can you can pump out, uh, you know, double, double food and faster food much easier. But also using water to increase the uh, mood is, is a really big one. So if you can increase people to blue resolve with water over and over and over, you're going to get way more points out of that much faster, of course, than you normally would and can win in less time. Yeah, it's just really strong. I, I would value green water and then blue and then yellow usually with against the storm. But the thing about the game, one of the things that I really, really like about it is the fact that each playthrough can be so different depending on which blueprints you end up getting. So it might not always be the case, but I, I find it green water always useful, especially after you get the field kitchen because you know you're going to have a food production building that is going to use green water. I'm actually thinking a Zinch start on this Lord might have been better overall now that I've been playing this. Because we could be using him to do this and he would have better casting than this hero. Maybe. I don't know, actually. He doesn't have great... It's not like a research tree. I think a Zinch start would be pretty good. taking way more damage than I thought they should from that. So, yeah, my mistake there. You guys around there. We gotta actually lose more than I thought. My bad. Let's get you out here. Yeah, I did not keep an eye on where great weapons were versus like normal weapons versus spears. So I end up losing a unit, which I really should not have done. Looks like we might lose those nerglings. Yeah, I mean, losing a group of nerglings is a big deal, but shouldn't have lost them. Spreading rapture, guided by chaos, forward, dealing agony. I pretty much put the units that they were better at fighting in the place where they were. Yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. 
end of the day, it's not gonna like cost anything in our campaign, really. But it does suck because it was super preventable. We get full kills either way, right? Yeah, because this is a uh, they ran away, so I think we should get all kills. But just in case, Nurglings are literally made to be loot. Yeah, yeah. It's actually kind of crazy how much Kugath can buff Nurglings. We don't have any of that though. We are not Kugath. It's not often you look at Kugath and wish you were him as far as your legendary lord goes but one of those situations and yeah, we'll just make sure we get as many kills as possible just in case uh like zerglings yeah they do a little bit hugo they were the six months thank you go and silence your 32 afternoon all or morning for the west coasters yeah Wow, it's almost 130 here already. I like 200 favorite. Yeah. yeah. But you know, we are pretty poor, so. You just throw everything in the path. Yeah, this is going okay. But it's. It, when you put it into perspective of the other runs, this one is really far behind. And, but. It might just make it so that it's a much longer campaign, you know? Now, if Archaeon declares war on us, things are going to change real fast. Real fast. Oh, wait. We had already gotten the Teleport Stance, right? No, no. We still haven't gotten it. It's at 700 and something. Yeah, so we're almost there. I was actually looking at Chaos Undivided earlier on accident. Supreme Champion. Oh my god, we got Route Larcher. Wow, finally, we can move 5% further. The Christmas Miracle. Fallen Champion. This resist is always good, but I think I'm going to get the Infernal Gateway. Enemy only flash. Very expensive spell, but... So Very good one. Power. What? They re-recruited Boris during that downturn? I didn't notice that. It's also frustrating. Uh, another problem with this is he has that motherland thing going on. So I think we have to break that siege. Minor settlement, huh? Uh, Mommy land. Hmm. What did we unlock? Winds of Change, Active Ability, Power Recharge, 60, Miscast, minus 50. It's an Active Ability, right? Glean Magic, whatever. Word Save 10%, Barrier 200. So 10% damage reduction versus 10 melee defense and 25 armor. Yeah, yeah that sucks that you re-recruited Boris already. Immortal Glory! I serve Kislev. No other. And if we leave this, Archaeon is going to come down here and take it. Which isn't the worst thing, but it's not exactly what I would like to happen. I think we are going to do this. Just to hold him in here. Hopefully he come, doesn't come out to fight us. He does, we're gonna have a real bad time. Yeah, I guess we just see what happens. 
I wish I hadn't taken all that damage in that fight. Uh, <laughs> Our income is so bad. So, so bad. Uh, Like, we have the growth to upgrade these places, but we just don't have money. Don't have money. We lost a lot of power there, too. So these deals aren't as lucrative anymore. Ah, uh, they also gain power, so. We'll just have to kill them again, yeah. Yeah. Bring a little leg. Simple legs, yeah. <laughs> Okay, he stayed in there. All right. So now the question is, what is Archaeon going to do? Best case scenario is Archaeon getting close enough to assist, but not attack. He didn't move close enough for that. Nurgle alignment will do that. Income, what's that? Oh, we got a free Blood Reaper. Let's see which one. Let's see what you got. Armor piercing weapon damage plus 50. Yeah, because the game is just like, you know what? Do you want to be in more debt? You want to be in more debt? Yeah, do I? Do I? That'd be his leg. That's the build a bear thing that we have. Man, Archaeon. Chill. Favorite voice actor Warhammer 3. Blar yard bleed. <laughs> Demon Prince. Okay, he's just not close enough. <sighs> Unit mass plus twenty five percent, twenty armor. Charge bonus. Twenty-five percent mass seems pretty good. We can push him out of those places where he gets stuck in. Oh, those are some. Those are some legs, all right. No more desirable legs. Demon we got big Prince. legs now. Ah. Uh. Up here all the time, right? Playing correctly. Well, I guess I was playing incorrectly on the doors and and um Bertonia, because we were friggin' rich. We we're rich. And I can't build anything, I'll go into debt. That are many you got any other words? Oh, exiles them to heck? Yeah, man. I will definitely help you Do with them. You come to forge peace. Yeah, I I hate those guys. We see them all the time, I think how. Four and thirty bucks. Yeah, all right. For the hack. yeah, there. Just leave me alone, Malice. That's all I care about. I will literally go to war with whoever you tell me to, as long as you don't attack me from the west. I think that was the key to this: is making it so that Malice doesn't attack us. Because good God, having to deal with Malice right off the bat would be just horrible. We're already 25 turns into this, and we have two provinces. Nice. You still want... It could happen, yeah. I joke about it, but... Brombrindle could all of a sudden land on the... <laughs> on the dock over there. You know who I am. Jesus Christ. What are you doing here? Hey, I think we're going to get it for free. I think uh, Archaeon's going to uh, reinforce... It's weak, but annoying, yeah. Decisive and low because Archaeon's helping out. And then I can also get the defeat trait on this guy because he's leading it. All right, cool. Sack it for 3,500? Give me that sack. Give me that sack. That's a weird thing to say. I have 
for chaos! Chaos lives here now. Blue scribes take a place to collect their parchment. I'm sure the following building has been constructed. Gyroscope room. And the Ursin Revivalists are no more. Slips, fallen champion. Um. So. Enter then. Those are vassals of Archaeon. Not getting that back right now. I am told you want to talk. Those are vassals of Archaeon. Not getting that back right now. Oh, Archaeon. I am the chosen of the gods. You catch me in a moment of less rage. So he's starting to like us, but he could literally declare war on us next turn. He just kills both of those armies. Waiting for Granny to say that. Give me that sack. For now, because I was in a heck show up. Yet. Yeah. I have two stories behind that that are really crazy. So we were doing our Tarox campaign. We started this with the Beastmen, these long campaigns. So I'm playing as Tarox, you know, he's over here. I destroy all this. I leave when I'm about right here in the water, something like that, maybe further. Um, Malekith declares war on us. I'm like, oh, whatever, I'm not going back, Malekith. I come all the way on, over to Bretonia. We take over all of Bretonia. I have like all four legendary lords. I forget about Malekith and his war against us. I have all four legendary lords. I've taken over all Bretonia. We're like level 40 or something. This is up on YouTube as well in the, in the live tab. And then suddenly Malekith lands here with his starter army and he's like level eight. He's just been trying to get to us, ignoring the donut who he's at war with as well, ignoring everything. And he's just beelining straight to Bretonia where Tarox is <laughs> with his starter army. He's like level eight. Uh, so stupid, uh, anti-player bias does a lot of crazy things like that. There'll be a reckoning. So we have a couple options here. I cannot be stopped. I say, eh, Archaeon probably won't declare war on us next turn and end our campaign. Probably won't do yes. that. He who the or I can try to get a non-aggression pack. But the only way I think I could get that is I give him the Tower of Torment. Oh, he won't even do it for the Tower of Torment. I have to give him the Tower of Torment and all of our money. Oh my God, I'm going to risk it. Send him a trespassing warning. <laughs> yeah. This yeah, right. Will burn. Heard that bull is a player. Uh, we can get Lightning Strike, Upkeep Reduction. We need Upkeep Reduction, really. Oh my god. Ontario, just take one settlement. I grow ever more unstoppable. Man, I might have to recruit Regiment Renown and just waste all of our money this turn. Just in case Archaeon attacks. He probably won't, but like if he does, do are are we okay if he attacks with what we have right now? Alright, the Chaos Warhounds, no problem. We can just beat all those with our Lord. Not a big deal. The Hell Cannons, we can rush down. We have some Cav, we can rush those down. Uh, Spawn of Nurgle are not a big deal either. Chaos Knights of Zinch should be annoying. Marauders are fine. These ones are fine. We might actually win. He's raiding us? Yeah. We would maybe actually win. I think we would. Oh man, I'm not gonna recruit the Regiment of Renown. Maybe famous last words, but I don't wanna waste the money. Probably as though he has two other armies really close by and they would just march down. So even the Regiment of Renown, Renown wouldn't help against that, I suppose, right? So. Yeah, all right, well. Armor 10, mail attack five. We keep the Serpentine Tail. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, all right. Well, good luck to us. Godspeed. Get that last Infernal Gateway. We might need it. Uh, Ink Boy. 
Green corruption kind of sucks, honestly. Growl. This is fine. Also, I win too much anyway, so lose for the content. <laughs> we have a few quests over here that I should probably do at some point, you know? Probably do that. All right, let's start getting towards Beast of Nurgle. Hopefully. All right. Damaged building of the Tower of Torment. I'm not sure I I completely care, honestly. I might still give that to RK on next turn, just for money. He doesn't kill us. Where am I going to go after that, though? If we make friends with Archaeon and don't fight him now, where do we go instead? I mean, there's some Skaven down here. There's the Chaos Dwarves, which are spreading like crazy. Going down here, we just get pulled into more and more stuff. We could betray Norska. Then we have beat Clan Boulder also. Yeah, I don't know. I guess let's just see what Archaeon does, and that's going to kind of dictate what our next 30 turns are going to be about. Possibly. Tough choices? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe we do fight Archaeon now. He's level 14. The problem is he's got two vassals, and they all have... Okay, so he did not go to war with us. The Empire? Well, that's not... It doesn't help any way towards our long victory condition is the thing. Like, normally, if it wasn't for the long victory condition, I would probably just say, screw this place. And we would go over here and start taking over some better places with some weaker... weaker opponents, but... Can we take Archaon out right now? Oh, my lord. Supreme Champion. Uh. Look at him just begging to be punched. Yeah, I know. He would run away. He would run away at the moment. What torso do we unlock? Foreboding in condition still. Armor 25. Melee defense 10. Trade 10% fire resist for 5% ward save. Yeah, I would definitely do that. I actually think we beat his army right now. Never let the enemy know your next move. You catch me in a moment of less rage, creature. I may spare your soul. So he has several armies just himself. Take what's there. Cole probably has one or two armies, okay. Yes. Norska. Kong also maybe one to two armies. Ugh. Elman Gorse. I think we attack Archaeon. I don't know that we're ever gonna get a better opportunity than now. Uh, I'm gonna send you up this way to spy. Maybe not. Uh, I think we attack him now. Um, do you have any other enemies right now? Nope. Wait. Who the crap is Magath Kin? I don't recognize that one. Magath Kin? Another lesser chaos faction? All right. It's a little Nurgle faction to the east of him. Okay. So, which one of these help us the most against him? I am the chosen of the gods. We just... The Chaos Warriors, we probably just leave alone. Like, that's going to be the thing that's dealing a lot of damage. Our Chaos, we probably... And his hero, those are both going to cause a lot of damage, too. 
So we probably try to win through army losses from like here down. Anything good against the Chaos Knights? Chaos reigns. We have 2080 to work with. Maybe the Pink Horrors? Flesh Hounds aren't great, but we can get it on the cannon. After that, they're pretty much garbage, though. This would take everything that we have. I mean, this would be the best, but it would take everything. A little Nurgle faction. Uh... Everclaw are pretty good. Yeah, it's just that I can't afford a second one. I would like to get them and something else. Well, let's see if we can make any money. I would need just a couple hundred more this turn. If I didn't get rid of that guy. I could cancel the building or the Beast of Nurgle. I mean, we're not going to be able to recruit them anytime soon anyway. All right. For the ruinous powers. So we'll take you guys. And pink horrors definitely punch above their weight. So I feel like that's a good one to take. Minions, bow for All right. Let's see what happens. Supreme champion. We still don't have teleport stance, man. If I had teleport stance, I could jump on top. This is going to be risky. Yes. I can't even ask them to go. Minions. All right. Demon. All right. Well, here's the turning point, I think, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, that's uh, doesn't look too good. <laughs> Desist. Okay, he ran. We knew he would. Hellish power. Conquest. So much power. Alrighty, I'm gonna use the restroom and then we'll fight this. It'll be easy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, the wager is coming up on Twitch. If you want to wager your real fake channel points, now is your time to do so. All right, I'll be right saying there's pain. I've come to a decision while well, I was using the restroom, and that decision is I'm now going to start pronouncing the A in Demons of Chaos. So now they're Daemons, which is either a hillbilly way to say it or just the name Daemon. Daemon. Daemons of Chaos. 
Okay, they have 100 wins of magic as well. So we do have some spell casting. I don't know what spells Archaon has. He's gone into the yellow line predominantly. So he's got he's got a little bit of blue too. Matt Damons of Chaos. Uh, came over from YouTube. Awesome, thank you. Armored, armor piercing, anti-infantry. Yeah, we know the Warriors of Chaos is going to be a real problem. Generation, armor piercing, poor leadership. Okay. Now complete faith. I see that number three next to your name. <laughs> so if we, if we lose this, but we weaken him enough, it's possible we win this next one, but... Look how tiny Archaeon is. Yeah, that's actually a benefit for him. I wish our character model was that small. If we were like Valkia size, we'd be way more powerful. Every, everything the same, but we're the size of Valkia and we're good to go. Uh, all right. All right. Battle of the Undivided, I suppose. Being small is a boon in this game. Yes. We're talking about how big Colette gets with his vassals, which is cool. It's a nice, it's a pretty awesome mechanic. I like it. Boy, oh boy, does he become a pin cushion for arrows. And just surface area in general, even melee. Happy birthday. Am I Frosty Snowman? Happy birthday. No voting for the enemy. I see all those threes in chat <laughs> next to the names. I'm glad it shows me those now. So hell cannons, we gotta get those taken care of. Because that's gonna be what stops us from just being able to sit back and cast. Um, the chaos knights are on that side. Their own warhounds are over there as well. Scourge. Uh, okay, so we we'll we'll go in. I think on this side. Most part. I think I might have this. I don't know. You'd have also voted for a loss that you were just a second too late. Yeah, I think we're gonna go this side. Man, those hell cannons are really gonna suck. So I need this casting on Archaeon. Unless they end up blobbing up, we want to we start hitting him. I mean, if we get him low, we can dive down. He's going to be chunking through HP on these single entities. Uh, and we got we got to get the Hell Cannons. That's really important. But unfortunately, they have their fast news over there. And we got this stupid landmass here. Maybe we should start on... Man, it's going to be uphill over here too, though. And we're going to have to try to punch through to it. How's Daniel doing? Um, he's doing all right until this battle, probably. It's mod wife. He's absolutely catch them before they get to the hell cannons. We can instead try to punch through the marauders. The spawn of Nurgle are going to catch them that way. Oh, we gotta get on top of him. Play call cam here all. No, this is the only thing I've I've ever really played in this game. We desire torment. All right. Well, what's the range on the hell cannon? Hang on. We don't have to engage right away. Okay. That'll let us get some time to build up a little bit of Winds of Magic. I have no idea what spells Archaeon has. 
or what he can even have as spells, honestly. All right, let's see what happens. Curious works well in Warhammer. Yeah, yeah. Overconfidence, something, something. Yes, yeah, Searing Doom. Do you have metal magic? I like Searing Doom, actually. Get some of those. I have a mix. I will conquer. You know what? I'll build up some of wins of magic. Screw it. Searing Doom is really strong. Yeah. Searing Doom uh, is it's very cheap for how good it is, I find. <clears throat> oh. Cannon turned on him. Okay, reinforcements are here. You have Curse of the Leper, which could be really good against Kaon. Civil servants are here as well. Searing Doom, Spirit Leech, and Burning Head. Okay, he's not he doesn't have enough points to get to Burning Head. So he probably has Searing Doom and Spirit Leech. Spirit for Aram's life, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he can chunk through some HP. And it's hard to hold him down, too. See how this does on him. Yeah, there's the spirit leech thing. Oh, there's Staring Doom. Heard it too late. Actually doing okay damage on him. Oh, he does have Flaming Skull. I didn't think he had enough points in there. Of course, I don't know when exactly he gets his stuff, so... Arcan over here. Spreading ruination. Claw their flesh. Hands out. Spreading ruin on the mortal food. We smell slaughter. Hold on then. Child's play. A place of conquest. Let us Your will. Fucking burning head. Oh, I thought I could pull you guys to get out of there. Yeah, but I thought it was a suggestion, not an order. Okay, hell cannons. Yeah, we lost our first starter unit. Now yeah, we're not gonna kill him, so we want to try to win through other other means. Uh, 
Uh, I start hearing doom go off again. Man, I hate that these things get stuck and then they just stop trying to get out. That's unfortunate. Uh, where are you at? Yeah, that's fine. We're back again. They're not really grouped up enough. I was worried about that. Should have known better. Been saying that a lot today, huh? Yeah, you guys just hold RK on there. It's fine. Yeah, that's done. Let those recover. Marauders of Nago, Billius Brothers, let them be rocked. Uh, how much wins do we have? Yeah, we don't have enough to really do much against him. These are just kind of just staying there. Oh. Holding him there. Don't let those recover. Let those recover. Gotta get these Chaos Knights done. What we have there? Entities cannot die. Okay. Yeah, just take RK on over there if he'll follow you. Quite a bit. And I wish those chariots had come out of there when I told them to. kills so we can we don't have heals yet i have to make sure i lead that move like that in the future too i thought it was going to be a little bit faster landing hmm. the blender by sending the fast units ahead yeah yeah man archaon and that hero got Probably most of their kills. Luckily, we took out the Hell Cannon. They left it alone, so the bugs got back there on that and took it out. <clears throat> but 
Yeah, I ate a bunch of Searing Storms that I should have dodged, and I also missed from my own important spells, and... I, oh, is a Pyrrhic? Not even close. Oh, that, yeah, that makes sense. Makes sense after I look at my army. So what we have wiped out? We had the Slanesh Cav wipe, get wiped out, and we had the Blood Letters, unfortunately. But the hero... Yeah, look at Archaeon and the hero. Those two had over 500 kills. Nothing else really did that well. The Forsaken of Nurgle actually did pretty decent, too. All right. So the Pyrrhic Cabot. There you go. So Replenishment doesn't give us a whole lot. I wish we could check how close we are to some other important thing. I think I have to take the replenishment either way, though, even the little bit that it gives us. So Got a new ever chosen. His name is Daniel. <laughs> Here they are, the more we can hit them. That's right. That's right. We got physical resist 10% off of him, which is great. Or, uh, excuse me, 5%. Melee attack plus two, all good stuff. And we are badly beat up. I need to recruit some and hand over. And we know they're going to be coming after us with their other stuff. We actually might end up needing this lightning strike. Uh. Chaos rewards me once so we have to replace this army. Serve I don't care if the Tower of Torment gets taken, chaos. really. Hellish That's the only place we can get extra replenishment right now. And we know they have two more armies up here. They're probably going to come take the Howling Citadel. I just don't want them to push through all of our friggin' stuff. Lose them. It's wealth management. That's right. Supreme champion. Chaos incarnate. I require. We can get there's two blue horrors. Uh, okay, I guess that's what we get then. Living weapons of conquest. Actually got his fleshy abundance skill now, so he can heal up the Lord. We'll get Arcane Conduits. Yeah, I don't know. They're, they're going to have a lot of armies in these little vassal places, and we're so spread out. I kind of need to split these armies up, but the second army can't handle anything by itself. And I can't really afford to be upgrading places. So some of these things we might just have to forfeit. Might just not be anything we can super do about it. it will aid my conquest. We could get a plague ridden. I don't find them super good. Although they can also get fleshy abundance eventually. Uh, with supply lines, that probably puts us over. But I don't know. Hmm. Not quite. Okay. And then we can embed him. And he's going to get reduced upkeep in that army too. So we'll have those two heroes. That will round this out. In fact, we don't need to recruit both of those. Although I guess we might as well, right? But we'll recruit it over here instead. Boy, oh boy. All right. What's going on around us these days? Wintertooth and Clan Mulder no longer like us as much as they used to. Too weak. Too weak. You missed that bit. Let's see what happens. Shells are important. Yeah. Fleshy bonus will be really important once we don't have Ink Boy running around with this army, right? So eventually that hero will be important. Right now, he's... I mean, he's giving plus two leadership, which is really good for the... In general, but really good against demon... Or with demon units since they crumble... When they get low leadership. Plus you melee on everyone too is too shabby. 
Just the early game, what happened? Early game was pretty smooth. We did everything we could to make it so Malice was not an enemy. And that was pretty much it. Yeah, here they are. They're marching to take the Howling Citadel. Okay. All right, we don't have to worry about Grom Brindle coming after us. He's dead. We will have to fight Archaeon again. He will be back up before we can make it over there. There's no way we get over there and wipe all this in four turns. Howling Citadel is probably gone. No. I do not want these frigging guys pushing through these undefended places over and over. So, unfortunately, we're probably going to have to go up this way to stop them. Even that's going to take multiple turns. Oh, my God. Archaeon will return yet. Smooth sailing from here on out? No, not even a little. <laughs> Got some new wings. Cloud of flies. Melee defense plus five or plus nine when engaged in combat. I'm going to keep the pestilent decay on. Armor plus 20. Melee defense plus seven. So five more armor. But we lose some melee defense. So I guess it depends on who we're fighting, whether that's worth or not. Uh, Spirit Leech upgraded. Armor plus 15. Melee attack. This is also the second part of this, but it doesn't really help us right now. We don't have the third. I guess we'll leave that as is. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go up here. But yeah, the, the problem is they, we know where they have at least one more army. That's that's the big thing. Like, yeah, the, You're a the garrison plus the walls and maybe if I could scrounge up a lord or whatever would defend against this. But we saw at least one more army in this area. This like to go up there, it's going to take two turns of just three turns of just marching. Almost four turns to get up there. God. The other option is to try to pull them this way. I think that's what we're going to end up having to do. And if we lose a bunch of stuff up there, it's going to suck. But I don't know what else we can do. Uh, can we give the Tower of Torment to anyone for some money? Oh, God. Oh, right. That's uh, never mind. I know who that is. What do you want? Uh, no, because it's on the other side of the water. I have we can get here in two turns. With no replenishment. Demon Prince. Uh, let's check on Ing Boy what's going on over here. Maybe he can see far enough. Yeah, that other army is not coming this way. They probably have two armies going up here. So much power. Uh. Yeah, all right. Can we reach that next turn? Yes, we can reach that next turn. Oh crap, I didn't put that in the army. Whoops. He can't reach that army this turn, which kind of sucks. Yeah, all right. Well, this might be a little sucky, but... Once I was human. Alex, it all with your army on the move. Yeah, that's one reason why I'm putting that one in ambush stance. Like, maybe they see this and they, they start coming this way. I don't know. I just hope they don't have a second army to hit the Howling Citadel with. Because I think this army... And we could recruit this, but then we're screwed. Uh, I think this army would siege. Siege or raid, probably. 
So it's really about if there's another army there. We just don't know. Just don't know. Oh, I forgot to check on Malice, see if he's in another war. Now that he's done with Grombrindle. No second army. Looks like that was a raid, not a siege. Oh, what do we have here? 250 all. Yeah, screw it. I don't need this crappy pendant that I can't even wear. Kind of what? Yeah, kill him. Hey, we got teleport stance. Excellent. So he's got the raiding camp going. Let's scout ahead a little bit. Okay, I don't see an army right next to that. Uh, buildings, local populace, blah, 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 control. Characters minus one. Okay, so there's no, there's at least no army like right next to this. What is teleport stance? So teleport stance is kind of like the underways. You can, you can teleport over things. It has another amazing bonus. So you use 40 wins of magic. And if you, you can teleport attack people. It's one of the reasons why Kairos' campaign after the beginning was so good. When you teleport attack someone, you can't move afterwards, but it ambushes them. It's a guaranteed ambush attack. So, and ambushes are extremely strong in general, but also the auto resolve loves ambushes. So getting teleport stance really opens up um, the ability to telestomp a bunch of these little marauder armies running around. So it'll end up being very useful. We just got access to so many body parts. The crap. Uh, Blight Boil. Blight Boil's okay. Better than the Purple Sun, I would say. Call for Power stays. Children of Nurgle. Uh, Regeneration when casting. Leadership plus five hit points. Yeah, we'll switch over to that. We don't have this full set anyway. What other spell helmets did we get? Phantasmagoria. Final transportation. Zinch Firestorm. Yeah. Urge the weak. Don't care about that. Bloodthirst. Yeah, don't care about that. Armor plus 20. Melee defense plus 7. Base weapon damage plus 10%. So we gain 5 armor, lose 3 melee defense, but we gain weapon damage, and we lose the fates thing, which we're not using anyway. Seems like a good trade out. Hundred barrier points, armor ten. Yeah, definitely not. Let's switch that. We also got a new two-handed weapon. Bonus versus large. So now we have a bonus versus imagery and a versus large. Armor piercing seventy percent. Okay. I don't think we need that right now against uh, the Norskins. Items in this game are your favorite. Supreme champion. Alright, so we gotta take the monolith. Demon Prince. Decisive low, but I think we just have to fight everything, right? Because we can't we can't rely on it being actually low. So Plus any of damage? Yeah. yeah. So we can make him specialize to take out either infantry or single entity, basically. Depending on what we're fighting. It's kind of cool. I like that, at least. I Like, I think he has a lot of good ideas. I just feel like if you gave him a research, a global research tree in addition, even if it's not as a great one. And I know that stuff is supposed to be like his research, but if you gave him like a global research thing... It would feel much better. It's it's cool systems that are kind of half done, it feels like. Honestly. I 
got a lot of winds of magic, so we are going to fill that up. There's no reason to rush out there after them. Oh, you also got to remember that he actually has 30% additional regeneration or casualty replacement himself. So if there's no armies nearby, we could really use up a, a lot of his HP to make sure we don't lose very many of our other units. And that will help us to not have to sit around replenishing in places. So I got to gotta make sure I remember that. And stuff yeah it's so it's just he does yeah. he has a lot of things that help him and not a lot of things that help his faction which can be thematic i suppose right he's just super selfish spearmen normal marauders okay they're not gonna come to us so i will sit here and build up some uh wins of magic screw it okay King Conduit plus 40%. How much is the Blight Boil? 13? What about the Overcast? Uh, okay. How are we looking these days anyway? Let's, let's take it. Okay, we have it on fast forward, so we're a little. Alright, that's a little too bouncy. Alright, let's go. Too bouncy. Alright, we'll bring these guys down here. Up. That did pretty well. I mean, I guess those are just marauders, but still. <laughs> that was a big pop. get as many kills as we can this last little bit of stuff out here doing donuts again apparently
All right, good. Settlement. <laughs> You're right. Fine settlement. All right, you know what? You have, you have to teach them a lesson. Crystal War game, they made so far. Yeah, mine too. It's really hard to go to the other ones. I like some of the historical stuff, but I don't know. It's it. Everything is so varied. Actually got six kills on those Marauders. That's surprising. Oh. Huh. They must have, yeah, they got in on that front line, I, I guess. Anyway, um, anytime I try to play one of the other ones, it's, it's just not as varied. Like, you pick up something like uh, even Troy, which Troy was... I think Troy was actually pretty decent. A lot of people are going to disagree, but I thought Troy was pretty decent. And one of the... Like, when I pick it up, even when you have, like, the monsters and stuff in that one, the factions are just so similar. They're just super similar. Blood letting, letting okay. Where I feel General like... Prince. I don't know. It... It's just not as much variety. There's no way one of them can have as much variety as this, I guess, after three games and dozens of DLCs and whatever, but... I don't know where that matches this. Yeah, this is this was a very, like, crazy undertaking. The scope of this game was, was pretty pretty insane. Uh, and I, I think they, they nailed it, and it looks like they're going to keep supporting it. Which is awesome. Bloodletting. All right. So upkeep minus 5%. Growth plus 25. All provinces. Cash replenishment rate plus 1. So that's the baseline as long as we're, we're, you know, doing some battles. Three battle victories required for this. If we can get him up to the 9 one, growth plus 70 everywhere, that's going to be amazing. I forgot to play Troy. I like Troy overall. Yeah. I still haven't played Pharaoh. But I've not heard great things of Pharaoh. I've heard that Pharaoh is, if you play Troy, you basically play Pharaoh, which might not be true, but that's what I've heard. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish off the upkeep reduction. Colonel Gateway has been pulling some heavy numbers there. Armor piercing, missile damage plus 25%, base missile damage plus 25. So we don't really need that one. Power recharge plus 160% and activability. Effect increases proportional to the number of friendly units in range. Effects up to three, okay. Transmorphication, summon a unit blue horrors. That's always good. Comes out with something more successful than this. Yeah, I can't imagine it either. Uh, may maybe if they ended up doing a 40k one, that, that would be a crazy undertaking too. I'm not even sure what it would look like, but a 40k one could be really big as well. Especially if they do it in this style where it's like, all right, we're going to do three 40k games that all connect and DLCs are shared. If they do that, I can see it. And if they do it well, obviously, I can see it matching it. I think we'll take the summon. It presents no chance. More replenishment. Join the ruinous crusade. You go between planets and stuff. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome. We definitely want to recruit something here as much as I'd like a Nurgle unit. We just need something. We're going to hand one of these Nurgle over. Actually, I don't think I'm going to recruit right now. Refused. I'm really hoping that one of these armies, they can't see Ink Boy. That's one of the problems. I was hoping one of them would come after Ink Boy over here. But I don't think that's going to happen. Demon Prince. Uh, I can't afford anything, so that doesn't matter. Right now, our big thing is just I don't... Master Lord of Hellpit. I don't see a way where we can have enough income for like... Or any anything. Anything. <laughs> Twist bend mangle. Yeah. I was gonna say for a second and third army, but like we can't even upgrade our buildings right now. They're super poor. Uh oh, we got more stuff, yeah. Oh, he can get infernal gateway as well, but yeah, we lose all, out on too many stats right now. God, there's just so many things to look through. Jesus. 
Do corruption, I don't really care about. But yeah, this isn't doing us any favors either. We got one of the other set pieces now. Casualty replenishment, additional 20% for Nurgle units. That is really nice. We keep the... Oh, we keep everything. We just lose some charge bonus. Yeah, all right. So the third piece of that is a torso. Do we have that one yet? Plagued body. I don't think so. No, we don't have that one yet. Okay. So when do we get that? From wounds, Plagued body. Okay, so we're getting that one soon. <laughs> we, we finally get Nurgling upgrades at 2200. Yeah, okay. Only Retaller. I can't afford anything. Damage building. Uh, I, I mean, no. I, I'm not going to do anything with that either. Maybe I should just throw some of these down. What does the salt do? Yeah, it is corn stuff. All right. Well, that's unfortunate. That one is likely. To, they're all of these are likely to fall. Is the problem? I'm not going to upgrade them. Not until we've secured where all of these armies are pouring from. Salt for the salt god. <laughs> More fantasy total wars. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool too. Like a, a Lord of the Rings one would be awesome. I don't think it could be, I don't know. It would be hard for a fantasy one as well because it's going to end up competing with this one, right? Like a fantasy, a Lord of the Rings total war would be really awesome and I would play it, but I still don't see it. Just... Upkeep minus 20% all armies is probably more than 2k, especially for five turns. Let's see. Our income goes from 34. All right, I'm going to take the risk. Let's see. Game of Thrones would be kind of cool, too. Yeah. I guess that one would be less magic-y and stuff in general. I mean, I know there's magic stuff in it, but... Hey! Income! Income. Okay, so... We can't reach the Burning Monolith this turn. But what we could do I go where I uh is there a ambush spot has more than a 45 nope Kislev's fallen champion All right, we're going to try to bait this out. Every soul will be sacrificed. I could also get rid of some of this Regiment of Renown stuff. It's They're very expensive. Like, these guys are 315 a turn. This is 210. But, anyway, hopefully we can bait... One of these attacks. Do we take this opportunity to upgrade this something over here? Not the promised uh, 140 growth. And screw it. I'm just going to grab whatever income we can. So Archaon's been down for what? Two turns already? a bit more than 2,000. Yeah, we, we'll get 5k out of it, at least. So RKN is going to be up in two to three more turns. And he's definitely, ha he has other armies, so he's not going to have to sit and recruit. They'll just replace a leader with him. Oh, thought said Ulysses. <laughs> Escape a name Ulysses. Hey, where are you going? Come on. For the ruinous powers. 
We can telestomp that guy uh, and kill him. If there's an army on the way up from Archaeon or something, though, it's going to be a sad time. So maybe we scout forward or I can just take the monolith. Chaos I don't want to start playing whack-a-mole with these guys, so. so much power. Oh, we have the minus growth because we didn't get a battle win recently. Yeah, let's kind of scout ahead a little bit here. Provision isn't great, but I don't see anything super close, so. Now, this auto resolve might would actually give us a really good turnout because it is uh, it's an ambush. Game really likes a ambush auto resolve. Teleports in front of you, this whole friggin' demon army. And I wish it would show a preview of what it thinks this is going to be, because this could be a mistake. Stay hidden the entire time and they march off and die and you win. You can do that, but I need, I, I want the stuff from it. Yeah, you can do that. I could let some of them march off and then kill the rest. I'm going to see what this is like. The, I do this on this this army, then at least we know for the future what this is going to look like. Rationalize my bad decision making. Yeah, it's still not great. We might have lost about the same, actually, but. Oh, and we can get some replenishment. Yeah, it's not bad. 9% replenishment. This will also unlock that next piece of gear, so we'll get the set bonus. I think that was overall worth it. Yeah, we'll get fully healed. We got the reduction off that because he was in the battle. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Much better. Okay, we unlocked a new armor. Chaos armor. Pass ability, missile block chance, plus 20, and melee damage reflection. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. That is not the one I thought, though. I thought the next one was the set one. I was wrong. Venomous Wing Spurs. We keep Pestilent Decay. We gain 5%, or we keep 5% uh, health. Armor Piercing, plus 5%. So we lose out on Charge Bonus for Armor Piercing. Yeah, I think that's worth Chaos reigns. Uh Oh, this is that hero. Speaking of this heroes... World. Burn. Give you this. Do well. Come on, come on, give me something good. <sighs> That's not, not what I'd call good. Uh. Yeah. Demon Prince. Kisler's fallen champion. Not what I was looking for. Looking for some ward save or maybe a I better weapon. Be Immortal glory. Uh, these guys leveled up as well. Champion. So we'll start working toward the heals on this one. Increase so mobility. Power. All right, looking okay, looking okay. Can we see Archaon's power. Why don't you go no. in the diplomacy menu, huh? Level 80, okay. So, he doesn't have a ton of armies. Nowhere near what I thought. I most of the other non overpowered factions is late game. It's just getting there. Just gotta get there. Alright. 
So we have a little bit of funds. It's going to go away very quickly once those five turns are up, but we might as well take advantage of it while we can. We're at 190 growth, so almost at the 200 to get the better income building here. So let's go ahead and just grab the growth building to get there. I'm not sure I'm going to upgrade this one. Yeah, because we, we want to trade those out for the better, the better one. Crystal Spires. There's that better one. This one's nowhere near that one. Apparently, I built the wrong one earlier. We'll go ahead and get the control there. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want it to... If these guys keep coming that way, I don't want to uh, have a rebellion on top of everything else. Although, if they're coming that way, we're probably in... In worse shape than a this world. like the rally isn't going to matter. Is what I'm trying to say. All right. What other fantasy total total wars could they do? What other IPs? Let's see. There's Lord of the Rings, the big one that comes to mind immediately. I would be very surprised if that happens. Game of Thrones one. I don't see it being. I think it'd be okay. It would feel a lot more like a historical with dragons. For each fall. What's the most overpowered faction? It really feels like Chaos Dwarves, yeah. Oh, what do we have here? The Howling Chalice. Oh, this is just diplomatic relations. Magic, yeah. It's, thank you, Pilot. Why don't you brought that one up next time? Magic would be a really good one. That one would also have pretty much endless content like a Warhammer one that they could pull from. But it, it just feels like it would compete, right? I think the next one, the next logical one that could be a huge one to four of them would be 40k. All right. Dibble Accurations plus him with Corn, Slanesh, Nurgle, or Zinch. Warcraft? Yeah, that one would be one as well. Who do we want to befriend? Who are we likely to come across that we don't have to kill? So we're looking at northern-ish chaos factions that are not the ones on our to-kill list. There's Festus. He's not super far away. He's not on our to kill list. Nakari. We could maybe see Nak Nakari. is probably dead at this stage. I'd be surprised. We might see him, though, at the northern part of the donut. Is there anyone else we're likely to see? Beastmen are also very strong, yeah. Changeling, I guess, is the real answer. You can't even lose as a changeling. Be pretty shocked if Warcraft happened. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. I don't think we're going to come in contact with Festus. He's too far south. So the only ones that we might see. We might see Village as well, actually. If we push west enough. I'll, yeah, because we have to push all the way to Kolek. So we might see Village. I'm thinking we have the best chances of seeing Village or Nakari, but Nakari surviving long enough with all the friggin' elves there is pretty unlikely. So I think Village is probably the most likely that we'll actually see and be able to trade and stuff with. Lego Total War. <laughs> Total War D&D. That would work too. That's a lot. That's infinite to pull from as well. All right, burning monolith. So we want to be really cautious. We're scouting ahead with this army. Burning monolith is a minor settlement. Denied. Marauder berserkers. Anti infantry. Okay, frenzy. I have ascended. Uh, let's get miscast chance for. Uh, you know what? It's that. They have a shield. The miscast isn't that big of a deal. I think the miscast hits the shield. Uh, we'll just take the missile resist. Kislev's fallen champion. Annihilate. Conquest. <sighs> Would you leap? Stop with that label. 
Christ's sake, let me move him under there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. So teleport, stance, auto resolve, not teleport, stance, don't auto resolve. Got it. Okay. Yeah, we got a plan. Jesus Christ. I thought maybe he would like the second army. Oh, he got his rot fly. I thought maybe with the second army, it would change it a little bit. Nope. Nope. Millions dead. <laughs> Telestomp OP though, yeah. Ambushing is, is OP for sure. Okay, so we got Fleshy Abundance and Blight Boil is, act Blight Boil is actually pretty good. We'll take Magical Reserves though. Demon Prince. We have a lot of replenishment. So as long as we don't get hit. Glory we're all right. But melee attack, weapon strength, melee defense, weapon strength, leadership, weapon strength, <laughs> weapon strength, physical resist. I'm seeing a, a common thread between these a little, a little bit. My conquest. Okay, so now we need to decide where we're going next. What factions have access to the Telestomp? Zinch factions, yeah. Zinch factions. So Kairos, uh, Village, um, uh, this one because he he's special, and then also the the change changeling, right? Uh, curse curseling. Get those ones mixed up sometimes. Cursling, changeling. He doesn't actually have a name, right? Does he have a name in the lore, that guy? All right, anyway, let's let's see what we want to get from here. We could upgrade our neural units further, which might not be a bad idea. We're going to be using some of those for pretty much ever. Uh, what do we else do we have? This one we are never going to get. Screw that one. Melee defense for Plague Toads, Pox Riders, Beasts of Nurgle, Spawn of Nurgle. So out of that, we would just use the Beasts of Nurgle maybe eventually. We are so far away from getting Soul Grinders and stuff. What were these ones? Reinforcement marker move cost reduction. Wouldn't be too bad since we... That was one of the few that's faction-wide. We are taking two armies around right now. Chance of wins and magic increasing in strength in the local province is actually really strong too because we get a bonus from from good wins. And what do we have up here? Diplomatic relations with all factions plus 15. Feel like I'm gonna dedicate to Nurgle. I don't know. It's probably, probably, but I think we're gonna try to get at least the last up till the dedication with all of them so we can get the bonuses. Maybe. I'll, I'll look at it again. Uh, what do we have in this one? Recruitment cost reduction. Hero action. Eh. Seems like there's a lot of kind of wasted stuff in there for us. Corn. Income from raiding. We're not going to be raiding. Income from sacking settlements. An additional 15% would be nice, though. Do well. Yeah, it looks like either getting the extra relations with other factions. Because at the very least, that'll help us not go to war with people that we don't want to go to war with, right? Even people that are, like, slightly disgusted by us, like Malice. He's going to kind of like us because we're going to have additional plus 15. If not like us, just tolerate us. So... It's either buff Nurgle or... Head toward knowing diplomat. That would be one point four, so five, six, seven points before we we have two. So five more levels before we see any bonus from this, and it's not going to help us with Archaeon in the meantime, right? How many Zinch units do we have down there? I mean, we have a fair number. You know, I do have to say that with this campaign, I do have to think out things a lot more. So in that way, this one has been kind of enjoyable and more fun. With the Chaos Dwarves, it was like, 
All right, Grimgore is dead. Right click everything. So it, this is not that. So which I do, I do hand it to this campaign so far. I definitely am actually having to plan out and strategize for the future. Whereas with a lot of the factions, it's just like, all right, your first major threat's dead. Paint the map, you know. So. Hellish power. Uh. It's unfortunate that this is melee defense. Yeah, I'm just going to buff these. We're going to use some of these all all throughout, so... We we need the extra oomph against Archaeon until he's dead. Then we can worry about... After that, we can worry about nice-to-haves, you know? Supreme Champion. Okay, we unlocked another torso. I'm not changing that out. Another tail. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, multiple tails. That one might be... Let's see, physical resist 5%. Demons have 20% baseline. So we be trading out 10 armor for 5% physical resist. Eh. Or missile resist. Staff. So as far as the dedications go, we would like to get the last tier of all these, I think. Wait, that's blood letters, corn. All armies. Yeah, we want to do that, I think. If we can. Oh, I didn't realize this also. So when we dedicate to Nurgle, if that's where, where we go, uh, Zinch is going to be a minus 100. So me getting the uh, plus 5 or 10 or whatever the crap it was with Zinchian factions a minute ago is going to be gone. So. Oh, well. All right, some extra income off of that. We will do that. Growth. Uh, Liquid, welcome back. Thanks for another raid. Appreciate it, Liquid. Uh, last time you were talking about being a small raid, but all raids are appreciated. So, thank you for coming back. What were you up to? What were you up to? Uh, let's go ahead and start upgrading these. And you know what? Screw it. We'll upgrade that anyway. I know I said I probably wouldn't, but... Mamet is available here. What does the Zinchian one do? Income increase. Campaign movement range minus 20% for enemy armies starting their turn in this region. Let's grab that one for now. I gotta remember to change it over. That should help us catch some of these annoying Gosh. armies. I wonder if this army could actually kill him. Refused. Those are probably all Marauders, so... Maybe. We had enough wins and magic on him, maybe. Raids are appreciated. That's right. <laughs> as long as you're not Randy raiding. Raid, raid. Uh, Milk, welcome back also. You came last time. Uh, two. A storm between raiding and other... Great people you actually like. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, I've actually had the question asked before, like when we're playing RimWorld and we're, we have like a thousand people, I've had someone ask me like, oh, is it impolite to raid you with with 25 people? I was like, what? No, what? I'll keep reduction for Zinch, recruitment cost reduction for Zinch. No, no, bring them all in. <laughs> a Nurgle Prince usually go with corn. Man, that guy's annoying up there. I feel like I have to go deal with him. Because I just cannot let him stay there, you know? We can't be folk looking behind us as we're coming down here dealing with Archaeon. Archaeon has to have respawned by now. He has respawned. His power just increased by like 35 spots over the last intern. Intern? Yes. Intern. Four still. Yeah, yeah. No matter what the number. Yeah, absolutely. 
Gotta still be off by the time you get to village. Oh, wait. Th that minus 100 was only for five turns? No, no, I thought that was uh, for like the rest of the game. I'll double check it. I might have misspoke about which one I was, was talking about, but uh, either way, I'm going to double check. Our son was weak. Yeah, this is a permanent. I am magnificent. Permanence. Mm, all right. So they might try to run. Actually, they can't run through here, right? They're blocked, so they'd have to attack. Let's just keep building. Yeah, the plus 10 will be... Oh, the plus 10 was also only for five. My bad. I got you, I got you. I understand now, I think. I really need to get this to tier four. It's going to uh, take 8k. That's five turns away, even with this amount of growth, which is kind of... Kind of crazy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the control. Any, anything weird going on with? I must Jeez, my Mulder likes us again. Still fighting Kislev. Woot! I am Throt, the unclean. Pretty cool to have wings. Is there a difference between greater demon and a demon prince? Demon princes were mortal that were reforged into demons. I think demons were just always demons, right? Demons are shards of the gods. <laughs> Ambush. Yeah, we'll wipe you. He fell for it. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> that was the end of his entire line. Maybe he... Hey! We got the word save item, finally. I say finally. We just started getting items recently. Who do I want the word save on? I guess on Ink Boy, right? I can't put it on us. Definitely don't want it on ARAM. Oh, I need to name these these heroes. Whoops. Sorry about that. I'm not used to naming them. We we didn't used to do, have like cues for that, so. Alright, let's see here. Uh Warhammer Hero. We got Quasar. Uh, and I guess we'll end up having a Slanesh hero pretty soon too. And craze. Here we go. Come in. Guy looks like a Vegemite. <laughs> so who do I want that on? I'm thinking Ink Boy. I really need Ink Boy to get to level 20. So he's probably just going to be following us around. Although he's kind of becoming a glorified caster in a lot of ways. Maybe I put it on craze. All oh, right, we have ancillaries too that we can't put on our lord. Campaign movement range plus seven percent. Character experience gain plus seven percent. Seduce unit budget minus fifteen percent. Enemy Slaneshi armor. Uh, I wonder if that applies for me as well. Neural corruption plus two. Don't care about that. Income for all buildings plus ten percent. I get. I guess we might as well put that on someone. Slaneshi corruption. Construction cost reduction. I guess I want to take that off of him. This world will burn. 
One redemption per stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First key slip. Just because I don't play this as much, usually. I don't have as many names in the game, so it just seemed to make sense. Um, so don't want to use those ones. So the Ashkin Eruption, I mean, it's fine. I wonder what that actually does for ours. From wounds, best Was drill master character experience smash corruption we'll take that one off okay norsk and marauder income from post battle increased uh... all righty so now that vassal is done we know that um archaeon is back up I mean, he is. Places does he have of just his own? He only has his capital. Everything else is vassals. So if we take the Rising Fortress and his army, he is done. So that's where he must have respawned from. But he's probably coming towards the Burning Monolith. Is Twitch broken? Wait, is the stream still good? That's all I really care about. Oh, I see that too, yeah. Is there more than two of you here? Hmm, it looks like there's slightly more than two of you. That's weird. As long as the video hasn't crashed, I'm all right. <laughs> no. <laughs> like 50 people immediately say, just me. <laughs> Still going. Uh, yeah, so Twitch is having a... A meltdown or something. I uh, thank you guys for confirming. Hey, yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for the lurks. I see a lot of people that are typing for the first time ever in the chat, so thank you too. I won't, uh, I won't call you out or say you, say your name just in case you want to remain in the shadows. But, uh, thank you. It's hardcore lurkers. Slime Trail. Okay, we're already using the Slime Trail. 3% more hit points and base weapon. So do I want more health? I think so. I think that's going to scale with our... Oh, no, we're using Serpentine. Never mind. Yeah, I want to keep Serpentine right now, I think. Oh, and here's the other piece of a set. No Corruption. Uh, so we don't have Plague Bears or Exalted Plague Bears. So once we... Why do we keep zooming in? Only one per every 300 viewer counts. So. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. It says 362 people in chat, only two people viewing the stream. <laughs> Started zooming in on accident. Yeah. Accident. Keyslaves, fallen champion. Alrighty, we are going to head towards his heel. Demon Prince. Grab some more weapon damage here. And we're going to go to Arcane Conduit. We're already all the way over here anyway. All right, so Archaeon, Archaeon. We need to wipe him, and then we can swing down here. Even if we lose some of this, we wipe out Archaeon. I'm your only viewer. Cowboy Kai, how are you here? There's only two of you. Cowboy Kai, thank you for the 31 months. And Hugo, thank you for the six months. Thank you, Hugo. Thank you, Cowboy Kai. Yeah. I wonder if it's doing that on other streams. I don't know, I'm saying you should go check. All right, this so will burn. seems like it's a display issue all over Twitch at the moment. Site wide, okay. Every soul will be so I really need to see where Archaon is. I down. He's not within view range. We saw someone on another stream go from five thousand to one viewer. <laughs> You saw everyone go to one. Wait, so I might be the most viewed channel on Twitch right now. If everyone else went to one, nice. I'll be at the top of the list that, with two viewers. Excellent. Perfect. All the bots are getting banned. Uh, is there any reason to put him there? 
Yeah, I guess they will. Kind of want to move him even further, though, honestly. How many turns away? We are two turns away from hitting the Writhing Fortress. If we march for... No, I'm not marching. Screw that. With Archaeon running around. I think our bonus income is going to be gone coming up here real soon, too. We disconnected from... VPN to start working again. You're ready at the right time? Yeah. <laughs> All figments of my imagination. Four turns away. Yeah, screw it. Let's just keep doing these upgrades while we while we can. Actually making some progress. Oh my god. What's the Zinch income? Ah, uh, Zinch. Screw it. Just give me give me any little bit of income I can get right now. All right, cool. Good turns. Refresh Twitch homepage. Everything is dropping. Oh, also only has two viewers. Nice. That means for the first time ever, I have more viewers on YouTube than Twitch. So now I'm a primarily YouTube streamer. So instead of looking at this chat most of the time, I'm going to turn this way. Let's go on YouTube. You guys are the main chat now. No. <laughs> All chats are equal. Nice. All right, Ink Boy. Let's see what's over here. I don't want to run face first into the boogeyman, so we got to go slow. There he is. Oh, he has a worse army than before, I believe. How did you get to level 19? You've been dead for four turns. I killed you at level 14. I have ascended. He has a sack city somewhere. <laughs> Wait, how come I lost at 50% somewhere? Okay. <laughs> okay, he can reach there. All right. All right, can we trick Archaeon? That's the question. The Northmen grow restless. Troll plus four? Oh, we might need that. We are going to need that. Uh, okay, two turns. That should be fine. 19 while dead. Legend of difficulty at its finest. Dead. <laughs> That's what Doodad that lets him see the future. Surely this ambush won't work. <laughs> All right, let's see. Which is broken the moment, yeah. No, oh, he spotted it. Oh, it's giving us the win. Oh, it's deleting our entire army to win it. He wants to do it just because it'll hurt us. Yeah, that we would not be able to re-recruit. We're not even anywhere in... Use the banners. Yes, I'll use the banners, but that's not going to do anything for the... Really, for this kind of auto-resolve of this. Yeah, let's see. So, uh, yeah, we will... Well... We can get an ambush instead. Can I win the fight? Oh, yeah, I can win this fight, yeah. The thing is, I can get a better resolve because he is out of movement. So 
So we can decline the attack. I think he's out of movement. We can decline the attack, and on the next turn, we are in distance to teleport stomp him. So let's hope I'm right. Yeah, this army is way weaker than his last army. We beat this for sure. Yeah, it's it's a lot weaker than his last army. He does have a lot of regiment of renown, but he's stronger this time. But we can just hold him anyway. Hope hopefully I'm right. Oh, he has a second army. Come on, come on. <laughs> I think we're still fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing a bounty today. Yeah, okay, I think we get him ne this next turn. What is this? Uh, oh, we got uh, plus four control. Yeah, I'll do that. Ambush foiled. Game seekers. Alrighty, so. Oh, we only have 65 wins. Oof. It's still worth. Still worth. All right. Here we go. Every soul will be sacrificed. I don't think teleport stomp allows for him to reinforce, right? Because it's an ambush. So I think it's lying to us on this. I hope I'm right and it's lying to us because if not, we're about to have a really bad time. Yeah, okay. We could actually just auto-resolve wipe him. I think that's probably worth it. We're going to lose a lot, but we beat that other army anyway, and this just deletes Archaeon. So. Wait, I don't know. Maybe we should play it, actually. Push these are working well today. We might should play that. This is going to be a lot of casualties now that I think about it. Low casualties, we usually lose a whole lot. What in that army are we even scared of that we... I mean, more time to get res. Uh, he's going to get wiped either way because it's an ambush. So he does have 100 wins of magic, though, and we only have 25. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just going to take it. I think we win this one, but last time we did have a lot of spell casting in this. We're just going to take it. Me medium casualties. Medium. Yeah, we, we destroy that other army regardless. Chaos incarnate. Festering Stooges, okay. Ah, it's not it's not even that bad, honestly. Oh, we can beat them this turn. They're in March stance. We're screwed. <laughs> Uh, I did use up our winds of magic, but it doesn't matter. That's, that army's like nothing. We still beat it with this. Supreme champion. Living weapons of conquest. How much was the upkeep on this one? Uh, that's not worth it. Hellish power. Oh, uh, we unlocked more wings. Cloud of flies. Uh, no. Never. Yeah. Demon Prince. Now I think. I think we might go for this. So like, so, like I said, we're not being attacked from across the water as we're making our way across the waste. Like, I would hate to pull in people from the Donut and uh, Bretonia and stuff. Although, we're getting pretty close to where we can actually get... Ah, we're so far away from Soul Grinders and stuff like that. We're getting Beast of Nurgle soon, but, I mean, that's all the way down here. Uh. Hmm. All glory gain increase. Okay, so you get up to 
get some of those other bonuses faster. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ambush success chance would be nice too, actually. There's some good things around that we can get to. These other ones kind of suck, but... And that's Recruitment Lord's Army only, unfortunately. Hmm. Bob Ross still has 285 viewers somehow. <laughs> I don't have weapons or a downside to getting a bonus against infantry. I have weapon. Yeah. You can, you can only have two-hander or one-hander and shield. I have one-hander and shield mainly because we have damage effects that happen while we're in melee. So he just wants to be down in the middle, surrounded by people. So the more defensive stats he has more he can just stand down there and have his aura for things. I'm not sure where I want to put these, actually. Like, I know eventually we want up here, so... I gotta make sure I have enough points, but we are we are far off. We're only level 21. So... Honestly, I don't know. I The ambush thing is probably going to be more helpful than the plus 15 diplomacy at the moment. It's just that this other stuff along the way kind of sucks for us. Hmm. Leech tank? Yeah, kind of, yeah. Wait, why is it double posting that? Or did you just happen to time that at the same as the timer? Uh... Alright, yeah. I'm going to go after the ambush. Must be the same as timer. Yeah, okay, good. Permit cost reduction, hero action. We're not going to use hero actions. We're probably not going to use any Slaneshi units. Definitely not their tier one. So we'll just get the recruitments. Demon right. Prince. He's got his burning chariot now. Many infected. Might want to keep you on the disc, actually. Okay, we'll put training. Kislev's fallen champion. Evasion. So much power. Eat Slanesh. Slaughterer. Even leadership. Destruction was served. Yeah, you can either have um well here it, we have more stuff so I can show. But yeah, like if I equip the two-handed, he's gonna take the one-handed and offhand off. So. We are, like you said, leech Chaos tanking. Leadership on those. Weapon strength plus 10%. Uh, All right. Man, I love this map when I'm playing any ranged faction, but we're not playing a ranged faction. Back from unit, SC2 burrowed unit. New donut place opening this weekend near one of the Taco Bells you go to. These new options. Yeah, I have to show me after the stream. See if it's worth traveling like 15 minutes to eat. Hopefully these guys wait on our reinforcements. Go for you, <laughs> bourbon caramel donut. Hey, this is the one time they're not waiting on the reinforcements. Heroes out of the army and she's up their levels for embedding them. If you can afford to do hero actions, we are poor all the friggin' time. It can be an okay strategy if you can afford it, but uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to afford anything like that, unfortunately. Oh, 
Actually, yeah, it should be okay. I'm gonna pop on them instead. Yeah. Yeah, our income for quite a while was like 31, 31 favor. Some really weirdly divided up units. Hopefully we get some fleshy abundance off of that. I can get you guys out. I don't really need to hang on to them, but I feel like we might as well. group over there regiment renown i really don't care about that too much either Enough for overcasting. Why did like, that deselect? Um, maybe we'll have enough to cast that again. I think this is gonna be over way before way before we're able to do that this is the last movie you saw in the movie theater uh godzilla minus one and i almost went back and saw it again <laughs>
Oh, right. I forgot we got that unlocked on him. Gotta remember that for the future. We're gonna have enough time to use fleshy abundance, maybe. Maybe. Very well. Want to see that, but never did. Yeah, it was very good. Very good. Would have been a really good movie even without Godzilla, but Godzilla made it next level. Let's take 16, huh? Oh, there we go. Uh, who do I want to use it on? Let's use it. So we're actually going to come out of this with more health than went in overall. Aside from my light chariots, once again, get beaten up, but you know, what they get from being a regiment of renown. I think they're better than everyone. Uh, the reason this has it ended. Oh, we have another of the cast is because not all their units have made it off the battlefield yet. They're running away. We're going to take a little bit of advantage and heal up our single entities there, which we have done. And I don't think we're going to get it. Yeah, I'm going to get another. That's going to make any movie better. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, it was very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like I like pretty much all Godzilla movies. Oh, those are the starting demonettes. But this one was like a really good, man, it was a very sad movie. I'm not gonna ruin anything. It's a very sad movie. And it would have been like a good war movie, even without Godzilla, but then plug in Godzilla and then got even better. All right, so I think I'm just gonna get some money out of this. Oh, I didn't even check. Yeah, my bad. I didn't think to check what our kills were that time. Craze got his mount. Now we can seduce units as well. Okay, Ink Boy has leveled up. He's almost at Arcane Conduit. Let me double check what these are, though. Cause of damage to combatants, strong versus 25 men. Bonus shit points of combatants. Active ability regeneration. Okay. And then, yeah, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and take the heal. Demon Prince. 17. This. So much power. I think I remember liking the Juggernaut better than the Blood Throne. I can't remember why. Glory for Plague Father. Let's take a look. So the blood throne, you lose. Oh, that's why. You, it's a lot more damage to have the juggernaut. Blood throne is a little bit faster, more HP, more armor. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember liking the juggernaut better, but we'll see. We'll 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 try it out. Come to the dark side, we have donuts. Yeah, uh, or fight to us to the death. Fight. Yeah, fight for us to the death. This world will burn. I have ascended. Alright, um Chaos reigns. I guess we just leave him back here. No king shaman. <laughs> Two turns away, we're gonna need 8k. Okay, well, we already have it, so. Look at us. Look at us being wealthy. Wealthy. <laughs> we're totally, we It's turn 36. Jesus. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's save up a little bit. Turn thirty-six. Glory. You 
What's up, Archeon? Uh, it's funny, he's coming for a peace talk and he's saying that you are nothing to me. But hey, do you want to be friends and stop killing me? You're a weakling beneath my t my time. But also, hey, I'll give you some money to stop bullying me. Brought a splendor. Upkeep, my 25% for Nurgle for 20 or uh, 10 turns. 25 turns would be insane. Oh my god. Demon Prince. We're getting money. A new tail. Don't care. So much power. Here we come. Very well. Rest. You still have multiple armies right there? And I think next turn we'll need the 8k if we want to get to tier 4. No, we lost some growth? Did I misread? Oh, we're only at 3 surplus. I thought we were about to hit 4 surplus. I upgraded this. That's what happened. Ah, uh, crap. I think that's what happened. And now I've canceled it for a turn. Uh, I screwed up. <laughs> I should not have done that. Oh, well. I'm actually thinking about getting... Uh, no, I'm going to wait till this goes up. It's here. I was thinking about getting rid of that growth, but... It's fine. Lord of Secrets is our other Nurgle place. You are a pathetic weakling, a maggot, compared to my mites. But please stop picking on me, please. <laughs> I am Thrap, Crush Bop, Agreed. Except them the heck are still alive. I, it's still possible we see a ship of Tomb Kings arrive in the Northern Chaos Waste just because we've been at war with them for 20 turns. Yeah, I screwed up when I set that building to go to tier three the first time. And I screwed up the second time when I canceled it. Now we're gonna have to wait some more turns to get to the tier four over there, but we had a lot of growth, so shouldn't take a whole lot of time. All right, weapon damage plus 20 all factions. That's actually not good for us. It is better for Archaeon than it is for us. Okay. For the ruinous powers, go forth my thralls. Oh man, he has a good garrison and he has that there. We are probably not going to be able to really overcome that very easily. Um, his army sucks. I mean, maybe. I don't know. He has chosen. We have tier one units. This world will burn. Doom is a we also have the seduction thing. We can only seduce like one unit though. 2,000. Unfortunately, we have no winds of magic. I kind of need Ink Boy to attack instead. Because he has the winds of magic. Uh... We've got about three turns before they put Archaeon back on there. I really don't like sieging things down. So we can seduce one unit that's under 2,000 value, which is basically 
a dog or a marauder horseman, which you're not going to do anything. Yeah, that's kind of a crazy garrison, huh? Those black fortresses or whatever they're called. He's got a melee lord, basically. And then chosen tons of big weapon warriors. Like, if we could get a good cast off on them while they're bunched up, we would absolutely destroy, but we don't have the winds of magic to do it. And I really hate to siege this for a while, but I think I'm going to do it. Lots of cool units. That is true. Let us not allow haste or rage to dictate. Yeah. You just, you just stay over there doing your thing. And we'll stay over here doing our thing. We don't have enough growth there. I really, really should not have made that building. Oh, we could get an Allurus now. Speed plus what we're saying in the hero's army. Shadows has Pit of Shades, which is good. We have a lot of good magic in general. Yeah, I will grab one of those. All right, let's see what happens, I guess. This is Never dies. Mind your business, we mind our business. That's right. That's right. Ah, Christ. Honestly, we'd be better off fighting inside the siege, so. We're just probably going to have to go around and stomp out the vassals that he has and wait for his army to come out of there. Oh, crap. Yep. All right. That's what we're going to have to do. Chaos on divide, corruption plus five. Hooray. This is his last vassal. Is that their only... No. I wasn't asking you. Uh, whoops. I have three settlements down there, okay. No. Chaos that would just be a really rough battle. Every soul will be set. With that army there, too. If he brings that army out, then we hop on there, no problem. Uh, let's see. What is his movement? Okay. So he can hit the monolith this next turn. We haven't really upgraded it, so if it falls, not a huge deal. What's the garrison there? Oops. That's, yeah, that's nothing, so. Your pain. The more we do it. Is there no, no rest of that sentence? Yeah, I guess I should not have gone for the Writhing Fortress after we did that, but I didn't didn't really know. So he has Storm Vrak Mountains, Monolith of the Bubonicus. And then he has a third settlement somewhere. 
I guess over here somewhere. The bleeding spire, I guess. Yeah, okay. That's right there. All right. Well, basically wasted a turn going over there. Probably means Archaeon's going to come back up. Mindless faction and stalker. They took it, okay. Wasn't sure they would. can't reach him so we need to put him a little bit further there we go hopefully he falls through that again uh, our income just dropped a bit too that's whatever five or ten turn thing must have ended one of them and a couple of those going Archaon's gonna be back up but well SVG I don't know what SVG stands for in this regard. Animating an Adam cartoon? <laughs> What's SVG? Raid the following region, Monolith of the Bubonicus. The graphic format. He did not come up here. Monolith of the Great Monolith. Alright, let's take that back. Right. Get some free experience. This world and next turn we will not be able to make it to the monolith of bubonicus unless we teleport stance over there man that's such a long way out we know our Kaon's gonna be back there at some point i almost feel like i need to get another lord or hero and just park it over there so i can see when our Kaon is back up um do we have the spot for another hero we do okay So this one is going to go in the other army eventually, but now we'll send him over there and maybe with a little bit of income they have coming in, we can level him up through hero actions. Oop. Oh, that's the Lord's army only. It doesn't matter. Hero action success rates. Let's put one in that. We need four to get to the next tier anyway, so might as well, I guess. It presents no challenge. Punishments. We got fleshy abundance on him now. I have so now we have a way to heal even without the second army being with uh, with the demon prince. Glory for plague father. <laughs> Extra health. Level up fleshy abundance. Oh, so we were going to try to get pit of shades on her. Pit of shades is really good. And building upgrade, okay. Need the extra control there right now, so that's kind of a waste.
So Mile of the Fester Lung is pretty close by them. The Tower Torment is safer, so we'll upgrade that one. Mammoth over here again. Uh... So new control. I don't. I know we don't need it this turn, but we have two lords in this. I don't think any of them is starting their turn in our territory this time, anyway. Uh, I didn't see. Was there a siege on there? Turn forty-one. Yeah, it's crazy. We were basically done with all the other three campaigns. Like, effectively done with our campaigns. We were strong enough to be. I, I don't know. This is right around. Uh oh. Military access? No. This is actually right around when I think our Bretonia campaign ran into a bunch of problems in the Badlands, but... Constructor? We'll see what we need in the next campaign. The next one after this is Dark Elves. And then I will probably take a break and... and, uh... Do, and then Doors are after that one, so I'll probably take a break and do the Dwarf playthrough when they do the rework in April. Demon Prince. Two turns to the Monolith. Okay, let's check over here. Archaeon is already back up. Uh. I'm gonna go take these out, I think. Yay, Dark I've never done a full play there of Dark Elves either. I've I've played probably about this many turns a couple times with them, but not sure which Dark Elf I'm gonna play as. If he had more units, he could just go take these himself. He might still could. Do they have an army at all? Or was that their last army? I mean, technically, we could just give him peace, and then when he moves out because he thinks we're at peace, we could jump on him and, and tank our reliability. The problem with doing that is then Malice and everyone over there is going to start attacking us. It's a very chaos thing to do, but uh, I don't think it's in our best interest. They probably don't have an army. They do. It's like one army of marauders. Malchus tough as... Stars pretty tough, though. Uh, yeah, he, I mean, he also has the hag down there now, too, or over there. Chaos so, two turns either way. There's nothing we can do about that. I mean, we could use Teleport Sands to get back over here <clears throat> to bridge that gap if Archaeon goes that way. Uh, I don't think we can recruit, right? Oh, global is a one turn for some of that. Oh, okay. Like even just grabbing some Nurglings would be worth on the one turn. I should have gone in here first. I think I'm going to split them back up. Got a new left arm. Slicing shards. Uh, no. Can't hold a weapon with that thing either. It is a weapon, but... Okay, this is that new Allurus. Uh, Pendulum is okay. I guess the problem is, like, once we get to Pit of Shades, are we ever going to use Pendulum again? And I'm thinking the answer to that is No. All right, let's see what he does, I guess. Dawi Breaker. <laughs> Marathi's fun. Yeah, so who do we got? We got Helebron, Marathi, 
uh, Rakarth, uh, Lokir, um, and then Malakith we mentioned. I'm missing anyone? Mal Malice, that's all of them, I think. To crush you Here he comes. All right, so when he, we killed him, he was level 19. Offer a sacrifice. Recruit across my 60% or get 1,200 favor. Hey, he's saying level 19 this time. The burning monoliths are gone. There is nothing I can do to go grab that. Zero percent outcome. <laughs> Thirty-eight percent. So we're just we're gonna keep an eye on him with that hero. Monolith is tier two. This is tier three. Supreme champion. I know the reward for rating this was something, but Revel in this ruinous crusade. Um, who do we want to dedicate this to? I don't know if there's anything special in the zone. I mean, if we're going to keep going forward in this direction, we need something closer by that I can get Nurgle units, but we have the global recruitment going pretty well now, too. Who are we actually lacking? Slanesh and Corn. Uh, sure, let's make a Corn one. I'm trying to think what was on the Corn. Actually, I changed my mind. We'll, we'll do Slanesh here. Probably should have sacked it first for the 3k, honestly, but this way we get it at tier two. It came with a control building. That's pretty nice. Let's see what Slanesh buildings get. Same income one. Same growth one. So, yeah. When control is 25 or more, you get a... <laughs> yeah, okay. 25 or more on legendary. Good luck with that. Yeah, I know. I should have sacked it first. I kind of wanted to see what the buildings were, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't super worth. So, oh well, we know for the future. I have a sin. Okay. Did I miss the live announcement? Uh, we are live. We're in the following region. So we can get 2,400 out of that just raiding it this turn, or I can just go ahead and try to take it. I do need the money. Yeah, I should probably just try to take it. Because we got to get over here and kill Archeon. That's the, the big one. They got another base right there, too. Okay. So, the garrison is... Seven Marauders. Oh, it actually gives us the win just for the hounds. I do that.
Hounds are gone either way. Wait, I thought you could cancel that afterward. I miss remember that. Oh, okay, you can. Delay your destruction. Watch back. All right, we'll recruit those. Oh wait, that's a different. Why did I think that was part of this? Demon Prince. Who's who owns these? Hmm, Skaven. Is that a minor Skaven faction up here? Which Skaven faction is up there? I mean, I don't think it's Drot, right? Help, it's gone. Could be him. Could be that Bok Bok guy. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while. And this one. Yeah, I should not have done that. And man, you can't switch it over like you can all the other factions where you can just decide to go el with something else. Uh, I'm not going to improve on it because I might end up resettling it, unfortunately. Wait, let's see what these Slanesh buildings do later on. Yeah, it's just local province stuff. Local province, local province. Nothing crazy. Yeah. I have a big control building, but... Keepers of Secrets are pretty awesome. Exalted Demonettes are really good too. But I think I'll end up switching it. Uh, and if we need glory for like Slanesh or anything, I guess we'll just get it after combat instead. Kislev's fallen champion. Recost reduction. Um. Don't know that we're ever going to use anything other than gateway on you, honestly. But pick something up. Uh, can't get anywhere with you this turn, but we did get some more build a bear stuff. New weapon. Armor piercing, 35. Base weapon damage, 15. Uh, Staff of Reaping. What does that say down there? It's winds of magic, power reserve, capacity plus 5, and own army. Okay. Some tiny text down there. Tempered Rage. Damage resist. Up to 20% damage resistance while in melee. Bad that spell resist is wasted. Spell resist kind of sucks. Uh, that's not bad though. Aside from that, ah, we got all this other stuff too though. Melee damage, reflection, missile block. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that on. All right, wings. Uh, yeah, we'll leave that too. Okay. All right, all right. Here's Archaon. Nothing we can do about him this turn. Capital Province is ready to get us some more money. Yep. Troll's not great there. Uh, how many more turns? Three turns until we get an increase. So it's going to be a little bit even with 235 growth, which is pretty insane, but... Arcane's going to take that. How many levels do you think he'll get off this minor garrison? He's level 19. Find out. Give me a big blue bird, yeah. Tiny 
All right, Archeon. Level 19, level 19, let's see. Is there anything there that I could dive on with just these units and kill so that he has one less unit going forward or he stays here to global, globally recruit something? Maybe. If they send like a dog ahead, we could maybe take it out. All right. We'll do this just trying to kill one something. We don't even care what it is. If we auto resolve, they lose nothing at all. Like probably not even enough damage to stay there at all. I was too poor. We only had like 200 favor or else I would have to do something and then it just kills it. That would have been nice. But yeah, we'll try to get something. Something. These corners are not too great. Just send one of something ahead. Not not one RK on ahead. Not what I had in mind. Cool like flying it. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the Furies are not generally great. Yeah, well. It's made on the changeling basically a pinned message for the bond. Okay, I'll think about it. Minor Garrison, level one. Don't think we're gonna kill anything at all. Be lucky if we get through much other than the barrier on that. I was hoping they would send the dogs ahead or something so that we could wipe one unit and then they would stick around and uh, replenish for a turn, but a re recruit or something, but yeah, oh well. I couldn't see where they were setting up their army either, or else I might have set all those up on the left side of the hill. But that was the same as we just saw. Shame colors, they look cool. Approved. Yeah, sometimes you can you can get something right. We killed twenty one units. It's not gonna end up mattering, but okay. Well, it kind of sucks that we have to reset. To survive this world what? Annihilation. No. It was so better than zero. Sometimes things like that matter too. Like he might have settled that instead had we not done that. Oh. Exalted great unclean one shall replace the herald of Nurgle. Probably not. I'm trying to remember. So he's going to lose half his levels too, right? Or is that different for this faction? He's level 15, so he's going to lose half his levels, right? And go down to level 7 or 8. And so he won't have fleshy abundance right now. I can't do that right now. We'll ask again in 10 turns. 
Right now, I, I need him with these spell casts for the Archaeon fights. After that, maybe. Yeah, how, how else would I have known? Why? Did you ask him? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> anyway, sometimes that can be the difference whether they settle that or just leave. 14% chance. <laughs> So Archaeon went from level 19 to 20. Okay, not too bad. So much power. Surge across this land. Surge I need to get that. Um, when's the magic back up? Oh, torso. I kind of am tired of getting new new armor pieces every turn. <laughs> Okay, there's part three of that. Casualty replenishment rate plus 20% for Nurgle units. Root rank plus two Nurgle runes. Just in Lord's Army. If they, they made some of these faction wide, it would make them a lot better too. Uh, what do we have? We lose chaos armor. We lose some armor. We gain some melee defense. So really, if I'm going to use this set, this is worth it. Do we need the extra replenishment this turn? No. So when we need extra replenishment, we can come in here and put other clothing on him, pretty much, which is... Also feels kind of tedious, honestly. Yeah, we'll just take whatever right now. Hero not moved. Yeah, you're just going to stick on to Archaeon so we can see what he's doing. Okay. I really think I might just abandon that at some point. I It's my own fault. I, everything I do in this is my own fault, but I forgot to check if that was a new... Province. I thought it was connected to this one, but I was wrong. Also in minus 24. I might end up selling this one, too. Gotta be careful, though, because the only person I can sell it to are the Skaven. And they're currently at war with Throg. Trog? Throg? Whatever his name is. You installed the game. It's all your fault. It's true. Hinchai. Let's see what's, uh. Okay, so he made... He resurrected the people at the Burning Monolith. And now he's marching back home. It's not as bad as I thought. I, I originally thought what he was going to do is just go right on by it and start taking over stuff. Oh no! Our war with the Exiles in the Heck has come to an end. Uh, crap. Malice? Who seeks my audience? Uh, Malice is gonna get a war with us sometime. Oh, Christ. That was the only thing keeping Malice from, uh... Not doing anything crazy. Where is that settlement? Oh my god. Why is it so far away? Kislev's fallen champion. <sighs> Why is everything so far away? Who designed the chaos waste? Oh, what are we going to do about Malice, man? We can't do anything about him. I am 
malice. Tired drink twenty one. I can just literally take all this that we built up. I can't even afford to recruit anyone over there. So much power. Let's see, what else have we got in here? Sword of Strife. Uh... Demon Prince. How small the mortal world seems. Doesn't really do much, but what else do we have? Potion of healing. Hellish power. Fresh air. I have a sense. Those are good. Use that. We yeah, got one more weapon I can throw on someone. Bring Supreme Champion. Character experience gain, uh... Asks, this world will burn! Seduce unit budget reduction... No... I don't, I, want, I don't want that on anyone, actually. It does, it's not doing us any good. Blade my conquest. Walking embodiment. Nergulous familiar. Campaign line of sight plus 15%. Let's throw that on this guy. Alright. How does he eat from his mouth or his belly button? <laughs> yes. Have you ever, ever seen the Kugath model and some of the other ones too, where you'll have like nerglings or something like literally crawl out of their bellies? Ugh. Also with Kugath, he just randomly steps on them and squishes them. We desire more. Uh, man, oh man. So, we might lose a lot over there. Unrest moments. Not so sure there's anything that we can do about it. We just gotta hope Malice doesn't actually get a war with us, but I know, having said that, that you he's gonna get a war with us. Peace. He doesn't have another war. That's the problem. So he just immediately starts looking around. Hmm. Hmm, who could I attack nearby? There seems to be about eight settlements to my east. Well, and just nobody's guarding them. King Bird and Mineral Line. <laughs> Good, get lots of uh, lots of SCB kills. Keep it. We're gonna keep tabs on RK on with that hero. Okay, we survived another one. Coal destroyed. Oh. All right. Chaos reigns. Kislev's fallen champion. Nah. <laughs> He's like a tile. He's pixel he's a pixel away hmm. pixel big milestone very close very close i mean it, i think you would be there if it wasn't for the bot screwing up sometimes pretty sure I would be surprised if you wouldn't have already been there. 50%. Where's his movement? Because we want to be able to run away. So he can hit there. That gives us some runaway potential.
We're not in own territory, so we can't do that recruitment. Man, bloodletting is really, really hurting us. This this kind of sucks, actually. Melee attack minus 10% right now because we just haven't been winning enough battles recently. And things are so spread out that, you know, we hardly are ever engaged in that many battles, but... That's another army there, too. Okay, uh... Paid 2k for that. Did someone buy this tower from me? No. Wait, the tower's not the one I want to sell anyway. It's, uh... This one. Bok Bok, would you give me a bunch of money for that? Then I can betray you later. Land Ferric. Don't trust no furs. They are sneaky. Unlike honorable Skaven. Yes, yes. Military lines, defensive lines, military access, non-aggression pack. 1400, that's all you'll give me. How much is it hurting right now? How long can I hold it before I need to sell it to you? We're going to have a rebellion in three turns. Earning us 255. Um, is there something we could get with a... Yeah, we don't need it right now. That's fine. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. on, Archeon. Come on down. Get ambushed. Oh, you get ambushed instead. No, that's not what I wanted. Ah, right. uh, he saw the ambush. It's giving us the victory to wipe both of his armies. Ugh. We just lose three Nurglings there. That's nothing. Then he has no armies at all. Losing those Marauders kind of sucks, but it might actually be worth. Do we have any seduction stuff that turns us a little bit more? Also, have a banner. Not really going to do much, but. Medium casualties on those that are left. I mean, it's just tier one Marauders, right? And it fully wipes because of auto resolve. So for anyone that doesn't know, auto resolve wipes the enemy. How much money do I have? Thirteen fifty. So that's the biggest value one. So we lose two Nurglings and two Marauders now that we seduce that. Yeah, I think we take that. That's literally all of it. Yeah, those are like a handful of tier point, point 0.5 for the most part, honestly. All right. We want it. We'll wait. Yeah, and our important stuff barely got. And this also gives him the defeat trait for Archaeon. Look at all that experience. Only 2% replenishment. That one's 100% worth. Yeah, I think. I Obviously, I guess I agree, huh? You cannot oppose chaos. Okay, cool. What request would you make Dung Rut? Maybe it's Dun Grut. No, it definitely is not Dun Grut. Great game. There we go. Nice. Ambush foiled, but... Doesn't matter. So we need to get the Burning Monolith back before they get a army built up there. And then we gotta take out the Writhing Fortress. This world will burn. We do need some replenishments. 
And we can't be sitting around for a super long amount of time. So which zone are we technically in right now? We are in the Writhing Fortress, right? Yeah. So we can globally recruit the guys that we lost and then we can pick a regiment renown, hopefully take out his building over there. And with you, we need to start moving over to the burning monolith. Whoops, I did that completely backwards. I just grabbed the wrong person. So, you're not that hurt, actually. You could probably make it a little bit further. I could probably even march on you, honestly. I mean, he was just rezzed, right? This, this faction. So we can look at the order character reminds you military presence. So he there's definitely a an enemy group there. If he gets caught by a marauder army, does he win? Yeah, I think so. But does he reach there next turn even without March Dance? Also, yes. So there's no reason to do March Dance. No reason to risk it. Okay, we'll come up here, do the recruitment I was talking about before. That finishes that off. We might actually do a Regiment of Renown and place one of these to help with that. Keep. I mean, I don't know, man. There's They have Chosen there. Or any of, is any of this good against Chosen? I mean, they do have Armor Piercing. Causes Terror. Was it chosen normal or was it chosen halberds? I don't remember. I wonder if we also get the reduction on this. No. Maybe? I don't know. This Chaos Giant, but it's a Nurgle model of it. Uh. Yeah, let's recruit either way so that we can replenish here. Join the ruinous crusade. I guess Marauder of Nurgle unit. Ever seen the campaign? Is this um yeah, it's Warriors of Chaos DLC. Warriors of Chaos add the Marauders and to each of the Chaos factions. They're not a great unit, but you know. They'll do. They can block some arrows. All I really needed them for. Hold some lines for a little bit. Oh, actually, let's grab that. Fresh tool of Cancel this. Living and yeah, it's cheaper now. There we go. There we go. All right, Ink Boy has leveled up. Hmm. You get him a nine minus nine percent, uh, and then another minus eight percent up there. Or I can start buffing some of this. So what does he actually give for some of these crappy units? Armor malady, armor plus four for the front line. Speed is all he gives to nurglings and beasts of nurgle. It's unfortunate. And then what's the other upgrade for them down here? More speed, melee attack, missile resist. It's okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to go down the blue line. Start. Kakarot. I've been saving points forever. Did you win some gambling today? <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'll, I I have to add those manually. But I'll, I'll get it done. I come from looting settlements. Recruitment cost reduction. Herbal corruption is whatever. Income from sacking settlements plus 10. All right. 
I need four points anyway. Okay, hey Ram. Oh, uh, I think you're pretty much pretty much have everything that we wanted, so let's grab the other spells. I don't know that we're ever gonna use those. But Chaos grab them upgrade fleshy abundance. That's a spell we will absolutely be using. What? Abundantly even. Bad cleave doesn't give them an AoE attack. I think that'd be OP though. Uh, we'll upgrade withering, I think. Grab evasion. Punishment. Spirit leech. Life leech. Okay. And do we have the ability to get any more heroes now? Not yet. Did get a pretty big payday? So up here where we could get attacked. Hang on a second. Let me check it in here. Peace or make war. Right. So we have a do we have a non-aggression with him still? Yeah, we have a non-aggression with him. So we'd have to break that first. And he might. He might. But he's not there yet. Do we want to grab this Chaos Warriors of Corn, Plague Bears, Blue Horror? Uh, probably no. We want to use our money to finally get tier four here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we might end up getting to a, a tier two Beast of Nurgle unit by turn sixty. Maybe. If if we're lucky, we're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, whoa, slow down there. We were almost, we were literally almost at a long campaign victory with, with Tarox. Well, there's no need to rush. How close are we to, oh my God. <laughs> uh, we're a third of the way towards the short victory. So we got that going for us, so. Why don't you enjoy the game? Stop rushing. Oh my god. The Stalton. Just a few more turns. Let me ask this brand new army already has chosen or something in it. Why are we rushing? Upkeep minus 20% all. Yes, absolutely. Give me that again. That again. I cannot be stopped. Watch. You're going to make me have to play the game? All right, well, hang on. Let me see how the rest of this turn goes. Noisome tumor. <laughs> I, I hate playing this game, no. I do I do think that sometimes, and I have to do a battle that I don't want to do, and it's like, what? Why? I didn't play for 80% of the last campaign. That's true. I think at the end, we had only 18 manually played battles. Hang on. <laughs> I've almost personally fought more battles this run than I did in the entire previous campaign. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's see what's in this. Presents no challenge. Leave only. Man, that garrison sucks. Oh, he just... Yeah, he's just is spam recruiting these. What the crap? Archaeon just lost all these. I have to wait forever for those to come back up. Uh. 
don't have the money for this. They must die. Why are we always so poor? All right, let's fight this battle and see what we have after that. <sighs> it should be fine. I think. I think we should be fine. Get to Scarbrand. That's the most fun economy system ever. And well, oddly, I've had experience with that one. Kinda. With Durthu. <laughs> it sounds... Ridiculous. Anyone that didn't see my Durthu campaign back when we were doing the 100 turn campaigns, uh, I had an income of like minus 29,000, but we were killing so much with Durthu, the Wood Elf, every single turn that we were staying afloat the entire time. <laughs> it was so stupid. I was just absolutely laying waste. I was not playing a isolationist Durthu in any, any sense of the way. Get like negative 75,000 a turn, but 400,000 from sacking. Yeah, yeah. Oddly, that was the Durthu experience. Did I finally wipe Archaeon? Archaeon's dead again, but his faction isn't destroyed yet. Psychopath Durthu meme. Yeah, yeah. So, very early on in my Durthu campaign, I use the underways or whatever uh the world roots excuse me and i went across the mountain and started laying waste to the empire like right off right off the bat i turned 40 we had an entire army of treemen and life wizards <laughs> we were just destroying dorothy was a very easy campaign it was also pretty fun though let's see I really need these guys to group up. I'm not sure they're going to do it. Hmm. I need to start using that uh, disease where we get Vanguard deployment on all of our units. doing over there doesn't have as much mass nowhere near <laughs> as our legendary lord so i gotta be careful he might actually get pinned down bringing horses what do you have against horses How's the different war crimes going? Game going? It's going okay. 
Doing okay. It's been a it's been a day on it though, that's for sure. Yeah, let's get her in there. Gotta be careful. These guys are just little baby, little baby heroes. Uh, go in here. We really need this to come off cooldown. Hold. Come over here. Nurgling's fine if we lose you. Go ahead and move up. Move up. Move up. Let's see if she can get them to stop shooting at us. Don't get her caught, though. Uh, even though she's just a brand new lord, I'd rather not lose her. Okay, that guy is pretty much dead. 12 seconds on that. Ah, uh, you just stay on him, then. Thirteen. All right, let's go ahead and get you over here. Seem pretty good. Oh God, why? Pestilent marauders, one for suffering. Trail of Bacchus. Uh, I don't. Yeah, there's not a lot of. Well, there's actually more entities left in that than I thought. So there is a little bit of healing that we could have there. I don't know, even know if we're going to be in this long enough to get to the heal, but. Yeah. So we'll find out. This fleshy abundance is going to do very much. We put it on the hero, though. Might as well. And yeah, a little bit of healing. But there's, there's so many entities in those groups that, like, it, there's... There's just not a lot of healing left to be done, but we'll use whatever we can. I think he's already topped off. At least she is healed up. Yeah, like, not really doing anything. I think that's as high as we're getting. Okay. Campaign that may actually force me to restart. It's not MIDI worse than this. Voting for Malekith. Fun factor might not be great on that one, though. Those Slanesh characters sure enjoy their work. Yes. Malekith or Malice. 
Morathi, the Slaneshi Dark Elf. Oh, we actually did lose the Nurgling skin entirely. Campaign's okay. How is it now, though, when she has the Kislev curse lady there? I'll stink you. Mother stinky leg. So what does this look like if we take one of their units? It looks exactly the same. That one is making sure Mazdamundi doesn't go aggro. I think we have to recruit on Ink Boy here and then force march over there. In the meantime, we're just gonna have to siege and leave so that he doesn't build more up. Like this army might do okay against it, but those chosen are gonna tear these things apart. I think they're actually gonna perform better in the fight than in auto resolve, which is not usual, but yeah, this like chosen are just gonna eat, eat all this. Even the chosen halberd might screw over a legendary Lord. And we have the minus 10% melee attack. This bloodletting is actually not a super good thing for us right now because we just don't have a lot of battles going on. So, yeah, let's just recruit. Can have to be global again for now. Grab some nurglings. Strong both in and outside Arzov. Yeah. Chosen in general are really good. It sucks that we don't have access to Chosen as this faction. I like how it's like you have the little pop up in the beginning was something like you have access to all the units of chaos. Why really? I'm I'm seeing quite a few holes here. I think all all is a little bit generous. A bit might be better. Except these ones. Oh. What about like the Zangors and those ones also? Oh, okay. Alright. Who's this? Uh, this is that new Allurus. We got Pit of Shades. Honestly, though, why use Pit of Shades when we have that boil to pop, you know? Uh, it's still good. Pit of Shades is good. Replenish. Okay. We always have a full second army. Wow. Good golly. In 48, we almost have two armies of tier one units. Of chaos. We're getting there. Incredible. Blue monsters from the Shadows of Change DLC? No. Nope. I don't think so, anyway. I'm pretty sure we checked. He's becoming friendlier with us <laughs> as we're sitting there sieging his city. I can just see uh, Archaeons on top of the walls, you know, just conversating. Hey, you know, that demon guy down there is not so bad. Step away. Pretty slow. You don't play as efficiently. Really? Yeah. Astrogoth. I just. Uh oh, I just beelined to. Uh, to Grimgore and took him out. Stalton. You know, yeah, he knows that we're not that different. Not so different, you and I. 
God's trip to Skaven Blight. Wintertooth is not going to like this, but this is the only person I can give this to. I mean, I don't have to give it to anyone. He would become our vassal. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, Spunk is auto modded? What? Krautso. <laughs> what? Twitch. Twitch, what are you doing? Never trust this game. Well, I don't have a trust. I wouldn't have to trust them if they just become a vassal. Uh. He has one, two, three, four, five settlements. Vassal, scam, betray. I've never had them betray, but yeah, I guess that's technically true. I really don't want Winter 2 to attack us, so I'm not sure I'm going to do this at all. Risk Winter 2 attacking us for two grand? Um, let me look at them. Talk quick before I get hungry again. How about I get a non-aggression with Wintertooth? There you go. Thank you. Appreciate it. And now... I'm going to give this to your enemies. All right, cool. Yes, yes. I'm sure they won't mind. I like fantasy or 40k better. I'm not sure. I don't know that much about the 40k stuff. Just what I've seen from like some models and things like that. There's some really cool stuff. Honestly, though, most of what I see are space marines of different variety and things about the emperor. So I don't really have a huge and Tyranids are really cool. I, I like Tyranids. So I don't know. I just know more about fantasy. So I guess I would I would choose that one at the moment, but it, that's the only reason is I just I just know more about it. They must. Yes. Rogue Trader. Yeah, I wouldn't mind playing that. It's just I don't know when in the world I would do it. Machiavellian. Laner, thank you for the brand new sub. Thank you, Laner. Too Fat Crew. Thank you for the 18 months. Hopefully you're still here. Sorry I missed it initially with all this going on. Hey, Too Fat Crew. Thank you, Laner. Oh, <laughs> Would be pretty hard, imagine. Yeah. Still here. Oh, it's back here. Thank you for the resub. Four turns. <laughs> it's going to take that forever to pay off. But you know what? We'll be in this playthrough, so. We'll definitely still be in this playthrough in, uh, you know, 30 turns. Yep, we will be. For a second, I was going to be like, ah, maybe not, but no. no it's... Yeah, we'll be here. We will be here. Soul Blights. A lot of the debuff ones I forget based on name. Monolith of Bubonicus. We also are going to resettle that at some point. But I don't want to do that unless we have a lord nearby to resettle it. Because I want to resettle that as a difference. In fact, we need to start thinking about what we want to settle this. Does this one have any kind of materials? I don't think so. So let's look. I guess we don't need to figure it out this turn. Oh, wait. What made me focus on Nurgle. So both Zinch and Nurgle have okay early units. So that's one. But there was two things that kind of pushed me over to go with Nurgle first on this. Uh, the first being that Nurgle has a lot of growth. And since we're going to be stuck up here on just a few settlements, we want Wolfric. Stuck up here with just a few settlements for so long, I felt like having high growth could help us kind of catch up or at least be able to build one or two settlements up. 
And the other thing is they have a lot of... Oh, we finally finished that. They have a lot of replenishment. So again, with seeing things being so far apart in the, in the chaos waste, it takes a long time to get anywhere. But at least this way, I have some... Uh, I don't have to park as long to, to heal up in some areas. So. Those are the two ideas that I had in mind. I think Zinch would also be good. I think if you're going to do this, Nurgle or Zinch are probably going to be the ways to go. Zinch has a really good tier 1, tier 2 units, and they're missile units. And getting a bunch of spells, obviously, is really good. And in addition to that, the spell thing kind of like double hits because you get bonuses as chaos for the winds of magic being increased teleport stance lets you win a lot of battles that you sh shouldn't win also move around a little bit faster as long as you have all that winds of magic so yeah, i think zinch or nurgle would be the best to start also the starting province of the demon uh, demon prince has a special building that gives nurgle the resource building that gives nurgle uh, bonuses, so kind of leads itself, lends itself to that right off the bat as well. Let's take this off. Give you this. Now Actually. is the time of conquest. Annihilation. That is crazy. And I think... Man, those chosen... I think we're going to end up having to fight this. Because uh, Archaeon's going to be back up soon, and they can recruit him right over the top of this, even with us being out here yeah the, those uh those garrisons at the black fortresses or whatever and blue horrors are not great for i don't know this is gonna really suck to do this like we might actually would lose it the Gore Beast Chariots aren't going to do a lot of work. Like, they have a lot of horsemen that aren't going to do a lot of work. But all these chosen... Like, the chosen halberds are going to cut through our lord like crazy. They also don't bunch up as much as they used to. Do the Imperial Guard style, drown them in bodies. So. Now, there is an exception. Sometimes they'll still clump up if you are trying to capture their victory point. So there is the option of maybe getting like getting a gate down, taking the chariots all the way to the victory point and go get ready to group up on them with a demon. Like if we can get them grouped up and cast that 70 winds of magic on top of them. The other question is, would we be better off fighting them in the field or not? Because they're probably going to march out after us again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the right answer. Yeah, yeah, they ha yeah. Especially on legendary, we're not gonna. They're not gonna route for sure. Doom is upon them. Annihilation. Leave only gore. Like a god. Conquest. Hmm. Wow, exactly zero money. Any tips with blind sight? Just know that you don't have to blind everyone. If you do blind sight, unless you're doing it thematically, if you do blind sight and you take the lowest version of it, and we also have the minus 10, 
Uh, if you take the lowest ver version of it, they just basically get a minus two if they're not blindfolded or blinded. So you could always take it and then just blindfold the people that you want as actually being blindsided. So that's a little bit, not really cheesy, but that's a way to just barely do it. Um, but yeah, aside from that, definitely lean into side casting. They're going to be better at side casting. You can even cheese it and get a lot of side casts. If you give someone the blind sight bionic eyes, this is a late game, obviously, and then do the ritual to blind them, they will get a sight. They'll get a side cast and then you can put bionic eyes back and just keep doing it. Is it disadvantageous to build the siege? Siege weapons kind of suck in this game and like these aren't going to get done anyway because they're going to come out to attack and we're going to have to like we'd have to sit here, but they're going to come out and fight. I'm just, I wish I knew how long until Archaon was back up. There's no way to know. I don't know when he's got to be coming up soon. Yeah, unfortunately, because every unit can go onto the wall. Guys, I think we have to try to fight this, even if we lose it. Uh, because every unit can just climb the wall. It doesn't... The siege stuff isn't that... More, they're, they're so slow. By the time your battering ram reaches the gates, a group of... Like, demonettes would have had it down. You know? It's, it's kind of silly. Yeah, I think we have to they fight it. Must die. Man, it really sucks we're going to have that minus 10% melee attack. Conquest. So, our favor with Corrin is only hurting us. Alright, let's make sure that we have our gear. So if this hero dies, at least they come back. They're now immortal. We did get another weapon. Obsidian Amulet kind of sucks. I guess it's better than nothing. Annihilation. Not really, but. Yeah, we have to fight it. Uh, all right, let's do it. Because I I feel like Archaon is going to be up this turn or next, and if he takes over control of that army, we're going to have to beat him out on the field again. All right, let's do it. Those Chosen are going to... I mean, if the Chosen group up somewhere, we will be able to cast some spells and destroy them, but that's, uh, that's a big it. All right, predictions coming up. There you go. If you want to spend your real fake channel points. Real fake channel points. Possible deniability of functional butt ladders. It would be a demonic-based one. So. Good gateway or two. Yeah, or even that boil. Either one. Okay. I only have 500 now. <laughs> I've just been in the half million. <laughs> I didn't have enough. I didn't have any money left, so. Do any seduction. Uh, there are some entrances here with no power. Yeah, if this was how... If this was still the release patch for Mortal Empires, they would all bunch up in one section. They changed how sieges work in a couple ways, and one of them is that these guys are not going to all bunch up in the same area. Champion of Chaos. Reinforcements are coming on that side in a minute 36. You can always move them. This is usually where I come into this because there's a little pocket right here where this these towers can't hit. Why is it so pink here? 
exploding extra rules here, I guess. Ponies. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna come over here. A few of those are going to get hit by the towers, but I don't think they had a lot of magic, if I remember right. Alright, and a reinforcement, even though it's going to make it take longer. Let them come over here. Oh, is it not going to let me move them over here? Oh, that sucks. Uh, okay. Well. Alright, well, uh... Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, there's still a unit. Which, who is that? Oh, the Nurglings. Don't forget the Nurglings. Good luck to us. Send in the Nurglings to parlay. <laughs> Chosen on the walls. monsters are, the, are we sure those aren't Slanesh units oh you guys want to use your spells on the nurgling school excellent you just yeah keep doing that you doing that Plague drones, I want you off the wall. We're going to take you and hit the actual towers. And so far, he's doing a great job knocking people off that wall. What is this? Uh, Yeah, we'll go ahead and use it. Ooh, that's not good. I don't think they have a ton of winds of magic, so. Activated. No fear, no regret. There. 
whatever it was. Oh, it's I knocked some of them into it. I think actually, oddly enough. Is that zero? What? Why is it? Are they blocking it from getting built? They were blocking it. I didn't know you could do that. How did you get in there? gate down you just keep you keep opening it and then shutting it so we're no longer attacking it into the bug where he can't summon inside there. No, no, it's not the bug. We don't have the gate yet. Never mind. Oh, he's getting really beat up. Uh, where's that Lord of the Heels? Yeah, we need him over there. the frigging gate down it's nowhere near down gate still up. I can't even get him out of there because they just open the gate wide enough just for him to come in. Just barely. not level 20 yet. I don't want to lose him, but... Okay, yeah, I'll still... Not down. How are things going over there? gate's already lower than the other one. 
Yeah, we're gonna end up lo losing that hero. There's much like, oh, wait. Get in there, get in there. Got another heal, but there goes that hero. Sucks. I cast that on you somehow. Surely not. He's almost that heal heal cap as well. Just cannot get through this gate. Almost done. This, this is the truth. Really expected us to be through the gate like instantly. So we're gonna lose these heroes that we've been leveling up. It's crazy because it's actually open. Yeah, finally we can get another one through. A little too late, though. That side's almost done. Okay, their lord is down. I think all the flies got killed. Very little ma um, magic left. Flies actually survived. I don't think we're getting there very easily. About to win. We did lose some heroes though. But this is the end of Archaeon, so super worth. And all because I screwed that gate up. I didn't realize those heroes had gotten through. So what happened is the enemy had opened the gate 
a little bit and some of our heroes squish through instead of attacking the gate and then by the time i realized it they were already kind of getting the crap beat out of them so oh well decisive victory daniel saves the world from chaos uh, are you done with the chaos doors yeah we beat that one yesterday uh drummer discover the channel after getting into rimworlds winston ways run uh yeah it was really fun winston ways is a lot of fun I'm actually surprised that was a... Yeah, we lost our two lowest level heroes, so it's not the end of the world, but... Anyway, uh, I'm... I'm surprised that was a decisive, honestly. Oh, hardly anyone said decisive. 100,000 channel points redistributed there. Best campaign campaign I've played? My... I, one of my most fun campaigns was actually Silostra. Oddly enough, Silostra was very, very fun. There's been a lot of really fun ones. I really like Tarox. I always love playing as Tarox. But, yeah, Silostra. Definitely one of my favorite. Tarox, because you had no fun as Luth Luther. Uh, this was a tier 5 settlement, right? So we might want to just occupy anyway, even though that's a big payout. It feels like a big payout, which it is. But we could settle this and possibly get better Nurgle recruitment immediately. So we probably, as much as that payout looks real tasty, we should probably settle it as Nurgle and hope we get one of those juicy buildings get an actual better army than these friggin' marauders and nurglings running around. That's way too responsible. Take the money. <laughs> the gates, bud, can you attack the walls? Uh, certain units can attack walls straight up, but most can't. So, like, ogres, for instance, have a special thing where they can, but we couldn't, no. You're just used to me going around with crap stacks anyway. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna listen to myself. I'm gonna do this. Craze died, Quasar died. Show me it. Show me that he's gone forever. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Uh, I didn't use mineral drilling. Yeah. My SCVs wouldn't listen. No, I didn't come with any. That's unfortunate. It was a tier four, not a tier five as well. But. And we can't like rush it either. So we'd have to wait five turns to recruit any beasts of Nurgle. <laughs> oh, well. In times averted by friendly demon prince. That 20k minerals are looking pretty good now, huh? I thought it would it would come with some, but oh, well. Uh, giants, yeah, giants can hit wall too. He looked, that giant seemed to be bugging out. He was like stuck in the doorway. I kept trying to click him to attack the gatehouse, but yeah, I don't know what was going on. But anyway, we're not done going east yet, though. We have to go take out Kolek. The glitch where the AI can open the door for you, letting somebody in. And yes, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That is what happened to us. Level 26. I gotta be careful because we only get, like, what, 24 more points. And I wanna make sure that I get up to Soul Grinder. So that's... We need three more points. No, two more points here. Three. So there's like nine more points that we want to spend on the Nurgle tree if we go Nurgle route, which I think we're going to go. Uh, okay. So yeah, let's finish off the... 
or get, getting to the ambush success. Although we're getting to the point where we probably don't need to ambush as much, but. Supreme champion. Okay, for you, uh, you're basically done. I guess I'll just grab this, but it doesn't really matter. Glory for Ink Boy is one level from getting to uh, immortality. Much death, much death. Income from sacking just plus ten percent. Income from looting settlement plus fifteen. Well, ten. Just upgrade the shades. And for you, guess we'll get this. So we have to keep fighting, or else. With all of our armies, none of our armies can save parked ever because of this bloodletting, or else we're going to get a debuff. So we just keep pushing west. What the crap are we going to do once we get done going west, though? Like, it's going to take us... Oh my god, it might take us, like, 12 turns to get back over here, even start heading toward the, uh, the west chaos lords. It would almost be better to just dismiss him and make a new army at that stage. Because that would take four turns to get him back over there. I don't know. Yeah, I'm on my way to Kolak right now. Yeah, I mentioned that. But after that, like, like once once we kill Kolak, getting back over here is going to be a friggin' trip. There's no sea lanes over there. This one goes down to where the Chaos Doors are, but there's no... The uh, next closest sea lane is, like, freaking Lokir area. Buster Chubnuts, thank you for the three gift subs in honor of... Uh... Oh my god, it's almost 530. In honor of killing Archaeon. <laughs> thank you, Chubnuts. This is a Nurgle faction. Uh, it's a Chaos Undivided faction. So they can have units from all four of the major, major gods. Demon prince. Uh, all right. Guess we'll, uh... So we'll unlock Beast of Nurgle here. I need to resettle that one. Screwed that up. Beast of Nurgle, growth, and we're gonna need some control. So the monolith, we're gonna resettle it. So I'm gonna recruit this hero for a turn. Where are they? That's not what I meant to say. I'm gonna recruit this guy for a turn. Not a hero, by the way. And then I am going to. Abandon this. Hopefully, no rats come up here and grab it from us. That would suck. Force of Decay. Uh, how's Malice looking? I only deal in two. He, I mean, we still have a non-aggression pact with him. Yeah, all right. Let's just get money. Get money. Still spires. We can go ahead and finally upgrade that. This is our zinch area. Zinch. Just like that, all that money's gone, and I wish I had taken... Uh, Taking the 20 grand. 3k, then old age Warhammer. Yeah, I'm, I'm the opposite of that one. I don't, well, I don't know much about it either. So if we take this. Yeah, I don't want to do that yet. I want to get some of this other stuff. Probably. Let's look. 
I mean, I don't know. Um. So that's income from rating plus 25%. Yeah, we want to get that. Okay, so we want to at least get to this tier on everyone. Construction time minus one control plus one for every concurrent war with a neighbor. Yeah, we want that. Um, casualties capture, control plus two, all provinces. So we need at least this tier with everything. And then... Like these, it doesn't matter. Because these are literally corn only stuff. Also, we want to have, you know, other armies running around, which is fine. Uh, what's the bonus for Undivided? Access even more powerful demonic gifts and units of the Chaos Gods. Do that in relations plus 25 with Warriors of Chaos, Demons of Chaos, Beastmen, and Norska faction wide. We get summoned from beyond, which is whatever. Oh. Why doesn't he have any buffs in his tree for Chaos Undivided as far as unit stats then? I had no idea we were going to get access to like Minotaur and stuff. Doom Knights. Plague Drones, whatever. Skull Crushers are good. Burning Chariots. It's a mix of them and Undivided. Yeah, it's just weird. Lord Recruit Rank plus three. Hero Recruit Rank plus three. Soul Grinder Corn. So he still gets the Soul Grinder of Nurgle. He gets all the Soul Grinders. Hmm. Bloodthirsters, very good. Cred and Clean ones are kind of okay. Keeper Secrets, very good as well. Lord of Change, also very good. Upkeep minus 15% all armies. Recruitment cost minus 15% all armies. Recruit rank increase. Recruit duration reduction. Hmm. That's the big one? Yeah, that one's kind of crazy. It's way up there, though. Man, maybe we should go that route. So... I mean, minus 25% for neural units. I guess just the question is, are we going to have armies of other... Uh, other gods going around, right? And I don't know. I it feels like the easy answer is just go Nurgle. We're already there, and just don't worry about anything. And just dedicate Nurgle, and we get there sooner. There's no dedication to Undivided at the settlements, which is unfortunate. And these are all armies too. It's gonna be a long campaign. So we have time. There's no reason to rush it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one to go on. Lord Recruit rank plus 24. Oh, God. I didn't see that. Arrows and Nurgle recruit at level 20. Why is the Lord Recruit rank for a cord only plus 10? Plus 10. Plus 10. Yeah, we can crank out level 20 armies of Nurgle. Big boost for going mono gods. Your armies are next to free. Yeah, and like really, uh, really crazy just recruiting high level lords right off the bat. Like no recruitment cost. Or very cheap, I should say. God, uh, that, uh. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we just go that route. I guess we don't have to decide right this second. Either way, I want to get to this so we have these global bonuses for everything. But it looks like that's the last global bonus, right? Uh, Zinchin Metal Spells. Yeah, it looks like that's the last of the global bonuses. Alright, and we're almost there, so... Let's get those. We just need a little bit more Slanesh and quite a bit more corn. And then I think after we do that, we'll we'll go into Nurgle.
And multiple partial ones? Well, yeah, but if you... So that would be maxing the, the top one, but yeah. I guess it allows you to cover your bases better. Like, Nurgle doesn't really have any... Outside of the Soul Grinders, they're not going to really have much ranged units. So you could go, like, Nurgle Frontline, which is very sturdy and regenerative. Have another army going with them with, like, pink horrors. But we can do that anyway. They're just not going to be quite as good. Well, it was worth looking at, though. Uh, all right. We got more body parts. I think this next turn is probably going to be about my last one for today. Torso. Burning ignition still. Chaos armor. So we keep chaos armor and foreboding ignition. Armor plus 40. So we trade hit points for word save? No. A new tail. Doom sword. Green plus two, Lord's army, melee attack plus four, Lord's army, all glory gain plus 8%. Is there an easy way to compare this to what we have? Uh, we currently have is armor piercing 15, base weapon 35. So we gain more armor piercing. Eh. All right. Oh, it's it's lit up because it wants me to choose. So much power. It wants me to choose. I'm not ready to choose yet. It serves chaos. Uh, actually, I care about replacing those lords. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna want the plate. I might as well wait to recruit these though, because we're gonna be able to recruit them at high level pretty soon. Straight in at high level, so. Yeah, we'll just wait. Okay. Seems good. Oh, right. <laughs> I was like, I thought I was a hero for some reason. I was like, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Sir, this is where you recruited me and told me to stand. Oh. My bad. It makes sense where this lord starts, this legendary lord. What do you want? I gave you a settlement. Okay. Remember this. Uh, anyway. I understand why this Lord starts where he does, but it would be kind of a cool one to have different starting locations that you could choose. Maybe then you would lean into a different, different one of the gods based on where you decide to go. 2,500? Ridiculous. Your rule will be brief. This world will burn. two turns to get there. I oh, actually have some armies down there. Look at you. Look at you. Ridiculous. I was going Trisha. We saved these guys, and now we're going to come in and just annihilate them. Sucks for them. I'm not even sure how they held out for so long. I mean, obviously, Archaon could have come down here and killed these any time. concerns of your existence are far What's up? Me, but I... Military access? Uh, no. I have news for you. My military will be moving through your lands, but it's not exactly how you intend for it to go down. 
Anyone else at war with you yet? No. Not yet. Man, these are costing us a fortune as well. That's not as much as I thought, actually. We should get these traded out, though, because he does have cost reduction for Nurgle units. So let's get Inkboy in, because we want him to be winning battles as well, even though he could go this way. But we need to get that bloodletting back up. And let's go ahead and hand some stuff over. To kind of stretch our money a little bit. Now is the time of conquest. Those plague drones have actually done pretty well. They're really expensive and they're not got great units, but man, they've been they've been great in sieges. Surprisingly good in sieges. They're great at knocking people off walls. <laughs> yeah, my military will access yours for sure. Your lands for sure. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All oh, right, I should be sacking places and then settling. Try to get as much money out of this as possible. Hellish power. Fallen champion. Go ahead and get the rest of the ambush points, and I think we're done there. Bayesian. We're done with Pit of Shades. Let's get magical reserves. And anything over here in our starting province? No. Malice, are you at war with anyone else? You're at war with Ariel. Perfect. Uh, yeah, I hate those guys. I don't have never seen them before, but I hate them. So, um, let's go to war together. I do but give me some money. Fail. First, thank you. <laughs> it's so stupid how we've pacified Malice this whole time. I just check on him like every couple turns to see if he's gotten in another war somewhere. And then I pledge my allegiance in, in his war efforts. And then I just forget about it. He seems to be okay with this arrangement, so. Three turns on that, and I think I want the... Is there one that's recruitment rank? Old recruitment capacity and recruitment cost reduction. Okay. It's friendship at its finest. Okay, we're going to move them up so we can see if anyone's coming across there. Uh, you made it to the live stream? You did. It's almost over, though. But you made it. You made it. Still counts. Still counts. We kind of did the same thing with Throg to an extent. He's fighting Castalton, huh? Yeah, you guys just keep going. Have fun. I'll be back in like 20 turns or something. So much power. With the following hero. We're in Blood Reapers. Raid the following region. Probably not. Oh! Nah. -uh. No, I've seen this episode before. I can't let you run around in here. Can I tell stomp you? No. Crap. Demon Prince. Okay, well, we'll kill you next turn. Even if you can get like a non aggression of these guys, you, you'll be at like plus 50 relationship, and they will just still raid your land. 
can't do anything about it without tanking your own standings and then I'll raid for a while and just decide to attack you anyway. So them and the savage orcs really uh really frustrating. Oh my god, the Force of Decay is leveled up. Uh, I'm actually thinking about making the walls here. I don't know. I mean, right now it's safe. I, I would hate to lose this after building this up the entire friggin' time, but right now it's safe. We definitely want to start getting moved up through here. Let's go ahead and get to Chaos Warriors on turn 60. We get there, that'll be timely. As we mentioned earlier, we don't want to rush, right? No rush. First Keyslip, then the world. So the I only other global bonus we are waiting on is this one. So we need 1430 on corn, which we're not far away. I was human. I'm trying to get to the point where I actually choose to go full into Nurgle. And then I think we'll wrap things up from there for today. I will keep going with the campaign. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, you guys are so annoying. There's It's Morgur, yeah. I'm going to let her to go. So the great unclean one with the bell, if I'm recalling correctly, that's one of the first action or action figures, one of the first models, <laughs> action figures, first model I ever saw. When I was a kid. All right, well, let's turn him into a great unclean one. So who do we need to kill? Uh, Kolek, Azazel. Valkia and Sigvald. Honestly, Valkia is probably going to die before we get there. I I never see her survive very long. Sigvald usually ends up just having like his own, just his place only. So the main annoying one, I think now, and depending on how big Kolek has gotten, is going to be Azazel because he's down in the Islev area and we're going to have to get down in there. But uh, yeah, all right. Great unclean one. My pestilent power there he is. swell. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Alright. Leadership minus eight. Uh, let's grab Route Marcher on you. As we normally would, we'll grab Inspiring Presence still also. Uh, we definitely need the Missile Resist, but let's get Children of Nurgle. We, did I save enough to get to Fleshy Abundance? Oh, nope. Let's get to that first. Flashy Abundance for the heal. Light Boil for the attack. And then a Route Marcher for the movements. What a wonderful gift! Exalted Greater Demon. Supreme Champion. Alright, we'll take out Gallows Tree. We could raid that for the extra money and go ahead and send us forward to take out the planes. Maybe we'll do that one. Two turns to get there. Like a god. And it's really difficult to Leave me have enough battles going on with this character for bloodletting. Like there's just not enough settlements and armies Father nearby. Nagle. The bloodletting is just like, straight up a negative. Do we still keep bloodletting even when we go mono god to Nurgle? Do we keep all the past stuff? I don't know. So we'll find out soon. 
any way grandfather desires. Grandfather. Papa Nurgle. Uh... Yeah, see, it's like hurting our growth. So we have two armies out that actually are giving us like minus growth because their bloodletting is not high enough. Feels bad. Your son was weak. I am magnificent. Yeah. Roll the palm with drill arm, but it's in cable mining. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I've never seen that. New Rimworld to run in the morning. Gonna be an interesting one. Be interesting. In a weird way, I'm enjoying this campaign more than some of the other ones, though. Where did Morgar's other army go? I've had to think out more on this campaign than a while, or than many in a while, I should say. A wondrous day! It would please Nagel. So, we want to double up. Doesn't do anything on them, but whatever. Uh, we want to double up on battle as much as possible so we can get bloodletting going. Okay. Sack. Remember to do that this time. Sack and settle. We don't get as much glory that way, but... One corruption plus one recruitment cost. This is another corn place, huh? Oh well. So much power. Morger, I wish I knew where your other army was. If it went this way, I'm gonna be kind of frustrated, but I do want to kill you. Chaos While I have the chance, so I'm going to. So from now on, this one can just put points in whatever. Kind of done. Chaos. Dictating where the points go there. Father's here. A wondrous day. Anyone at war with you? No. So he would give us non-aggression, but they don't honor it. He's a beast that in their lack of honor. They must die. Doom is upon them. What? You're gonna reinforce him? <laughs> okay. Conquest. What? <laughs> well, that's frustrating. <laughs> uh, okay. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna do that all right seventeen hundred what a turn of events that has come to be anti-infantry they're not that great getting these great weapons and maybe putting them on Dungrut here. It's fine. I can't believe I actually had to play this out. I have to play the game. I only have 70 wins of magic. I guess 60. Mulder girl. Alright. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting at all. Ugh. But I gotta play it out now. See that? It looked like we were at full health for a second. Oh, if we had that disease where I could 
start us up there. We could actually kill him before the reinforcements. We are too slow to get that. I think. I mean, I know we're slow. Sure. Send the champion of chaos. These ones aren't too fast either. Get him. Have any speed boosts? Anyone? Oh, he's actually coming out. How long do we have? Uh, minute 20. I don't think we're in. I don't think we're going to get it in that amount of time. Maybe, though. I think you're getting some friendly fire. Let's, let's cut that out. He summoned chaos spawn on us. I thought I told you to stop it. Go on, sword on, welcome in. Oh well. Oh, we don't have. We don't have fleshy abundance in this army anymore. So I gotta be a little bit more careful. Had him in there with the thoughts of like, oh, we can just easily get all of his health back at the end of this. Nope. So Morgar has a mortis engine effect too. So we need to spread people out. So for anyone that doesn't know, uh, my Mortis Engine effect just basically means he has an area of effect damage aura around him. There's a really good vampire count unit called the Mortis Engine and it has that effect by default. So now just anything that has something like that. Everyone just calls it Mortis Engine Effect. Where is it actually? Actually doing a lot of damage. Hopefully we get the heal here. Good nuts. Yeah, that's actually crazy how much damage you done you did. because we don't have those heals.
for those units that we got marauders great weapons we need them on dung there and he's gotten so much damage actually not looking good all of a sudden he took so much damage against Morgan. it's crazy i need to get him into some like easy melee like nurglings or something there Looking good at all. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We really need the heal to pop up there, else we might be a little bit screwed. And it's currently rolling between all the gods still. Oh my lord. Crazy. <laughs> this is why we are first lost. We, we did all those Archaeon victories. See that pop up for the heal. And we didn't get it again. Let there be rot, escaping doom. Off. Yeah, I, I think we're screwed. I completely forgot that the healer that we had, or the hero, wasn't the healer one. The healer one died. And so I took a bit of damage with him. I was like, oh, it'll be okay. We'll just heal him up. And, uh... Nope. <laughs> like, we might actually have to run away with this. Because if he starts to break, he just dies completely. We have to wait four turns. Unless we roll a heal, I think we end up having to abandon and just re-hit. It's crazy bad luck, man. As far as not rolling the heal. Yeah, I need you guys to hide. I can't lose off army losses right now. It would be real crazy. Yeah, we're going to have to retreat with him. That's... We beat Arca Arcaeon like five times, and then Morgur basically solos us. A little 15 Morgur. I just did not realize we didn't have a heal. Oh well. We'll have to come back in and beat them on the next turn.
Uh, you guys can go. What a weird situation. So close to you. It really is, but I have no more Winds of Magic. And if he starts breaking, we are just screwed. So. Like, one more spell. Yeah, we'll just have to kill them on the, on the next one. I don't want to lose him and have to re-recruit. That would take forever. Yeah, he was right about to break, so. Alrighty. Well, that's our first loss. What a weird one to lose on, too. <laughs> Morgan's like, nice. Look at these kills. 69 kills. <sighs> Easy. So we ended up losing that other hero. We didn't lose that many units, but... Oh, and Phelan? Friggin' Morgar. Step away. The Fly Master serves only Nurgle. Demon Prince. Father Nurgle. What a weird thing. I could have been your friend. Yeah, you could have been our, our backstabbers. Yeah. To the great reaping. I'm not even the most not really embarrassing because it doesn't really bother me. That's definitely like the most embarrassing defeat on embarrassing on the last few playthroughs. Maybe on any playthrough ever. Our first defeat of this campaign probably won't be our last, but. I will drink from your skull. Uh, right. So you're putting the points in so wherever. Much power wherever. I have ascended. Stragglers will be slain. So pitiful. So weak. Demon Prince. What else do we have in here now? Oh, we do have the Regiment of Renown of those. Those are really good. The Vortex Beasts. I have some good stuff in here. I probably could have just recruited some of this and hit right after and fine. I require further draws. He can reach that. But I think I we win that. Only grandfather. I think we win that. Oh my god, we can finally recruit Beast and Nurgle. Look at that, it's a one turn global. Expensive global, but still. Nurgle's beloved. We finally got our tier two units on turn 55. Yeah, we did it. We did it, guys. We made it. <laughs> what a campaign. What a campaign. These friggin' buildings. All right, let's see what happens. Try all the World War games. That I've not played them all, though. No. It was devastating loss of my career, but we made it to tier two. <laughs> I think we still would have been fine, too, if I just stayed set up on the hill from the get-go instead of going down there and trying to kill Morgur before the rest of the reinforcements arrived. Oh, God. Here's his other, yep. Oh, what? Well, where was this? Now okay. He got all. Uh, headstrong after that reinforcement of the other Nurgle faction. He, he just lost his entire entire faction just then okay so we want to get the corn thing finished so we can dedicate 
pulls out of nowhere. What's your access? No. Six. I need to wrap this up. I was hoping to get to the dedication part before we finish. I think we're going to this turn. Missile resist 15%. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Order is done. The production is kind of whatever. All right, let's check this here. There we go. We have all of the global bonuses now. None of the other are global aside from if we went Chaos Undivided. But we have decided we are nurgling, so. Uh, yeah. Let's nurgle, I guess. Yeah. All right. I'm curious if we actually keep bloodletting after this. We're, we're going to find out. Yeah, it looks like we keep all that stuff. Okay. So maybe we could have just... Yeah, may, I guess you can keep going up through this. All right. Boy, you know. Dedicated to Nurgle. Hellish power. It serves chaos. Fathers here. Once I was but the mortal of this world. Kislev's fallen champion. Right, Dung is still there. Is up. Lest we forget. Ordgore likes corn dogs. No, I think that's a Chaos Dwarf's specialty. A wondrous day. I think that's Chaos Dwarf specialty. They must die. This is tier three. Okay. What is the map on this one? Oh, it's giving us the Pyrrhic. If I want to replace those with better units, finally. Maybe, like, we now have access to Beast of Nurgle. I mean, we could just win this. But let me see how close we are to getting the Warriors. Because we're going to replace. And there's no Warband recruitment, so we can't upgrade. Yeah, the warriors are literally next turn. So no warband recruitment, so we can't just upgrade our current marauders. And once we get the warriors, we don't need the marauders at all. There's no use for them anymore. So maybe I'll just do it. For chaos. Perhaps, perhaps. We got the ambush. Let's start getting to malignant power. I really wished we had rolled into a heal and the reason why we didn't is we don't have things like that these units we're not going to use even with nurgle stuff these probably not either but we have to have points to get to malignant power Benediction from the gods. Nurgle only um no we the have other units but we have dedicated ourselves to nurgle so we get more bonuses for nurgle stuff yeah this is kind of a hodgepodge army of whatever we are now yeah, followers of Nurgle. Act ability, melee defense, and word save. Charge bonus. Okay, we'll take that. Leave only Pyrrhic. Uh, I don't care if I lose those. It's going to save us 300. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We have no other enemies around. I could see if spinning a little bit would turn this so we lose slightly less but yeah not really worth not really worth and we're about to replace those guys anyway although maybe I would put those guys in 
Oh, he, he changed his name. Crap. What was this guy's name? It was Ink Boy, right? Father's here. <laughs> I didn't realize it changed the Lord's name when you turn him into Exalted. All right. Seems good. Seems good. We'll take it. Ink Boy. Change your name. Yeah, when you went to an Exalted, changed changed your name. Okay, they are down. Uncle for Uncle. Lots of regiments were down. Okay, so the place with the tier two is this. This is the closest one there. So Ink Boy is going to head that way. Time's a wasting. And we are going to start recruiting here. Oh, wait, the warriors were next turn, right? Yeah. So I, bring I shouldn't march you away yet. My bad. My bad. I Hopefully no one over here declares war on us after I did that, because it brings joy. It's not going to be pretty if they did. Get Flesh Abundance done. Suppose we can just grab training on her now. So, much so now, power. recruit hero. Yeah, we can recruit them straight at level 11. Good. So from now on, we should be able to just get fleshy abundance on any army we want immediately. Nice. Perfect. We want one of those in your army too. All right. Let's get the heal. Excellent, excellent. So that over there is done next turn. Province is basically done. Right here, let's make sure we don't have that falling control issues. Okay. Remworld, how do you fulfill supreme expectations? Burns, I will place you it's just an expectation level. Fire. Like, it's not anything you can do. It's... Oh, Castalton, why? I'm so far away. Is your demon prince named Daniel? No, mine's named Adam this time, man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's just... It's just... It's just something that's a wealth level. So, basically, if you have royals or your leader and your moral guy, they're going to have two higher expectations than everyone else. Uh, so it's the higher wealth you are, the higher the expectations, and it caps out at that supreme expectation. So it'll never be a bigger hit than that. But yeah, there's nothing you can do about it other than lower your wealth again. It's one of the few things in the world that's just a break point. The Stoughton, why? Ugh. <laughs> Look at the mirror here. Yeah. Well, these don't matter at all, so. Yeah, whatever. So, Castalton is over here. He's taken out. Oh my god. Strength rate 9, of course. 
Jesus. And he's almost done with, uh... Wrong. Crap. Alright, so, Ink Boy, it's gonna be Operation... I do it for my Get over here and save the West. I guess. But we're gonna have to do that on the next playthrough, or I mean the next uh, stream. Chaos Wars of Nurgle, great weapon. Is that the only Chaos Wars we have access to as well? So that's also really crazy. Yeah, just the great weapon variant. Ugh. <sighs> Chaos incarnate. All right. Well, ah, uh, they should be good against Kolek, I guess. Be good against Kolek. Demon Prince. I just hope we don't lose our entire civilization over on the other side of the map while, while we're over here. Let's make ourselves. We're so spread out. But I guess that will be the end. The final turn for real of today. 57 turns. We we finally made it to tier 2 and tier 3 units. Took us a little bit of time, but we got there. We got there. Alright. Not the, the collective... You know, before we start heading that way, I should check the long victory and see if he's already dead. Because it's possible. Grimgore could have taken him out or the Chaos Dwarves or something. Seems so very What's up, Bok Bok? Non-aggression pack? What if... Hear me out here. You join the war against the Great Orthodoxy. No, <laughs> it's not having that. Then, no. Decay lifts my okay, well, let's see where we ended. And only at 16 out of 35 towards short victory. Uh, and yeah, everyone aside from Archaon, who we took out, is still up. So. I don't think... To be honest, I'd rather be raiding, but you have my time. Yeah, so he is at war with Grimgore. For chaos. And it looks like Grimgore is winning against him. We <sighs> always ready for a head. We might have to go finish Castalton first and come back. I'm thinking, like, we're safe from this direction. Everyone likes us aside from Grimgore. So that's like I said, I, I gotta stop one more turning myself into being here longer than I should, so. No Alright. Till next time. Till next time. Yeah, we're only uh, like a fifth of the way through this campaign. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Finished at eight hours on the dot? Okay, so a uh, pretty standard stream then. Alright. Alright. Well, thank you guys for hanging out. Very much appreciate that. It's a very interesting campaign, and we'll we'll continue it. We'll finish it. We're definitely not safe yet, so we just made it to tier two and three stuff. The battle against the Morgur's crappy army showed how far away we are from just like right clicking through stuff. So I'm gonna have to keep playing battles. We're gonna have to get some better units. Finally, we're finally getting to tier three stuff, and that'll have to continue next week. Next week, because for the rest of the week we got Rimworld. New Rimworld run starting in the morning, probably around 10 a.m. Eastern time, maybe a little bit later, depending on how things go in the morning. Um, but yeah. Back to Rimworld. Brand new run tomorrow. Brand new run. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out. 
very much appreciated. As always, have a good rest of your day or night, whatever is where you are. I will see you tomorrow for the single phase run, and then more of this Total War Legendary campaign uh, next week. Next week, probably Wednesday.